Hello. Welcome to the Fanfic Majesty. If you want more content you can follow me on Patreon. I will be uploading more content on there that will be exclusive. The link is in the description. Please support me. 6 PSP. Chapter 231. Leaving. Previous chapter. Next chapter. Advertisement. Luo you bastard. Let me go quickly. Aren't you afraid that the young master will kill you? Although it was only a head, Torebel strangely did not die, but was still screaming and cursing when Luo T held it in his hand. When several people walked in, Luo Wei also greeted them, and glanced at the situation of the three of them. It can be seen that there are no injuries on the bodies of the three, and there are not even traces of fighting. It seems that your side should be going well. When the two sides converged, Luo Wei smiled at the three of them. After glancing at Violet, Monet, and Baby Five behind Luo Wei, Nico Robin's eyes flashed, and he said with a light smile, it was indeed surprisingly smooth. I thought it was a fierce battle, but the enemy unexpectedly lacks in expectations. That's right, you still said that this guy is some kind of top cadre, but he fell into my negative ghost easily, and it was nothing that made me wait for so long. Perona also complained, and at the same time pointed at the three daughters of Violet curiously, and asked Luo Wei, by the way, what are they 577? Although what the two women said was very simple, Luo Wei still deduced the general situation of the battle from their words. Obviously, Torebel should have been attacked by Perona with a negative ghost before he even showed his strength. With the effect of the negative ghost, Torebel was absolutely powerless to resist after being hit, and then, just like now, was cut into pieces by Luo with op, op fruit. As for Granu, although her childlike fruit ability is very dangerous, as long as she keeps a distance away from her, with Perona's ability, it is definitely not difficult to stun her. Advertisement. They are the cadres of the Don Quixote family, but now they have turned their backs on the dark side and joined our brigade. I will tell you the details when I leave here. Luo Wei casually explained Perona's question. Both Nico Robin and Perona nodded slightly, and they didn't pay much attention to Luo Wei's recruitment of Don Quixote family cadres. Leader, what should we do with these two, a Jack? Luo Zai glanced at the familiar BABY5 in surprise, and then gestured to the two in his hand. Behind Luo Wei, Monet's expression was already tense when she saw Granu, and at Luo Wei's words, she immediately said to Luo Wei, You promised me that as long as I join your team, you will can't hurt the sugar. What are you doing so nervous? I didn't say I was going to hurt her. Luo Wei glanced at the other party, and then fixed his eyes on the head of Torebel, who was stunned. He originally thought that Luo killed the other party directly, but he never thought that Luo just cut up the other party's body, and did not kill him, but brought him here instead. However, after thinking that he seemed to have told Luo that he could destroy the powerful enemies he encountered and leave them for him to kill, Luo Wei understood the reason. Torbol's stunned expression was naturally due to seeing Luo Wei. Just like Pika and others can recognize Luo Wei, as the top cadre of the Don Quixote family, Torbol naturally also recognizes Luo Wei, a threat that Doflamingo wants to eradicate. Sin Hunter. You. After reacting from the shock, Torbol wanted to say something with a frightened expression on his face, but before he finished speaking, he suddenly felt an invisible force grabbing him with only his head left. To Luo Wei's question, Luo Wei responded directly with actions. With a light tap of his finger, the power of thought was to control Torbol's head, and after detaching from Luo's hand, he flew directly to the distance. Advertisement. Boom. Squeezed by terrifying thoughts, Tian Lair's head was blown to pieces in midair like a cannonball. This kind of waste, of course, just get rid of it directly. After killing Torbol, Luo Wei put down his finger lightly. For such a situation, Perona and the three of them naturally did not react, because they had long been accustomed to Luo Wei's decisive methods of killing. But like the three of Violet, they were taken aback, especially Monet looked pale and looked at Luo Wei in horror. Luo Wei's decisive move to kill Torebel was actually a deterrent to her. It's like telling her that if he is not honest, he will not hesitate at all, Jin kills her directly. Hurry up, the huge stone statue just now must be Master Pika, there must be an enemy breaking into the king's heights. Who on earth came to our Don Quixote family to make trouble, did the other party die? Everyone is ready to fight, once you find an unknown person, attack immediately. At this moment, a loud sound came from a distance, and there were a large number of members of the Don Quixote family rushing towards here. Although Luo Wei stunned the people of King's Heights with Conqueror's Hockey, there are still many Don Quixote family troops distributed in the city. Advertisement. After discovering the abnormality in King's Highland, these personnel will naturally come to check. It's just that the battle on Luo Wei's side ended so quickly that when these people rushed to support, the battle had already ended. Let's go. There's nothing left to stay here. Luo Wei glanced at the dark figures rushing towards him from a distance, and after saying a few words, he activated his thoughts to envelop the crowd. Exclamation mark exclamation mark exclamation mark. Amidst the whistling sound, Luo Wei manipulated everyone into flying into the air, preparing to leave Dressrosa. But before leaving, he also left a gift for those who came to support him. 
Flow of thought distortion. The invisible power of thoughts descended from the sky like a gust of wind, sweeping over everyone's bodies, followed by a pair of big hands grasping the necks of these people, and twisting them around violently. Kacha. The hundreds of Don Quixote family's troops were directly twisted and their necks were broken. With stunned and painful faces, they fell to the ground instantly and lost their vitality. After harvesting a sum of evil points, Luo Wei also manipulated the crowd to disappear into the distant sky. Advertisement. Chapter 232. Killing Intent and Rejection. Previous Chapter. Next Chapter. Advertisement. Half a day after Luo Wei left, in the sky on the side of Dressrosa, a figure galloped on a silk thread that was invisible to the naked eye, and finally landed on the high ground of the king. Young Master, it is the young master who has returned. Young Master, Lord Pika and the others are dead, the murderer is the evil hunter. The damned evil hunter actually attacked the palace while the young master was out, young master, we must not let each other go. On the king's high ground, there are not only sorted out corpses all over the ground, but also many ordinary members of the Don Quixote family. After seeing the falling figure, they all greeted them in surprise, and at the same time shouted out in grief and indignation. The figure that appeared on the king's heights was naturally Doflamingo who had returned from West Blue. He completely ignored the shouts of the crowd, but glanced at the corpse with an ugly expression, and soon saw Pika and the others carrying it in the front. Boom. The ferocious armament hockey erupted from Doflamingo's body in an uncontrollable manner, and under the sweep, the ordinary members of the Don Quixote family who gathered here all had white eyes and fainted, the ground. Sin Hunter. You are so brave, you dare to do this. Veins burst out from his forehead, and Doflamingo's body not only burst out of Conqueror's hockey, but also overflowed with the terrifying murderous aura of mountains of corpses and seas of blood. Lua Wei left West Blue to attack the base camp of Don Quixote family, which completely exceeded Doflamingo's expectations. Advertisement. Even though he rushed back as soon as he got the news, the dead bodies of Pika and the others were enough to prove that the cadres of the family had been destroyed by Lua Wei, which was equivalent to being played hard by Lua Wei. Hurrah! A violent air wave descended from the sky, followed by Jin impressively. When he landed on the ground, he also returned from a beast form to a human form, and landed beside Doflamingo. Hee hee, this is really interesting, Doflamingo, you seem to have been tricked by the enemy. He also glanced at the corpse, and after seeing Pika, the cadres of the Don Quixote family, Jin showed a playful look. Doflamingo turned his head suddenly, looked at the other party with cold eyes, and said in a low voice, You want to fight with me first, I am very happy to accompany you. Jin sneered and said, Why, you want to use me to calm down if you can't deal with the enemy, Doflamingo, did I give you face before? Doflamingo's face became more gloomy, his index fingers moved slightly, faintly swaying with thin lines, as if he really planned to fight Jin to vent his anger in his heart. It's just that he is a hero after all, and his interests determine his thinking, and fighting against the beast's pirates is definitely not the result he wants, so in the end he resisted the urge to make a move. Jin was also keenly aware that Doflamingo's murderous intent was dissipating, or that the killing intent to target him was fading. He was disdainful in his heart, but he was not provocative, because Doflamingo also had the interests he wanted. Let's not talk nonsense. Now that we have returned from West Blue, the deal between us will come to an end. Advertisement. Doflamingo. If you want me to continue to help you deal with the evil hunters, you must come up with a new commission. I think you might as well join our beast's pirates, so that you can not only quickly stabilize the current situation, but also get our help to solve the problem of the evil hunter as soon as possible. Doflamingo is about to take control of the arms business in the underground world. If the beast's pirates can annex the Don Quixote family, they will naturally gain huge benefits and development. Moreover, Doflamingo's own strength is not bad. Recruiting will undoubtedly add a powerful combat force of the three disasters level. Although Kaido is the captain and pillar of the Beast's Pirates, it is Jin who actually manages the Beast's Pirates. Otherwise, with Kaido's way of acting, how could the Beast's Pirates establish such a huge force? No need, evil hunter, I will solve it myself. Doflamingo resolutely refused. Of course he couldn't join the Beast's Pirates. This is not only due to the arrogance of the awakened conqueror's hockey who cannot yield to others, but also because he has his own ambitions. Zero. Seeking flowers. Jin frowned, showing displeasure on his face. Although the other party's refusal was also in his expectation, the failure to recruit still made him feel very unhappy. HMPH, then I'll see how you solve the current mess. Jin snorted coldly, and turned into a pteranodon, whipped up a violent air wave, and flew away from the Zukai Heights. Advertisement. He would naturally want to annex the Don Quixote family if he could. But Doflamingo's own strength and the power of his secret control also made him have some scruples. If he couldn't be recruited, he would naturally not stay. At the same time, after Jin left, Doflamingo directly used String String Fruit to cast, Sky's Path, and left King's Heights, even Dressrosa. With the family cadres wiped out, even if Doflamingo is still there, once the news spreads, the deterrence of the Don Quixote family will inevitably fall to the bottom. This will not only affect the arms business that is about to be controlled, but also attract the wolves of the New World to covet. 
Da Flamingo is naturally very clear about this, so after rejecting the invitation of the beast's pirates, he needs to seek the assistance of other forces. In addition to stabilizing the situation, it is also to prevent Luowe from attacking again. Naval headquarters, at Crescent Harbor, a large warship is ready to go, and many elite soldiers are gathered on it. Zephyr, do you really have to go to West Blue? You should know your physical condition. On the port, Sengoku couldn't help persuading again. Opposite him are Zephyr and Gion respectively. Zephyr said in a deep voice, Sengoku, let me be self-willed this time. Luo Wei is a recruit I brought out. He has made a mistake now. As a teacher, how can I not correct it? I know, but you also know that Luo Wei is not the recruit he used to be, but an extremely dangerous person. If you arrest him now, I'm worried that your body won't be able to bear such a heavy burden. Sengoku frowned. Pill. Advertisement. Chapter 233 Termination and Inventory for Automatic Subscription. First Update. Previous Chapter. Next Chapter. Advertisement. After all, Kuzan is a Marine Admiral, and it is impossible to stay in West Blue forever, so after being escaped by Luo Wei, he did not continue to hunt down, but returned to Naval Headquarters, and at the same time reported the details. Now, Sengoku is naturally more afraid of Luo Wei, knowing that Luo Wei not only has a monster-like growth rate, but also has super strength now. Now that Zephyr is going to West Blue to arrest Luo Wei, he naturally wants to dissuade him. After all, Zephyr's physical condition is not very good. Once an asthma attack occurs, it will seriously affect his performance. Gion, who was beside Zephyr, also persuaded him. Yes, Mr. Zephyr, let us arrest Luo Wei, you need to take good care of your body now. Gion will appear here because she was entrusted by Sengoku to assist Zephyr to go to 490 West Blue to capture Luo Wei. Unable to be dissuaded, Sengoku will naturally not let Zephyr arrest Luo Wei alone, Gion is the guarantee to ensure the safety of this trip to sea. Although Sengoku couldn't help persuading him again before departure, he obviously still couldn't change Zephyr's will. Needless to say, even if I risk my life, I will correct my mistakes and arrest Luo Wei. Zephyr said firmly. Even though he had learned from Kuzan the reason why Luo Wei left Marine, Zephyr obviously did not accept the result. He now completely regards Luo Wei's departure from Marine as a mistake he didn't teach well, and he wants to make up for it, and even plans to pull Luo Wei back to Marine. Report to Marshal Sengoku, there is an urgent message from the communications department, the evil hunters have raided Dressrosa and wiped out the ten members of the Don Quixote family. Sengoku was about to continue persuading, but at this moment, a soldier ran over in a hurry. After saluting, the soldier reported loudly. Advertisement. What? Whether it was Sengoku, Zephyr or Gion, they all looked at the soldiers in astonishment. Isn't the evil hunter in West Blue? How did he go to New World and attack the Don Quixote family? Gion couldn't help but ask. Wait. I seem to remember that Luo Wei once killed two cadres of the Don Quixote family, and not long ago Da Flamingo got mixed up with Jin of the Beast's pirates and went to West Blue together, so to speak. Quote. Sengoku had a pensive expression on his face after he reacted, and after a while, his eyes just flashed. It seems that Da Flamingo was calculated, no, it should be said that the news of his going to West Blue was leaked, and then after being inquired by Luo Wei, he fought back. The resourceful general's name is naturally not in vain, but in a short period of time, Sengoku quickly deduced the general's situation from the reported information. At the same time, Sengoku also subconsciously looked at Zephyr, whose expression changed after the same reaction. Zephyr, Luo Wei should be in New World now, this arrest operation can only be cancelled temporarily. Sengoku said hastily. New World is no more difficult than West Blue, Marine. I don't know how much more difficult it is to carry out the arrest. Especially with an identity like Zephyr. He used to be Marine Admiral, so there are naturally many big pirates who have suffered from him in New World and want to take revenge. Once he enters the New World, he may not have found Luo Wei, but has already ushered in the attacks of many big pirates. Advertisement. Zephyr naturally knew this too, so after hesitating for a while, he could only sigh helplessly, that's all he can do. He himself is not afraid of death, but he doesn't want to hurt others either. If he is really attacked by many big pirates, there will inevitably be tragic casualties. On a sea area near the red line in New World, the moonlight and the heart are sailing slowly. In the room of the moonlight, Luo Wei, who was sitting on a chair, looked at the square heart in his hand. No blood flowed out, and the heart kept beating normally. The heart in his hand was the product of Luo's op op fruit, and it was also a heart derived from sugar. After returning to the ship smoothly, Luo Wei naturally dealt with the personnel immediately. Violet and Baby Five don't need to work hard. As for the sugar and Monet, in order to prevent the two from doing any tricks, after Luo Wei woke up the sugar, he asked Luo to use op-op fruit to put the opponent's heart was taken out. Granos naturally doesn't have Monet's will to see death as home, and he doesn't have such high loyalty to Da Flamingo. After Luo Wei squeezed his heart a few times, he calmed down and obediently joined the brigade, which made Monet even more succumbed. After sizing it up for a while, Luo Wei casually put the heart of the sugar into the space of the golden template. 
The space of the golden template can store life, so naturally there is no need to worry about the heart of the sugar. Then let's see what the harvest is like this time. Mumbling to himself, Luo Wei just submerged his consciousness into his mind. Advertisement. Open black lens bracket evil value. 111,700 close black lens bracket. Open black lens bracket original sin value. 15 close black lens bracket. The Don Quixote family is mainly engaged in the arms business. Under the leadership of Doflamingo, they have committed a lot of crimes. Even though Luo Wei didn't kill many people in this operation, the cadres like Pika alone brought him rich harvest. After confirming the harvest of the sin value and the original sin value, Luo Wei thought about it. Now except for Conqueror's Hockey, his strength in other aspects has reached the 8th level, and if he wants to upgrade again, the crime value alone needs to be close to 200,000. What Luo Wei is thinking about now is whether to accumulate the sin value to wait for the improvement of strength, or use it for cultivation first. 0.0. Let's use it in practice first. While thinking, Luo Wei couldn't help thinking of the battle with Kuzan back then, and he had a decision in his heart. In the battle with Kuzan back then, part of the reason why he was so suppressed to death was because Observation Hockey couldn't capture the opponent's breath and predict the attack. Although Observation Hockey has been promoted to the 8th level by him now, but the application is still only at the intermediate level. If you want to make observation hockey more powerful, in addition to the increase in strength, the application must also be enhanced to be cool. After making a decision, Luo Wei didn't hesitate any longer, and immediately started the, middle practice, with 100,000 evil points, and his figure disappeared into the room. Chapter 234 The Best in the World Please Subscribe Automatically Second Update Previous Chapter Next Chapter Advertisement The reason why Luo Wei didn't stay in Dressrosa after solving Pika and others was because of Doflamingo. The opponent's string string fruit also has the ability to almost fly, once it is known that he attacked the Don Quixote family, it is enough to return from West Blue in a very short time. Of course, what really made Luo Wei wary was because Doflamingo was not alone, and there was Jin who might be more powerful beside him. With the help of Luo's intelligence organization, although Luo Wei has evacuated Dressrosa, he is still closely watching Doflamingo's movements. So Jin has separated from Doflamingo. After completing the training and walking out of the room to the deck, Luo immediately brought the information about Doflamingo to Luo Wei. After listening, Luo Wei rubbed his chin and said. It's true from the information provided by, Feng Er, but it can't be ruled out that this is a trap set by Doflamingo, and it seems that Doflamingo didn't stay in Dressrosa, but he didn't know where he went to 09. Luo said solemnly. Feng Er, is the intelligence organization where the high-level executive Luo controlled the heart. Regarding Luo's statement, Luo Wei also nodded slightly, saying. It is true that this possibility cannot be ruled out, and Doflamingo's departure is also very suspicious. How about this? You first inquire about Doflamingo's whereabouts, and at the same time determine whether Jin has really separated from him. Advertisement. If it's just Doflamingo alone, he naturally doesn't mind trying to hunt him down, but if there is another Jin added, then naturally he has to be cautious. Clear. Although Luo really wanted to kill Doflamingo to avenge Corazon, he was not dazzled by hatred, and he could understand Luo Wei's actions. But after nodding, Luo suddenly seemed to think of something, and hurriedly said, By the way, leader, I also got a piece of information here, but it's not about Doflamingo, but about an upcoming event held by North Blue. Auctions. Auction. What's going on? Luo Wei frowned and looked at the other party unexpectedly. It's like this. Recently, there has been a big movement in the auction industry. Ten top auction houses have formed an alliance and Shen plans to hold a grand distance sale called, The World's Best, in North Blue. Quote. Captain. Didn't you say last time that you want to find the supreme sharp knife? I also specially sent an intelligence mission to, Feng Er, for this, and in this, world's most, auction. It is rumored that there is a famous sword comparable to the supreme sword. Luo explained. After careful recollection, Luo Wei seemed to have indeed mentioned this matter in a conversation with the other party. The main reason is that with the improvement of kendo cultivation, the autumn water of the big fast knife has made him unable to meet the needs of weapons, so he is going to replace it with a supreme big fast knife as a weapon. It's just that he just mentioned it in passing at the time, and he didn't expect Luo to write it down at all, and he even made a special inquiry. For Luo Wei's careful behavior, Luo Wei naturally admired it very much, and at the same time became interested in this, world's best auction. Advertisement. A famous knife that is comparable to the supreme sharp knife, sounds very attractive, okay, then let's go to North Blue next. Luo Wei said with great interest. Anyway, the situation on Doflamingo's side has not been confirmed yet, so it's not a problem to go to North Blue while collecting intelligence. Soon, Luo Wei called Perona and others together, and after explaining the purpose, he announced the order to go to North Blue. Just like the way to enter New World from West Blue, Luo Wei also chose to cross the Calm Belt to go to North Blue. Steering the two ships towards the Calm Belt at an astonishing speed, Luo Wei standing on the bow of the moonlight was gazing at the sea in the distance while also thinking. 
Perhaps because of absorbing the soul of his predecessor, he is even stronger than armament hockey in observation hockey's practice talent. This time, under the middle practice, he has not only mastered the intermediate application of observation hockey to the peak, he has even touched the edge of a breakthrough. It can be said that only one or two more minor practice needs to be started in the future to make a breakthrough. However, after this medium practice, his sin value has been reduced to less than 2,000 points, so whether it is for the breakthrough of observation hockey or the improvement of strength, he will continue to supplement the sin value. On West Blue's side, after many times of hunting and killing by him, although the originally rampant underworld forces cannot be said to have been exterminated, they have also been maimed by him. If you continue to hunt, although there will be gains, there will definitely be fewer and fewer. Naturally, you have to find a new hunting direction. Since East Blue was cleaned up by the world government because of Roger, North Blue has the largest number of pirates among the four seas. Advertisement. Going to North Blue this time, Luo Wei naturally came up with the idea of putting the next hunting direction in North Blue. But he's still thinking about it. After all, pirates are different from gangsters. Even though there are a large number of pirates, pirates rarely have a fixed territory. 273. Most of them are wandering in the sea. If you want to hunt them down, you will need to spend far more time and energy than hunting gangsters in West Blue. Perhaps we can completely control the intelligence organization, Feng Er. A faint light flashed in Luo Wei's eyes. Intelligence is definitely a force to be reckoned with. Just like the attack on Don Quixote family this time, if he hadn't obtained the information in advance, he might have been attacked by Doflamingo and Jin. At the same time, if you have a strong intelligence force, even if the pirate forces in North Blue are scattered, you can hunt and kill them at the most efficient speed. Although, Feng Er, is not a top-notch intelligence organization in the underground world, it is still a first-class existence. If you master it, it will not only facilitate future hunting, but also improve the intelligence force in the brigade. The idea of compiling, Feng Er, was born in his mind, and he couldn't get rid of it immediately. After thinking about it for a while, Luo Wei decided on this idea. After this auction is over, I will find a way to include, Feng Er. Luo Wei thought silently. Advertisement. Chapter 235 Arrival and Raiders Please Subscribe Automatically. The Third Update. Previous Chapter. Next Chapter. Advertisement. The location of the world's most auction is a kingdom called Saint Cassia in North Blue. The kingdom is similar in size to Dressrosa, with bustling cities built on islands. However, Santa Cassia is not a member country of the world government, but an independent country. Using the conqueror's hockey and Nianian fruit to open the way, after successfully crossing the calm belt and entering the North Blue, the moonlight and the heart sailed into a port in Santa Cassia in just one day. Leader, there are still three days before the auction is officially held, what should we say during this time? After arriving at the destination, all members of the brigade, including Monet, Sugar, and Baby Five, gathered on the deck of the moonlight, and Luo also asked Luo Wei about Chi Kuang. If you want to participate in this auction, you need to apply for an admission pass. It's okay to leave this matter to you, Luo Wei said casually after looking around the port. The specifications of the world's most auction far surpass those of ordinary auctions, and it can even be said that those auction houses that have formed an alliance declare the existence of the alliance and want to control the entire auction industry. If you want to participate, unless you have received an invitation letter, you must apply for an admission pass in advance, and you need to pay a deposit of 10 million berry. Naturally, Luo, who was in charge of providing information, was very clear about this, so he nodded and said it was all right for Luo Wei's order, then took Bei Bo and the others off the boat and entered the city. Advertisement. Robin, the supplies on the ship also need to be replenished, you can take care of it. After Luo left, Luo Wei looked at Nico Robin, who was wearing a shirt and denim shorts, showing off his hot figure. Leave it to me, Nico Robin chuckled, a team was hired at the port, and soon there were specialized personnel to purchase various materials and transport them to the Moonlight and Heart. Half a day later, not only were the supplies on the ship replenished, but Luo also returned smoothly with the completed auction pass. After the preparations are done, all you need to do is wait for the auction to start. Three days passed in a flash. When the day of the auction arrived, Luo Wei led all the hunters to the auction venue. That's right. Apart from Beibo and other peripheral members, the official members of the brigade, even Monet and Granu, Luo Wei also brought along with them. The reason for this arrangement, on the one hand, is that the brigade has added newcomers, and Luo Wei intends to use collective action to run the team together. On the other hand, he is also planning to take this opportunity to formally declare his thoughts on the hunter brigade. It is worth mentioning that when going to the auction, Luo Wei's two arms were firmly occupied by Perona and Baby 5 respectively, making him look like a swinger hugging left and right. Advertisement. There will be such a situation is actually very simple. Baby 5 desires to be needed, this desire is no less than a serious mental illness. If you want the other party to follow you completely, it is not enough to just ask for it. Just like in the original Dressrosa chapter, Baby 5 chooses love between love and needs, and it is completely out of the control of the Don Quixote family. 
Although baby five's love is a bit of a joke, as long as you propose to her, it is indeed the best way to make her return to her heart. Luo Wei is not a holy mother, so naturally he prescribes the right medicine, so he secretly found an opportunity to gain the trust of baby five by proposing marriage. This method is indeed very effective, and now BABY5 is completely immersed in the love compiled by Luo Wei. Luo Wei even tested the effect for this. Under his request, even if other people ask for BABY5, Baby5 will only meet his request now. But in the same way, Baby5 now regards herself as Luo Wei's fiance, always being by Luo Wei's side all the time. Just like now, after departure, Baby5 hugged Luo Wei's arms intimately. Regarding this, while Perona was angry, she also occupied Luo Wei's other arm without showing any weakness, and formed a rivalry with Baby 5. Just like its high standard, the, world's best, auction held by 10 top auction houses is far more attractive than ordinary auctions. Advertisement. Even with the invitation letter and the threshold of a 10 million berry deposit, it still attracted countless forces and people. When Luo Wei led the hunter brigade to the venue where the auction will be held, people of all colors had already gathered in front of the luxurious building used to hold the auction. There are so many people, are they all here to participate in the auction? Perona, who was holding Luo Wei's right arm, also forgot to compete with Baby 5 after seeing the scene of the crowd surging in front of the venue, and her small face showed surprise. This is normal, this auction is jointly organized by many top auction houses, and there will definitely be many rare treasures. This is like a feast for all parties. Nico Robin stepped forward and came to the other side of Perona. After scanning the crowd in front of him, there was a flash of light in his beautiful eyes, and he said in a loud voice. Captain, the people gathered here are very complicated, leaves not only the rich and famous in a certain place, but also many pirates with a reward of over 100 million, and even officials from the world government. Violet walked behind Luo Wei, and while vigilantly observing the crowd, she reminded Luo Wei in a low voice. As the princess of the country that joined the world government, Violet naturally has a vision and experience far beyond that of ordinary people. At the same time, after joining the Don Quixote family, she came into contact with various forces in the underground world, so she easily recognized many people and forces in the crowd. There is nothing to be afraid of. Don't worry, leader. If anyone dares to provoke you, I will send him to hell with one shot. Wearing a maid outfit in a short skirt, not only has a delicate face, but also a domineering figure. Baby Five said firmly, while also intimately tightening Luo Wei's arm in his arms. Advertisement. Chapter 236 The Privileges of the Strong Please Subscribe Automatically Fourth Update Previous Chapter Next Chapter Advertisement Baby Five's force directly caused Luo Wei's entire arm to sink into the opponent's indescribable thing. Perona on the other side noticed this situation very keenly. She was still in the lowly type and immediately felt that she had been provoked and humiliated. Hey, don't go too far, let's just cuddle, and even use this kind of obscene thing to foul, do you believe it or not, I'll give you a ghost. She glared at BABY5, and said angrily. HMPH, you are obscene, I think you are just jealous. Baby5 was unmoved at all, instead he proudly pushed his chest out and tightened Luo Wei's arm even more, in a blatant demonstration to Perona. Ahem, it's almost done, don't let people see the joke. Although hugging from left to right feels great, especially the Baby5's move made him feel the beauty of heaven, but after all, there are other people around, so Luo Wei had no choice but to cut off the quarrel between the two women. Both Perona and Baby 5 gave 027 a vicious look at each other, then snorted and turned their heads to the other side. Before the venue, no matter the person who showed the invitation letter and the admission pass to enter the auction venue, or the person who was waiting to enter, they were all observing other people vaguely. This is not only out of vigilance, but also to distinguish competitors that may be encountered in the next auction. Advertisement. Hey, isn't this the famous evil hunter recently? I didn't expect him to come too. Sin Hunter. Isn't this guy in West Blue, but he also came to North Blue. Wait, I really want to see those three women standing next to the evil hunter. By the way, I remembered, they are not the cadres of the Don Quixote family, how could they follow the evil hunter? Shish, keep your voice down, don't you know that the evil hunters attacked the Don Quixote family not long ago, and I heard that many cadres of the Don Quixote family were killed in battle. These three women are probably recruited by the evil hunters. What, there is such a thing, you are not kidding, what about Doflamingo, is he also the opponent of the evil hunter? Quote quote. When Luo Wei and the others were talking, their arrival naturally aroused the awareness of many people. Many people's expressions changed slightly when they saw Luo Wei. After all, without mentioning anything else, the fact that he was offered a reward of 500 million by the world government is enough to make many people or forces pay attention. At the same time, although it hasn't been long since what happened to the Don Quixote family, many people who have mastered a powerful intelligence force have been informed of the news for the first time. Some people were not only surprised by the arrival of Luo Wei, but also surprised when they saw BABY5, Monet, and Violet. 
The Don Quixote family is in the arms business, and the cadres are unknown to outsiders except for the sugar, and the others are naturally known to all parties. For BABY5, Monet, and Violet, the three Don Quixote family cadres who followed Lua Wei, even if they didn't know about the Don Quixote family, it was enough to surprise those who recognized the three women. Advertisement. Hateful. Monet, who was standing behind Lua Wei, clenched his hands into fists involuntarily in response to the strange gaze and the voice of discussion. Although it was expected that such a situation would happen, when it actually happened, Monet was obviously in a very bad mood, and at the same time looked at Lua Wei in front of him with hatred. Otherwise AJCI, the other party took her sister's life hostage, how could she give in? Thinking that the news that he was with Lua Wei would be spread, he might be regarded as a betrayal by the young master, and Monet felt irritated in his heart. As for the sugar standing with Monet, although she also felt uncomfortable, it was not as big as Monet's reaction. After all, although her body is fixed at the age of 10 because of the childlike fruit ability, compared with the original book, she is only 13 years old now. Even though he was rescued by Doflamingo in very unfortunate circumstances, Jean Granos is very grateful for Doflamingo's kindness. But when he was still young, San Tang's thinking was not as mature as Monet's. She is grateful to Doflamingo, but definitely not that loyal. So when her life was controlled by Lua Wei, she was always very honest, and at the same time, she didn't have much rejection of serving under Lua Wei's men. Not to mention BABY5 and Violet, one was easily captured by Lua Wei, and the other had a hatred for Doflamingo, so naturally he didn't care about the stairs. Advertisement. Let's go, it's time to enter. Lua Wei didn't pay much attention to the discussions and gazes around him, he naturally put his hands on the slim waists of Perona and BABY5, and led them towards the venue indifferently. Naturally, Nico Robin, Luo and Violet followed immediately. Sister, let's follow. Granos held Monet's hand, seeing her sister standing there with a gloomy face, she held hands and reminded. Well, I got it. Monet took a deep breath, calmed down the irritability in his heart, and reluctantly showed a gentle smile to his sister, and then silently followed Luo Wei while holding the sugar. Facts have proved that Luo Wei's current reputation is indeed not small. Before and after he went up, the people who were standing in front quickly gave way to Luo Wei, so that Luo Wei walked all the way without hindrance, and came directly to the entrance of the venue. Although Luo Wei and the others have a total of eight people, after showing the admission badge, the special personnel in charge of the entrance of the venue did not say that Luo Wei and the others had exceeded the limit, but respectfully let the passageway open immediately. This is the privilege of the strong. The people who can be in charge of the reception at the door are naturally the kind of quick-witted people. After they also recognized Luo Wei, they obviously would not turn against a strong man like Luo Wei. Walking through the long corridor, Luo Wei and the others soon entered a luxurious venue like an opera house. Chapter 237 Gathering of All Parties. Previous chapter. Next chapter. Advertisement. Before Luo Wei and the others entered, there were already many people sitting in the venue, and at the same time, on the second floor, there were special seats like balconies everywhere. After entering the auction venue, Luo Wei first glanced at the people on the first floor of the venue, and then quickly stared at the special seats on the second floor. A lot of acquaintances really came. When Luo Wei saw the people on the seats on the second floor, Luo Wei's eyes flashed, and he led everyone to find an empty seat on the first floor as if nothing had happened, and sat down. The special seats are all people or forces that have received invitations from the auction alliance, and these people or forces are undoubtedly at the top of the world. Similarly, similar to the situation before the venue, the appearance of Luo Wei also attracted the attention of many people in the venue, including some people in the special seats. Sister Smoothie, there is another person worthy of attention coming in. He is a recently famous evil hunter. Hey, isn't this person an evil hunter? Boss Quinn, look quickly. The evil hunter that Lord Jin and Doflamingo wanted to kill not long ago is also here. Sin Hunter Luo Wei, he actually appeared here. Underscore, underscore, underscore. Advertisement. There were commotions in several special seats on the second floor. Sin Hunter. In one of the special seats, Smoothie, who was sitting on an exquisite soft seat with a scarf around his neck, stopped drinking after being reminded by his sister Garrett, and turned his gaze to the first floor, and soon locked on the on Luo Wei who sat down. Yes, it's the evil hunter. I heard that this person not only escaped under the pursuit of Marine Admiral Aokiji, but also attacked the headquarters of the Don Quixote family not long ago, killing many of the other party's cadres. He is a dangerous element worthy of attention. Garrett, who was dressed like a witch, explained. Smoothie nodded slightly, and at the same time looked at Luo Wei, with a playful expression on his face, and said, this guy seems to like hunting criminals. Garrett, do you think the other party will also want to hunt us? How is it possible, even if we give the other party a hundred courage, they probably won't dare to provoke us, and even if they really come to hunt us, then the prey will only be the other party. Garrett sneered. Smoothie shook the wine glass, and with the turbulence of the drink, he smiled lightly and said, that's very good, no matter who it is, it's just a prey to be slaughtered at will in front of our big mom pirates. After all, she averted her gaze from Luo Wei, waiting for the auction to start. 
In another special seat not far away, the fat man with two golden beards on his mouth, a golden ponytail tied behind his head, and a cigar in his mouth was also looking at Luo Wei. This person is none other than the Four Emperors faction, the anti-epidemic Quinn who was one of the three major disasters of the Beast's Pirates. Advertisement. As this kid a crime hunter. It doesn't look like he's so powerful. After examining for a while, Quinn pouted and said disdainfully. Boss Quinn, after the auction is over, should we arrest the evil hunter? Maybe we can use this to blackmail an ancient devil fruit from Doflamingo. Standing beside Quinn was an unruly man with long curly hair covering half of his face. He was condescending, looking down at Luo Wei with an arrogant attitude, and at the same time suggested. Quinn's eyes lit up, and he said quite emotionally. It sounds pretty good, this guy killed a lot of Don Quixote family cadres, Doflamingo definitely wants to kill him for revenge, if we catch him, maybe I can really exchange this guy from Doflamingo for an ancient devil fruit. Although the ancient species devil fruit is precious, Doflamingo's power is equally huge, and it is also closely related to the world government. If it was someone else, Quinn might think that it was impossible for the other party to get two ancient devil fruits in a row, but if it was Doflamingo, he really thought it was possible. Thinking of this, when Quinn looked at Luo Wei sitting on the first floor again, his eyes were obviously different. The eyes were full of greed and cruelty, apparently taking Luo Wei as prey. Zero. Seeking flowers, zero. In addition to the two four emperors factions, there is a special seat where people pay special attention to Luo Wei's arrival, and the person in this special seat is the marine side. Xiaohei. Is this kid Luo Wei? There are two people sitting on this special seat, one is Crane, and the other is Garp who is known as a marine hero. Advertisement. When he saw Luo Wei, he was surprised, and Garp, who was sitting next to him, also looked over subconsciously. That's right, he is Luo Wei. I didn't expect him to appear here after attacking Don Quixote family. He nodded slightly. Garp looked at Luo Wei carefully for a while, and suddenly smiled. It's just right, isn't Zephyr going out to sea because of this kid, since I met you, then wait for the raffle to end and catch it by the way. Quote. You can try, but you can't be careless. The opponent's Nianian fruit can control itself to fly. Although it can't threaten you, if the opponent wants to escape, it will be difficult for you to keep the opponent. He reminded. She was naturally very supportive of Garp's attempt to capture Luo Wei. Not only because of Marine's duties, but also to avoid the danger brought by Zephyr's going to sea. After suffering from asthma, Zephyr's strength declined greatly, and he was unable to fight for a long time. Like Sengoku, Crane dissuaded Zephyr after he proposed to arrest Luo Wei. In fact, Garp is the same. Although he has a carefree personality and looks like an old child, he is very reliable in his work. He now proposes to arrest Luo Wei, also in order to save Zephyr, an old comrade in arms, from going to sea. On the seats in the venue on the first floor, although Luo Wei seemed to close his eyes and rest his mind after sitting down, he was actually maintaining a high degree of vigilance. Even though observation hockey was not activated in order not to be noticed, with his keen senses, Luo Wei could still clearly feel the gazes falling on him and the murderous scarf that faintly locked on him. Advertisement. Chapter 238 The Feeling of Death. Previous chapter. Next chapter. Advertisement. It wasn't just Luo Wei who was vigilant, Nico Robin, Perona, Luo, and Violet were also tense, watching other people in the venue warily. Especially the beast's pirates on the second floor. Although Quinn looked away not long after, Peggy Wan would look at Luo Wei and the others with cruel and bloodthirsty eyes from time to time, like a fierce beast that chooses to eat people, which naturally made Nico Robin and the others very vigilant. Monet also frowned. What she was worried about was not being attacked by the beast's pirates, but that Luo Wei was killed by the beast's pirates and her sister would be implicated. It is very common for fish to die and net to be broken. She doesn't think that Luo Wei will kindly let her and his sister go if they are in desperate situation. Thinking of this, Monet hesitated for a while, and finally stood up from his seat at 270, and came to Luo Wei under the surprised eyes of Violet and others. Let me remind you, You'd better leave here now, otherwise, after the auction is over, you and your people may not be able to leave here alive. Luo Wei, who closed his eyes and meditated, slowly opened his eyes, and immediately saw Monet who was looking at him indifferently. Why, are you caring about me? Luo Wei smiled. Monet sneered and said. Please don't be too sentimental, I'm just afraid that if you die, you will implicate me and Granu. If you return the heart of Granu to me now, I don't mind joining forces with the enemy to kill you at all. Hey, are you being too arrogant? Luo Wei, I don't think this person is trustworthy at all, so let's just kill her. Advertisement. Monet, do you want to die? Believe it or not, I will finish you now. Perona and Baby 5 who were sitting on both sides of Luo Wei, erupted with a strong murderous aura. A ghost appeared on a hand with a bad face, and the other hand turned into a sharp gun barrel, aiming at it. Monet's head. It's really ruthless, but since you know your sister's life is in my hands, you dare to talk to me with this attitude, do you think I really won't kill you too? The smile on Luo Wei's face also faded away, his eyes turned cold, and he raised his hand to scratch in front of him. 
Swish. As if taking the initiative to deliver it to the door, Monet standing opposite suddenly felt a terrifying suction force, his body knelt down in front of Luo Wei's legs uncontrollably, and at the same time his neck fell into Luo Wei's hands. Armament hockey covered his palms, imprisoning his body with thoughts, and as Luo Wei exerted force indifferently, Monet's face revealed a look of pain. Unable to breathe, her face became paler and paler, and she even rolled her eyes faintly. No, my sister was just impulsive, she didn't mean to offend you, Captain. Seeing that his elder sister was about to be strangled to death by Luo Wei, Sa Tang couldn't sit still, so she hurriedly left her seat, hugging Luo Wei's leg and begging. Remember, there is only this chance. If you don't feel right next time, then you and your sister will die together. Luo Wei looked down at Granu, uttered indifferently, and then let go of his palm. Ah, when the neck regained its freedom, Monet first let out a scream, and then breathed the air frantically with his face flushed. Advertisement. At the same time, even though Luo Wei was released from the confinement, she was still sitting limply on the ground, trembling. Death by suffocation is very painful, and after experiencing this pain, you can understand the preciousness of life more and more. Although he values the talents and potentials of Monet and Granos, it doesn't mean that Luo Wei can endure each other's provocations without limit. He did have the idea of killing Monet just now. After the feeling of suffocation faded a lot, Monet no longer had the domineering posture before. Instead, he was like a frightened rabbit, looking at Luo Wei with faint fear and fear in his eyes. It is not so easy to give up one's life and forget one's death. In other words, one can never experience the feeling of despair until one really experiences death. Monet thought that she was not afraid of death, but the experience just now made her realize that she was not as brave as she thought. Go back and sit down. Seeing the other party still slumped on the ground, Luo Wei frowned, and mercilessly scolded him. Yes, sorry. Monet trembled all over, as if someone had been awakened from his sleep, panicked and hastily propped up his limp body, and then ran back to his seat, wrapping his arms tightly around his body. Elder sister. Granu's face was stunned, Monet's series of reactions now were completely different from usual, even as his younger sister, Grano was a little absent-minded. Advertisement. You go back and sit down for me. However, Granu didn't lose her mind for a long time. When Luo Wei's indifferent voice came from her ear, she soon trembled like Monet. Yes, I'll sit down right away. Sandang didn't have any thoughts, so she hurried back to her seat, and sat upright on the chair like a primary school student in class. Cut. Seeing that the matter between Monet and the Sugar Sisters was resolved by Luo Wei, Perona curled her lips and dispersed the ghosts. The same is true for BABY5, the frosty face softened, and at the same time, the arm returned from the state of the barrel to its original appearance. Look, it's celestial dragons. I didn't expect even celestial dragons to come. It seems that there are really many good things in this auction. I heard that those who get the invitation letter will also get a part of the auction list in 5.1. Celestial dragons must have seen some precious treasures from the list, so they came here to participate. At the end of the waves on Luo Wei's side, there was a sudden commotion in the venue, but a special seat was added on the second floor, and that was celestial dragons, who claimed to be the, descendants of the creator. Same as those celestial dragons that appeared in the original book. The celestial dragons who appear in the special seats on the second floor not only have many bodyguards, but also wear bubble hoods, wear the same clothes as astronauts, and are as fat as pigs. In addition, this celestial dragons has always been arrogant, no matter who it looks at, it is full of disdain and contempt. Advertisement. Chapter 239. The Opening Shot. Previous Chapter. Next Chapter. Advertisement. However, the demeanor of this celestial dragon made everyone in the venue silent. Even people as proud as Smoothie and Quinn, facing the disdainful eyes of the celestial dragons, only looked gloomy, but they did not dare to fight back as domineeringly as they treated others. Luo Wei naturally stared at the past when the celestial dragons appeared. Although he calmly withdrew his gaze after just a glance, his heart was a little restless. From his understanding of the method of obtaining evil points, celestial dragons are undoubtedly a group of experienced babies. After killing them, it is very likely that they will generate an astonishing amount of evil points. It's not yet time, if you want to kill celestial dragons, you must reach the level of world-class combat power. Luo Wei took a deep breath and resisted the urge to strike. With his current strength, it is not difficult to kill celestial dragons, what is difficult is that the world government counterattacks after killing celestial dragons. As long as celestial dragons are attacked, they will attract Marine Admiral's Crusade, let alone be killed. Just like the reactions of Smoothie and Quinn, even a force as powerful as the Four Emperors is extremely afraid of the celestial dragons and dare not provoke them at all. Although the crime value can improve the strength, the premise is that you must have this life to enjoy it. Unless he can be sure that after killing a certain celestial dragons, he can directly obtain the sin value and original sin value for promotion to world-class combat power, otherwise Luo Wei does not want to take this risk for the time being. Phoenix, Mark, Diamond, Jazzy, and the Whitebeard Pirates are here too. Advertisement. There are two captains of the first team and the third team, and this auction also has the items that the Whitebeard Pirates must grab. 
Whitebeard pirates, beasts pirates, big mom pirates, what a terrifying lineup, now besides the red hair pirates, there are three four emperors forces present. Could it be that the forces of the four emperors will gather together in this auction? There won't be a war during the auction, why do I feel so dangerous? After the appearance of the celestial dragons, another group of people appeared on the second floor. This group of people is the same four emperors faction, and it can even be said to be the strongest whitebeard pirate group among the four emperors. But in the same way, Whitebeard didn't come over in person, but dispatched Mark and Chowsey. Look, there's another person on the second floor. It's Hawkeye, the world's number one swordsman, Dracul Mahawk. Hey, it's Hexia Jinbei, this one is here too. The lineup is too luxurious. Four emperors, Shichibukai, and even emperors from the underground world have come. The next auction will definitely be very intense. The strong and those with great power appeared one after another. The arrival of the Whitebeard pirates is still not over. In the following time, Several big figures ushered in on the second floor, which also caused bursts of exclamation from the audience. Luo Wei also kept looking at the person who appeared on the second floor, his eyes narrowed slightly. There is no doubt that he wants to get a lot of crime points, and most of the people on the second floor are his hunting targets. Advertisement. But at the same time, these people are also a group of existences that are not easy to mess with. If he wants to hunt and kill them, he must have more sufficient strength. In this way, while waiting, no matter whether it was the second floor or the first floor of the venue, people gradually filled up, and an hour later, one person walked onto the gorgeous stage. Welcome everyone to come and participate in this, world's most, auction, I am the host of this auction, Jeff. Now I solemnly announce that the tenth world's most auction has officially started. The one who walked onto the stage was a middle-aged man who thought he was well-dressed and looked like a nobleman. He looked around everyone in the venue with a smile on his face, held the microphone, and spoke in a high-pitched voice. In the venue, including Luo Wei and the others, they were immediately refreshed. After waiting for such a long time, everyone has long been looking forward to the start of the auction. I won't gossip anymore, now let's invite our first auction today. In some opening remarks, Jeff just announced loudly and waved sideways at the same time. A beautiful woman in a red chansam showing a graceful figure walked onto the stage holding an exquisite wooden tray covered with soft silk cloth and came to Jeff's side. Everyone, Please see that the first auction item today is the secret treasure that has been circulated in the sea, Devil Fruit. I believe everyone should be familiar with it. The item placed on the exquisite wooden plate is a devil fruit that looks like a grapefruit, and Jeff explained the devil fruit in a seductive tone. It turned out to be devil fruit, did this auction take out such a precious treasure at the beginning? Devil fruit, although you will become a landlubber after eating it, you will also gain incredible power. It can be said to be the fastest way to become a strong person. I must take this devil fruit. Advertisement. Lousy is just about to enter the grand line. If he can become a demon fruit power, his strength will definitely increase a lot. Even though Jeff said in the 720 explanation that he didn't know the specific ability of the devil fruit on the stage, he still made many people in the venue look eagerly. Even with the flaws of landlubbers, the allure of devil fruit is still very great, enough for countless people to compete for it. After the explanation, Jeff also announced the bidding price for devil fruit. Because it is a devil fruit with unknown ability, the starting price set is the same as the market spread, which is 100 million berry, and the minimum bid for each bid should not be less than 100 million berry. Million berry. I offer 100 million berry. 101 million berry. 150 million berry. Underscore. As soon as the devil fruit auction started, people in the venue participated in the auction one after another, and the price was quickly pushed to more than 110 million berry. Luo Wei, should we also bid for it? Sitting in the seat. Perona watched the fierce bidding, and couldn't help but said to Luo Wei. Luo Wei said lightly, No need, the ability of this devil fruit is probably not very good, otherwise it wouldn't be defined as a devil fruit with unknown ability. Naturally, he didn't really think that the people in the auction alliance would not know the ability of that devil fruit on the stage. Advertisement. Chapter 240. The Slave Link. Previous chapter. Next chapter. Advertisement. Although the devil fruit illustrated book is precious, it is not a secret to those many forces. Even though the Devil Fruit illustration book doesn't record all the Devil Fruits, if it is an unknown Devil Fruit, he believes that people from the Auction Alliance will definitely not show it. In other words, the so-called unknown ability of the Auction Alliance is just to drive up the price, and even the Devil Fruit for the first lot is just to create an opening atmosphere. Seeing that Luo Wei was not interested in bidding, Perona naturally stopped talking. At the same time, she also secretly observed the second floor, and found that the people on the second floor had no intention of participating in the auction at all. Like Luo Wei, the people on the second floor also knew that the devil fruit on the stage was definitely not a real devil fruit with unknown abilities, and 9 out of 10 it was a devil fruit with ordinary abilities. Although even a devil fruit with ordinary ability is already very precious, it is not enough to arouse the interest of the people on the second floor. 
After nearly 10 minutes of fierce bidding, the devil fruit on the stage was finally bought by someone on the first floor of the venue at a price of 150 million berry. When entering the venue, everyone will be assigned a number plate. After recording the number of the person who took the picture, the auction of the second lot will start on the stage soon. After finishing the opening show, the auction also entered a normal stage, and the second lot was a rare gemstone inherited from a certain kingdom. Although the rarity of this lot is obviously not as good as the devil fruit of the first lot, the competition is still very fierce, and even better. Advertisement. Those rich people in the venue all participated in the bidding, and also raised the price of this rare gemstone to more than 50 million berry. Auctions appeared one after another, all of which were precious and rare treasures, and the auction price has never been lower than 10 million berry. But Lua Wei, like many people on the second floor, has never made a move, and ordinary treasures can't attract their interest. Guests, the next thing to do is the slave auction session that is very worth looking forward to. The first thing to start is the slave team we have trained. After nearly an hour of the treasure auction, the lot changed. On the stage, following Jeff's passionate announcement, the two slaves stepped onto the stage under the support of the attendees in black suits. The two slaves were a man and a woman, the man was strong and strong, and the woman was delicate and beautiful. Although they were slaves, the expressions of this man and woman did not look like those slaves in the past, but they were very obedient. It can be seen that the training Jeff mentioned does not just refer to the ability training, but the two slaves have been fully integrated into the status of slaves. Look, everyone, these two are randomly selected by us from the slave team. After our strict training, male slaves can be used for any job, whether they are guards or seafarers, they are the best slaves. As for the female slaves, they are all excellent servants. They are also first-class professionals in terms of life management and serving, and they will definitely allow you to enjoy emperor-like treatment. Advertisement. This team of slaves has a total of 500 people, and half of them are men and women. Five men and five women form a group. The starting price for each group is 8 million berry, and each bid must not be less than 100,000 berry. As in the previous auction, Jeff introduced the situation of the two slaves, and then loudly announced the start of the auction. In the slave market, the price of a human is half a million berry. But this only refers to those ordinary human slaves. Specialties and status will drive up the price. The quality of the slaves trained by these auction alliances is obviously much higher than that of ordinary human efforts, especially when there are five beautiful female slaves in each group, which will increase the price even more. The starting price of 8 million berry is definitely not high, and it can even be said to be low, so after the auction started, many people immediately participated in the auction. 8 million and 1 million berry. I offer 8.2 million berry. Is it a professionally trained slave? It sounds very good. Let me join in. I will offer 8.5 million berry. Quote dot 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 exclamation mark quote. Slaves are originally best-selling products. It can be said that as long as the quality is not too bad, many people will buy them. Advertisement. Especially the nobles and the rich, these people are the biggest buyers in the slave market. In just a few minutes, the price of the first group of slaves was pushed up to more than 9 million berry, and even the bidding was still very fierce. Luo Wei, who had never participated in the bidding, also looked at the two slaves on the stage with great interest. Now in the Hunter Brigade, in addition to the need to increase the number of regular members, there is also a serious shortage of logistics personnel. When he came this time, Luo Wei not only wanted to see the famous knife that Luo said was comparable to the Supreme Sharp Knife, but also planned to purchase slaves to fill the logistics staff. Slaves are undoubtedly a good choice, as long as you spend money, and the slaves auction now have undergone strict training, this is the best choice for logistics personnel. Backquote BABY5. Watching the fierce bidding, Zhao Lihao, Luo Wei no longer hesitated, and directly handed his own number plate to Baby 5 beside him, and then asked the other party to represent his bid. Baby 5 naturally obediently obeyed. According to the price proposed by Luo Wei, he immediately raised a sign and shouted, We will offer 10 million berry. At this time, the bidding price had reached 9.5 million berry, and Baby 5 raised it by 500,000 berry all of a sudden, which naturally attracted the attention of many people nearby. Okay. Now customer 218 is asking for 10 million berry, can anyone offer a higher price? On the stage, Jeff immediately looked at Baby 5 who was holding a number plate, and shouted excitedly. As the host, once the transaction price of the lot reaches the standard, there will be a certain share of the extra money, Jeff naturally hopes that each lot will get a higher amount. Advertisement. Chapter 241. Twin Girls. Previous Chapter. Next Chapter. Advertisement. Although 10 million berry was more than double the price of ordinary slaves, there was no shortage of rich and powerful people and nobles in the venue, so this price did not end the auction, and soon several people called out a higher price. Go on, shout out 1,500 berry. Regarding other people's bidding, Luo Wei looked calm and asked BABY5 to continue raising the price. He is not short of money, just when hunting down those underworld gangs in West Blue, he will often confiscate the money accumulated by the other party by the way especially after, space, appeared on the golden template, it made it easier for him to store items. 
Although I haven't calculated it carefully, Luo Wei's current wealth is at least as much as nearly 10 billion berry. After calling out 15 million berry, the bidding obviously slowed down, and finally Luo Wei succeeded in bidding the first group of slaves at a price of 10,000 meters south berry. But it's not over yet, just 10 slaves can't satisfy Luo Wei's requirements for the brigade's logistics staff. So in the following slave auction, Luo Wei auctioned 9 groups of slaves in a row, and bought 100 slaves at a price of almost 160 million berry. As this woman a subordinate of the evil hunter. It seems that the evil hunter has a lot of money. You actually photographed so many slaves, are you planning to form a pirate group? 270 inches huh? Is this man the evil hunter? Although the bid was BABY5, during the auction, people in the venue paid attention to Luo Wei. Advertisement. Especially on the second floor, some people who came after Luo Wei also found Luo Wei at this time, some dismissed him, and some looked at him. Among them is Mahawk. After he found Luo Wei, his sharp eagle-like eyes fluctuated for a moment, and then he stared. The fact that Luo Wei is a great swordsman has already been confirmed. And for Hawkeye Mahawk, the world's number one swordsman, the unknown great swordsman is definitely enough to interest him. After photographing 10 groups of slaves, Luo Wei stopped. With the current size of the hunter brigade, 100 slaves is enough to support the operation of the logistics, and any more would be a waste. His stop did not affect the auction, but instead caused fierce bidding for the remaining 40 groups of slaves. There is never a lack of buyers for high-quality slaves. Luo Wei swept 10 groups of slaves in a row, and almost made other bidders think, AJD, that he wanted to take all the slaves. Now that he has stopped, the rest of the bidders can't wait to buy it. Soon, a total of 500 slaves were quickly sold out, but the slave auction did not end. The 500 slaves are just the beginning of the slave segment, and there will be various slaves appearing after that. Such as pirate captains, beautiful divas, and slaves of other races. Especially the slaves of foreign races, the appearance of such slaves immediately caused more intense bidding. Advertisement. During the period, people on the second floor also started to attack, such as Jinbei who was known as the, Sea Man. The auctioned slaves also included slaves from the Fishmen Island, and every time Jinbei made a bid, what he took was either a murloc or a male mermaid. Attention, all guests, the next auction will be the penultimate auction item of the slave session, and now we invite our auction item to appear. As the auction continued, Jeff suddenly raised his voice, as if making a grand introduction, signaling to the staff behind the stage to bring up the new slave. These are twins, and they have such beauty, Jane is amazing. What a high-level slave, no, no matter how much money it costs, I will definitely get them. Where did the auction alliance find them? Such qualities are simply two peerless gems. On the stage, the new slaves were two beautiful girls, and their identical appearance proved that the two girls were twins. The appearance of the twin girls immediately caused an uproar in the venue, and even many people stood up from their seats excitedly, looking at the stage with eager eyes. What a pair of beautiful twins. In the Hunter Brigade, Nico Robin and Violet couldn't help admiring, looking at the two girls on the stage in surprise. It can be seen that the twin girls on the stage are dressed in black and white gauze skirts, like black and white twin goddesses. They have angel-like beautiful and exquisite faces and extremely perfect figures. From a distance, the two girls are like finely crafted art treasures. At the same time, although the twin girls have the same appearance, they each have their own unique temperament. Advertisement. The girl in the black gauze dress, although she was less than 20 years old, exuded an aura that charmed all living beings. The girl in the white gauze dress is just the opposite. She gives people the feeling of being extremely pure, like a budding snow lotus. However, after the twin girls stepped onto the stage, their faces were different from those of the slaves that Luo Wei photographed before. The girl in the black dress had a stubborn look, while the girl in the white skirt had a cowardly look. It is also enough to see from this that the twin girls did not submit to the status of slaves. Jeff was naturally very satisfied with the enthusiastic response from the audience, and this was something he had already expected. As you can see, this auction is a pair of twin girls, Anna in a black dress and Annie in a white dress. Not only do they have the face of an angel and the perfect figure of a witch, but they are also virgins, and their bodies are very clean. Besides, they used to be the daughters of a duke of a certain kingdom, real noble ladies. But this is not the most exciting thing, the real important thing is that they still have demon fruit power, possessing the extremely rare paired devil fruit ability among devil fruits, that is Paramisha sharing fruit. Sharing fruit, just like its name, is a twin devil fruit, which can be consumed by two people at the same time, and the two people who consume it will share each other, whether it is life or other things. In other words, they are not only peerless beauties who serve people, but also cultivate excellent combat tools. Because under the ability of sharing fruits, not only their cultivation talents will superimpose each other, but also when fighting, one person can exert the power of two people. To put it bluntly, Anna and Annie are unrivaled treasures among slaves. If you get them, you will have the most perfect slaves. Change. Advertisement. Chapter 242 Fierce Competition. Previous Chapter. Next Chapter. 
Advertisement. If it is said that when the twin girls appeared on the stage, it was only their appearance that attracted the attention of everyone at the venue, then Jeff's introduction made people amazed. Sharing fruits. Is there such a magical ability in devil fruit? It's unbelievable. If the ability of this devil fruit is really as described, then this pair of girls will really be perfect servants. Not only is she extremely beautiful, she is also a potential penultimate, such a slave must be photographed. Are the auction alliance crazy? Such rare slaves are willing to take them out. They are already an important resource. Jeff's introduction directly ignited the audience, not to mention the people on the first floor, even many people on the second floor seriously examined the two young men on the stage. He, these two girls have great potential, maybe we can photograph them as recruits. After Garp looked carefully, he turned his head to look at the crane and said. He nodded, and also looked at the two women on the stage seriously, and said, I have learned about the fruit of sharing, and the ability is indeed as the other party said, and if the price is right later, I will make a move. Marine is currently in a state of, lean and yellow. Although Aokiji, Kazaru, and Akainu are catching up with the four emperors in strength, they can be called the three strongest marine admirals in history, but the young and middle-aged generation is obviously inferior. Especially the younger generation, compared to the last two periods, is far behind, and there is a serious lack of key figures who can support the future of marine. Except for marine, the other people on the second floor were also very moved. Even celestial dragons, who had been dismissive before, looked greedily at the twin girls on the stage. Advertisement. Now I'm announcing the starting price for this auction. The price is 100 million berry. Each auction must be no less than 5 million berry. After laying the groundwork, Jeff naturally announced the price. The pricing of demon fruit power is not fixed, but arranged according to the actual situation. The more powerful the ability of the devil fruit, the higher the price of the ability user. Sharing fruit is obviously a high-quality devil fruit ability. Coupled with the conditions of Anna and Annie, the price of 100 million berry is definitely very low. Of course, this is only the starting price, and the low price is obviously just a routine of the auction alliance to allow more people to participate in the bidding, so as to trigger more intense competition. Don't compete with me, I will offer 110 million berry. Garbage, dare to take it out at such a low price, lousy pays 150 million miles. The quality of the slaves this time is too high. The slaves I bought before are simply inferior products. No matter what, I am willing to pay 200 million berry to buy them. The competition in the auction is undoubtedly very fierce. Jeff just announced the bid, and immediately someone couldn't wait to call out the price. But after three rounds, the price soared directly to over 200 million berry. It's just that this can't stop the fierce bidding. After several more rounds, the price soon exceeded 300 million berry. I offer 500 million berry. Suddenly, in the fierce bidding atmosphere, a voice came from the second floor. As soon as the price of 500 million was announced, everyone immediately looked at the other party in astonishment. Advertisement. Oops, it's Celestial Dragons, who dares to bid now? Damn it, Celestial Dragons actually bid. Can I just give up? It's too dangerous to compete with Celestial Dragons. After seeing the bidder, many people in the venue shrank their pupils, and then looked annoyed and helpless. That's right, the one on the second floor who called for the price was the Celestial Dragons present. He stood in front of the soft chair and looked greedily at the twin girls on the stage. Cut, Smoothie, who was also planning to bid, frowned, curled her lips and threw the number plate in her hand aside. With the power of the Big Mom Pirates, although they are not afraid of Celestial Dragons like ordinary people, they will not provoke Celestial Dragons either. Although the abilities of Anna and Annie made Smoothie very interested, but the intervention of Celestial Dragons made her choose to give up. On the second floor, there were many people who did the same thing as her, and no one was willing to offend the Celestial Dragons for two slaves. Zero. Seeking flowers. Sister, it's Celestial Dragons. On the stage, although Anna and Annie wore sea stone chains on their hands and feet, they could still see the bidders in the venue. After seeing that the bids were celestial dragons, Annie, who was wearing a black dress, approached her sister in panic. Anna. Anna's expression also changed when celestial dragons called for the price, and then there was a look of despair in her beautiful eyes. Advertisement. As the introduction, both of them used to be noble ladies, so they are naturally no strangers to celestial dragons, who are nobles in the world. But also because of this, the two are also aware of the habits of celestial dragons. Once they become slaves and fall into the hands of celestial dragons, the result can be imagined, even more painful than death. Zero. Now that master celestial dragons has offered 500 million berry, has anyone offered a higher price? Jeff was not excited after seeing celestial dragons bid, but felt a little regretful, because with the bidding trend just now, it is obvious that it is only a matter of time before it is pushed to 500 million, and there may even be a lot more. But now, with celestial dragons bidding, it was obvious that others were ready to give up. After all, Celestial dragons were not easy to mess with, and no one was willing to offend celestial dragons for one or two slaves. However, Jeff was obviously still unwilling to give up. He scanned the crowd expectantly, 
hoping that someone would continue to raise the price despite the power of celestial dragons. 500 million first time. 500 million times. Jeff has tried his best to delay the time, but after two consecutive bids, there was silence in the venue, and no one continued to bid. This situation not only disappointed Jeff, but also made Anna hold her sister's hand, and closed her eyes in despair, as if she had closed her eyes and was waiting to die. 510 million. Suddenly, just as Jeff was preparing for the last quotation, a faint voice sounded in the venue. Chapter 243 Conflict. Previous chapter. Next chapter. Advertisement. Swish. For a moment, everyone in the venue looked over in shock, and then they saw Luo Wei who had retrieved the number plate from BABY5, and personally held up the plate to bid for the price. Luo Wei's expression was indifferent, and he lowered his arms after bidding, as if he didn't notice the gazes of the crowd at all. Nico Robin, Violet, Perona, and Luo Ji all turned their heads to look at Luo Wei in surprise. I've made a bid. Customer number 218 bid 510 million berry. Is there anyone else who has offered a higher price? On the stage, Jeff seemed very excited, and at the same time, fearing that Luo Wei would regret it, he hurriedly started the quotation. 510 million berry for the first time. Although it is only an extra 10 million berry, it is also an extra income. As for whether Luo Wei, the bidder, 383, will cause celestial dragons to retaliate, Jeff naturally doesn't care, anyway, the other party only needs to pay the money. At the same time, Anna and Annie, who were already desperate, looked at Luo Wei in shock. Who is this man, he is not afraid of heaven and man. Someone actually made an offer, can he save me? After the shock, when Anna and Annie looked at Luo Wei, their eyes obviously changed from when they looked at the people in the venue before. The former was complicated, while the latter revealed a different kind of light in his beautiful eyes. It's not that Luo Wei's personality is great, it can only be said that everything is set off by his peers. It is also reduced to a slave, and it is definitely better to fall into the hands of other people than to fall into the hands of celestial dragons. Advertisement. At the same time, this foil also includes appearance. Compared with the pig-like celestial dragons, Luo Wei, who was originally just handsome, can be said to be a peerless handsome man. Moreover, Luo Wei was able to bid against the power of celestial dragons, which added a halo to him in the eyes of Anna and Annie, like a warrior fighting the dragon to save his beloved princess. You humble man, you dare to rob things with me, do you want to die? A curse sounded in the venue, breaking the strange silence, it was the celestial dragons who were angry because of Luo Wei's bid. Money is of course not worth mentioning to celestial dragons, what really makes celestial dragons angry is that Luo Wei's behavior of ignoring his majesty makes him feel challenged. While yelling, celestial dragons even took out a golden pistol out of nowhere. Under the supreme authority, celestial dragons can do whatever they want, and they don't care about others at all. It is extremely common to kill people at the slightest dissatisfaction. It's the same now, feeling the majesty being provoked, this celestial dragons directly pointed the golden pistol in his hand at Luo Wei. Boom. The gunshot rang out and with the eruption of flames, the bullets shot at Luo Wei immediately, and at the same time, the action of the dragon opener surprised everyone in the venue. Room. An illusory spherical energy field immediately appeared, and the bullet fired at Luo Wei disappeared in the blink of an eye after being enveloped, replaced by a stone falling to the ground. Swish. Almost at the same time, Nico Robin and Perona immediately disappeared from their seats, standing in front of Luo Wei from left to right, posing in a fighting stance, looking vigilantly at the celestial dragons on the second floor. Advertisement. It was Luo who shot to intercept the bullet. He also pulled out Ghost Cry decisively, and then moved closer to Anwei like Nico Robin and Perona. As for Obelit, Baby 5, and the two sisters Monet, they haven't reacted yet. When Luo transferred the bullet, Luo Wei also stood up from his seat. His tall body made it impossible for the two guards in front of him, Nico Robin and Perona, to hide it. Luo Wei looked indifferent, his eyes fell coldly on celestial dragons, and he raised his hand to point at the celestial dragons. What does he want to do? No way, Sin Hunter, is he going to do that? From Celestial Dragons shooting to Luo Wei getting up all happened in just a few breaths, and when seeing Luo Wei, many people's pupils constricted. Whoosh. Luo Wei's shot was very straightforward, without giving the others too many chances to react. As soon as he pointed his fingers, a sharp force made of thoughts shot towards the Celestial Dragons in a form visible to the naked eye. T. Celestial Dragons naturally didn't have time to react, but among the guards who followed him, some people's faces changed drastically, and they hurriedly stood in front of Celestial Dragons. Boom. The guard quickly collided with Luo Wei's energy with a punch, and under the violent impact, Luo Wei's thoughts were scattered with great force. However, although Luo Wei's attack was blocked, his attack on the Celestial Dragons caused chaos in the venue. It actually made a move. Advertisement. As the Sin Hunter crazy. How dare he shoot Celestial Dragons? It's over. If the Celestial Dragons are injured, then Marine Admiral will attack them, we won't be implicated. Many people showed expressions of panic, and some even ran towards the exit in a hurry, wanting to escape here. Garp. 
Both Crane and Garp stood up immediately after Luo Wei made a shot. Regardless of the attitude towards the Celestial Dragons, Marine's responsibilities and being in the ground now, it is certainly not impossible for he to be convinced that Luo Wei made a move on the Celestial Dragons, and he immediately looked at Garp. Understood, if I make another move this time, I will stop it. Garp had already recovered from the shock, and understood what he Ming meant, but instead of making a move right away, he waved his hand and said. All right, Crane is helpless, she is naturally aware of Garp's attitude towards Celestial Dragons, unless necessary, it is impossible for the other party to actively protect Celestial Dragons 5.0. Sin Hunter, you dare to offend Lord Celestial Dragons, do you want to challenge the majesty of the world government? The other guards who followed Celestial Dragons reacted and quickly stood in front of Celestial Dragons. At the same time, the guard who blocked Luo Wei's attack yelled at Luo Wei angrily. What's the point of talking nonsense? If you want to fight, I'll accompany you at any time, but you have to be careful. If I kill the pig behind you, even if you didn't die in my hands, your master probably won't let it go. I pass you, Luo Wei said coldly. He is not prepared to hunt celestial dragons at the world class level, but that doesn't mean he will be afraid of celestial dragons. If the other party insists on finding him, he will definitely not hesitate to take a risk, even if he dies, he will drag celestial dragons to hell with him. Advertisement. Chapter 244. Monet's Fear. Previous chapter. Next chapter. Advertisement. The leading guard was stunned, because Luo Wei's words hit his vital point. Once Celestial Dragons was really damaged, even if he survived from Luo Wei's hands, what he was waiting for was the punishment of death. Hey, that's interesting, the Sin Hunter actually provoked the Celestial Dragons, this guy is crazy. Trouble, but mom ordered me to take that devil fruit back. If there is something wrong with the Celestial Dragons later, this auction will definitely not go on. The descendant of the creator without fear, it seems that there is a reason why this person can become a great swordsman. Damn evil hunter, if something goes wrong with the celestial dragons and it implicates me, I will have you. The people on the second floor had different expressions about the conflict between Luo Wei and celestial dragons, some looked playful and some looked dignified. Guests, please calm down. On the stage, the chaos in the venue also caused the host Jeff to shout hastily. At the same time, a 9 man also hurriedly appeared in the special seat where the celestial dragons were located on the second floor. Saint Godfrey, please calm down. I am the person in charge of this auction, Albert. Immediately after the man appeared, he was stopped by the guards of Celestial Dragons, and immediately reported his identity with a flattering smile. Advertisement. Godfrey is the name of the Celestial Dragons who clashed with Luo Wei. He actually didn't notice Luo Wei's attack on him just now, and now he is puzzled by the actions of the guards to protect him. Now, the appearance of Albert suddenly diverted his attention, perhaps because the other party was the person in charge of the auction, so he let the guards get out of the way. Albert quickly came to the Celestial Dragons, and while smiling obsequiously, he whispered something to Godfrey. Huh, really? Did you really catch it? Godfrey suddenly raised his voice without knowing what Albert said, and at the same time there was an excited expression on his face. Of course, how dare the villain deceive Saint Godfrey, so please sit down and wait calmly, my lord, otherwise if the auction is interrupted, such a high-quality slave will not be able to be auctioned. I Bert said with a smile. It's just that he was grinning on his face, but he was criticizing his mother in his heart. As Celestial Dragons, Godfrey will appear in this auction, and a large part of the reason is that the Auction Alliance spent a lot of money to invite them here. The purpose was originally to use the name of Celestial Dragons to expand the influence of the Alliance, and even deter all the forces that came to participate in the auction. It's just that Godfrey obviously only takes money and doesn't do anything. The conflict between him and Luo Wei was completely caused by Godfrey himself, so Albert is also extremely unhappy with Godfrey. But the other party is Celestial Dragons, let alone Albert, even the Auction Alliance can't afford to offend, so they can only persuade them with good words. Okay, Ben Shang promises you. Godfrey sat back on the soft chair readily, and then looked at the stage expectantly. Albert wiped off his cold sweat when he saw this, but fortunately, he successfully made it clear, otherwise, if the other party really clashed with the evil hunter, the auction would definitely be messed up. Advertisement. Hey, Celestial Dragons seems to have stabilized. Phew, the Auction Alliance is still very good at it, it was able to settle the Celestial Dragons. I don't think so. Maybe the Celestial Dragons are afraid of the danger of a conflict with the Evil Hunters, so they want to wait until the auction is over and leave before attacking the Evil Hunters. Godfrey's actions naturally attracted the attention of everyone present, and they were also very surprised by it. The guards protecting the Celestial Dragons also breathed a sigh of relief. After taking a deep look at Luo Wei, the leading guard waved the guards back to their original positions, and then stood directly beside Godfrey, obviously still paying attention to Luo Wei. Keep a certain vigilance. Okay, everyone, let's continue the auction now. Just now, customer number 218 bid 510 million yuan. Is there anyone else who can offer a higher price now? 
On the stage, after noticing the wink from Albert on the second floor, Jeff immediately said loudly with the microphone, I want to divert everyone's attention to the raffle. Robin, sit back in your seats too. Seeing the celestial dragons who had calmed down for some unknown reason, Luo Wei also took a deep look and then retracted his gaze. He said calmly to the three guards on the left and right. Kindness. Okay. Nico Robin, Perona, and Luo looked at Luo Wei at the same time, nodded and quickly went to their respective seats. Advertisement. But this is only on the surface, secretly, the three of them did not relax at all, but became more vigilant. Although the conflict between Luo Wei and Celestial Dragons came suddenly, but from the three of them protecting Luo Wei at the first time, it can be seen that they have no aversion to the conflict between Luo Wei and Celestial Dragons. In other words, they all have full trust in Luo Wei. 730. Similarly, although the conflict seems to have subsided now, with the Celestial Dragon's style of action, Robin and the others will naturally not be careless, and are ready to fight at any time. On the other side, Sisters Violet, Baby Five, and Monet also reacted as if waking up from a dream. Compared with the three of Perona, the conflict between Luo Wei and the Celestial Dragons had a greater impact on the few of them. After all, they were not as familiar with Luo Wei's behavior style as Perona and the others. At the same time, after reacting, the backs of the girls were soaked in cold sweat all at once. He's absolutely nuts. Monet, who had been relieved from the feeling of death just now, cursed secretly in his heart, but when he secretly looked at Luo Wei, he felt even more fear in his heart. A person who is not even afraid of celestial dragons will definitely not have the slightest scruples if he wants to deal with himself and his sister. Although after joining the Don Quixote family, she has tempered her decisive and ruthless will from countless fights. But compared to Luo Wei, she has the natural fear of a rabbit-facing a lion, and the originally strong sense of resistance in her heart has almost been shattered. Advertisement. Chapter 245, The Highest Slave. Previous Chapter. Next Chapter. Advertisement. The same is true for Granos, even worse than Monet. As a younger woman, she naturally felt a greater sense of oppression from Luo Wei, and she also developed a deeper fear of Luo Wei in her heart. Robin, the leader didn't really intend to conflict with the Celestial Dragons just now. Violet sat with Nico Robin, and when Nico Robin returned to his seat, Violet cautiously asked questions. Nico Robin looked sideways at the other party, seeing that Violet was obviously very nervous, she smiled slightly and said, Yes, our leader is a very strong man, even the Celestial Dragons will not let him back down, so, Violet, you have to get ready. Violet couldn't help swallowing, her heart beating violently. But she soon thought of Luo Wei who killed the Don Quixote family, and after she was willing to help her deal with Doflamingo, she suddenly calmed down again. Celestial dragons are indeed scary, especially to those who know what they do. But she also has no way out. Luo Wei is now her only hope for revenge, and her hatred of Doflamingo is stronger than the threat of celestial dragons. She doesn't care about fighting the celestial dragons as long as she can get revenge. With both Luo Wei and Godfrey back in their seats, the auction is back on track, at least on the surface. Advertisement. Perhaps it was because Luo Wei was not afraid of Celestial Dragon's counterattack just now and had a deterrent effect. No one bid for the three bids, which also made Luo Wei take the twins Anna and Annie for 510 million berry. For this result, Anna and Annie on the stage were also relieved. They were clearly reduced to slaves, but before returning to the backstage, they looked at Luo Wei gratefully. Luo Wei naturally noticed the reaction of the twins, and this was the result he wanted. The reason why he did not hesitate to offend Celestial Dragons and also photographed Anna and Annie was not only because they had great potential, but also because they were easy to tame. To be more precise, it should be under the intervention of Celestial Dragons that it has reduced the difficulty for Luo Wei to subdue Anna and Annie. When Godfrey made the bid just now, Luo Wei was keenly aware of the reactions of Anna and Annie, and realized that they were very resistant and desperate for the Celestial Dragons to take pictures of him. At this time, if he made a move, he would naturally be able to gain the favor of the two women. Once the shooting is successful, it is easy to cultivate two combat forces with outstanding potential and loyalty to themselves. Guests, it's time for the last item in the auction of the slave session, please. After completing the auction of Anna and Annie, the next item quickly appeared on the stage, and it was also mysteriously covered by a red cloth. Jeff said passionately, as we all know, there is a kind of slave that is the most precious and rare in the slave market, and that is the mermaid from the Fishman Island. That's right, the slave appearing now is a beautiful mermaid. Following Jeff's words, the covering red cloth was immediately lifted by the staff at the side, and then a huge fish tank was revealed, and there was a female murloc looking around in horror. Advertisement. Mermaid. The auction alliance actually caught a female mermaid. This is the best among slaves. It's really a beautiful creature. Although the murlocs and male mermaids are ugly, the female mermaids are incomparably beautiful. Such goods must not be missed. It's really a mermaid. That's great, among the slaves of collected now, only mermaids are always vacant. There were bursts of excited shouts in the venue, especially those nobles and rich people, their eyes were shining, and their faces flushed red with excitement. 
In addition to the real price of demon fruit power, mermaids can be said to have the highest price in the slave market. Even purely in terms of slave collection, mermaid is well deservedly ranked first, easily able to sell hundreds of millions of berry. Damn it. On the second floor, after seeing the mermaid appearing on the stage, Jinbei's face turned livid, showing strong anger and unwillingness. He came here to participate in the auction for the purpose of saving his compatriots. Now that the mermaid is appearing as the finale of the slave link, this is not only not an honor for him, but a humiliation for Momo. It's just that Jinbei's anger can't affect other people at all. After Jeff announced that the starting price of the mermaid was 100 million berry, many people immediately bid, and the price quickly rose to 200 million berry. Backquote Robin, come here. In the seat, Lua Wei is naturally not interested in the mermaid, even though this female mermaid is more beautiful than Kami in the original book, and she is not inferior to the previous Anna and Annie. Advertisement. The goods under the auction can be handed over at the backstage of the venue at any time. Although Anna and Annie have been photographed just now, just in case, Lua Wei is still preparing to hand over them in advance. After taking out enough money from the space and handing it over to Robin and the others, and asking them to complete the handover, Luo Wei stayed in the venue alone. At the same time, the bidding for the mermaid has intensified, and the price has climbed to nearly 300 million. I offer 500 million berry. Just as the bidding was fierce, a familiar voice came from the second floor again, and it was Celestial Dragon's Godfrey who intervened in the bidding. Nuo's Zhao, the intense atmosphere came to an abrupt end, and not everyone present dared to fear the might of Celestial Dragons like Luo Wei. After Godfrey bid, he immediately extinguished the enthusiasm of others. In fact, the reason why Godfrey let go of the conflict with Luo Wei just now is precisely because Albert told him that the slaves to be auctioned next are rare mermaids. For celestial dragons, the best slaves are naturally the rarer the better. Even slaves like Anna and Annie are incomparable to mermaids. Damn it, why did celestial dragons bid again? It's over, I can't get my mermaid. Why? The people who originally wanted to capture the mermaid side, but the final result was that Godfrey successfully captured the mermaid at a price of 500 million. Advertisement. Chapter 246. The Sword of the Fallen Angel. Previous chapter. Next chapter. Advertisement. Jinbei was helpless about this, not to mention that he didn't dare to offend celestial dragons, even in a normal auction, he still couldn't get more than 500 million yuan. In the end, he could only close his eyes in grief and indignation, not looking at the despairing eyes of his compatriots. Alex, who is the lowly human being who competed with me for slaves just now? After photographing the mermaid, Godfrey looked happy at first, and then asked the leading guard beside him as if he remembered something. Alex was the one who blocked Luo Wei's attack just now, he was slightly taken aback, and then said respectfully, return to the master, the other party is a criminal wanted by the world government, his name is Luo Wei, and he is known as a crime hunter. He seemed to have seen what Godfrey asked himself, and quickly followed up, this evil hunter has a reward of up to 500 million. If the master wants to deal with this person, it is best to wait until he leaves here, and he may need to dispatch marines. Captain of Admiral or CPO. A reward of 500 million. Huh, no wonder you are so arrogant, but if you dare to fight against me, then this person doesn't need to live. Alex, please contact marine immediately and ask them to send a big 910 officer to kill me. Other side. Godfrey snorted coldly and said arrogantly. Alex's eyes flickered slightly. He was naturally full of hostility towards Luo Wei, but he didn't have the strength, otherwise he would have launched a counterattack just now. No problem, Master, first we'll notify Marine right away. By the way, Master, this is actually Marine's people, and it's Garp. If the other party makes a move, the evil hunter will definitely die. Alex said tentatively. Garp. Godfrey subconsciously looked at Garp and Crane who were on the second floor. Advertisement. It stands to reason that celestial dragons have absolute control over Marine, but in fact it depends on the person. For example, Garp, Godfrey hesitated for a moment, then shook his head and said, forget about this guy, he's not that obedient. When speaking, Godfrey's expression also showed displeasure. For celestial dragons, marine is their dog, who should come and go when they are called. But now, there are disobedient dogs in the marine, and Garp is the most typical one. Godfrey is no stranger to Garp, and knows that even if he orders the other party, the other party will most likely ignore him. It's better not to go to the other party than to touch one's nose. Seeing that Godfrey didn't intend to find Garp, Alex didn't dare to say anything, he just wanted to try. The auction was still going on, and after the slave session ended, many treasured items appeared in the venue again, which brought the atmosphere of the auction back to a lively state. On the other hand, Perona and the others also successfully completed the handover, but they did not return to the venue, but after contacting Luo Wei, they got Luo Wei's order and returned directly to the ship in the port. Naturally, Luo Wei did not let go of the celestial dragons, especially with Garp and Crane in the field. Advertisement. He had to be on guard against what the celestial dragons might do after the auction was over. If the other party asked Garp to attack him, it would be much easier for him to get away alone. A moment later, 
On the stage, a new lot appeared, which was also covered by a red cloth. The next thing to be auctioned is a very special item, and now I will personally show it to all the guests. While speaking passionately, Jeff untied the red cloth, and then a sword that resembled a two-handed sword appeared. However, the shape of this sword is very peculiar. Although the blade is hidden in the exquisite dark purple AJBI scabbard and cannot be seen, the overall shape of the exposed hilt is like an angel with wings, and it is also an angel with black wings. The handle is the body of an angel, and the guards on both sides are a pair of wing-shaped black angel wings. At the same time, when looking at this strangely shaped sword, for some reason, it gives people a feeling of ominous and panic. Has it finally appeared? It used to be one of the supreme swords, but later it was degenerated into a demon sword, but it also became stronger because of it. The Sword of the Fallen Angel. On the second floor, from the beginning of the auction to the present, Mahak, who had been acting plainly since the beginning of the auction, had a cold look in his eyes, and immediately sat up straight, with a pair of eagle eyes sharply locked on the strange sword presented on the stage. This sword, I believe someone should have recognized it, yes, it is the sword of the fallen angel known as the strongest demon sword. Once upon a time, this sword was not called by this name, but a, holy angel, known as light and justice. At the same time, it was also one of the twelve swords of the supreme sword. Advertisement. It was only later that this sword fell into the hands of a crazy swordsmith, and this person even aimed to create a famous sword that surpassed the supreme sword. Based on the, holy angel, he transformed it into what it is today. Sword of the Fallen Angel. According to the rumor, when this sword was being forged, the crazy swordsmith threw himself and his family into the furnace, making it full of evil. However, after transforming from the supreme sword to the demon sword, this sword has undoubtedly become stronger, because it has a brilliant record of cutting the supreme sword. Although it is a demon sword, it is definitely at the top of all famous swords. Whether it is for collection or use, the sword of the fallen angel is the perfect weapon. After untying the red cloth, Jeff introduced without hesitation. The hilt of the sword is like an angel that has fallen into darkness. That's right, this sword is really a fallen angel. The strongest demon sword, doesn't this sword have a terrible curse? Do you want to take a picture? Although it is a demon sword, the sword of the fallen angel is definitely a top quality famous sword. If I get him, my swordsmanship will definitely be more powerful. The people in the venue had different reactions to the sword of fallen angels, some with fanaticism, some with fear, and some with hesitation. The reputation of the strongest demon knife makes it as charming as the supreme fast knife. But at the same time, the evil nature of the demon sword is also frustrating. Even swordsmen who have a strong desire for famous swords dare not touch the demon sword lightly. Advertisement. Chapter 247 Auction. Take it. Previous chapter. Next chapter. Advertisement. And this is the state where Jeff concealed a situation in the introduction. The fallen angel sword is known as the strongest demon sword, not only because of its excellence, but also because from its birth to the present, the person who got it has never survived. Like other demon swords, there are more or less people who subdue them, but the sword of the fallen angel has never been. Those who get it, or those who intend to use it, will die violently due to certain circumstances. Even the person who has held it for the longest time has not even held it for a year, and its evil nature can be called terrifying. In the venue, when the sword of the fallen angel appeared, Luo Wei sat up straight almost like Hawkeye Mahawk. Is this the famous sword that Luo said is comparable to the supreme sword? The strongest demon sword, which has cut through the supreme sword. This sword is definitely a magic weapon. Luo Wei stared closely at the sword of the fallen angel on the stage, from its hilt to the top of the scabbard, not missing a single bit. He is naturally aware of the demon sword's evil nature, but the glorious record of the fallen angel sword cannot be denied its power. Now I announce that the starting price for the Sword of the Fallen Angel is 100 million berry, and each bid must not be less than 5 million berry. The bidding begins now. After the introduction, Jeff also announced with a high voice, and then looked at everyone in the venue expectantly. This time the auction was not as fierce as before. Even after the starting price was announced, there was a brief pause before someone shouted out the first price. I offer 100 million berry. Advertisement. 150 million berry. 110 million berry. It can be seen that every time the price is called, the price increase is very small, and it is intermittent, as if the people who bid for the sword of the fallen angel are all in a state of entanglement. But this is also normal, the demon sword is not something that dares to touch anything, if the sword of the fallen angel is the original supreme sword, the current auction will definitely be extremely fierce. 130 million berry, while the price was slowly increasing, suddenly there was a bid on the second floor, and the price was raised by 20 million berry in an instant. The bidder was none other than Smoothie, who represented the Big Mom Pirates. The Big Mom Pirates actually bid, isn't the other party afraid of the curse of the sword of the fallen angel? Charlotte Smoothie, one of the four generals of the Big Mom Pirates, is also a great swordsman, so it is understandable that she would bid for the sword of the fallen angel. Look, Hawkeye raised his sign, does he want to bid too? Just as everyone was watching because of Smoothie's bid, someone suddenly noticed that Mahawk, who had been silent in the previous auction, raised his number plate. 
150 million berry. As everyone guessed, Hawkeye Mahawk, who held up his number plate, bid with a calm face. 200 million. This is not over yet, another voice sounded in the venue. Smoothie and Mahawk looked at the bidder almost at the same time, the former was sharp, the latter's eyes were slightly condensed. Advertisement. Luo Wei put down the raised number plate with a normal expression. Whether it was Smoothie, Hawkeye or other people's gazes, he seemed to be unaware, always looking at the sword of the fallen angel on the stage indifferently. Interesting. The corners of Smoothie's lips were slightly raised, and she seemed to be smiling when it came to the bidding of Mahawk and Luo Wei, but her eyes were actually cold. 210 million. After a brief pause, Smoothie bid again. Mahawk glanced back and forth between Luo Wei and Smoothie, his sharp eyes flickered slightly, but he put down the number plate. 215 million. The bid that overwhelmed Smoothie sounded again quickly, but it was not Luo Wei who bid, but someone else. Just like the auction between Luo Wei and Smoothie, the name of the sword of the fallen angel's strongest demon sword is not able to deter everyone. Whether it is a person with a special collection hobby or a strong swordsmanship, the sword of the fallen angel has a strong attraction, making them want to bid for it. The person who made the bid this time belongs to the latter, and he is a well-known swordsman. His bid also attracted the attention of many people. Zero. Seeking flowers. 300 million. Luo Wei didn't hesitate, and bid indifferently again, and the price he was at was the same as before, which was directly raised significantly. Such a rich and powerful attitude naturally played a deterrent effect on other bidders. For a while, many people who wanted to bid showed hesitation, and then reluctantly put down the number plates in their hands. Advertisement. 350 million. Smoothie gave Luo Wei a cold look, followed by another bid. 400 million. 450 million. 5 billion. Luo Wei ignored Smoothie at all, and immediately overwhelmed the other party's bid, making the price quickly rise to 500 million berry. Sister Smoothie, we still need to save enough money to buy the devil fruit that mother asked for. There is no need to continue to compete with the evil hunter. If my sister wants this sword, she can definitely snatch it after the auction is over. Seeing that her sister seemed to be getting into a fight with Luo Wei, Jia Lei quickly tried to persuade her from the side. Smoothie's pretty face was frosty, and she glanced at the other party coldly, and said, Garrett, do you want to order me? How dare I order my sister, I'm just afraid that if I can't complete the task, my sister and I will be punished by my mother. Garrett shook her head and said with a wry smile. Smoothie calmed down slightly, put down the number plate in his hand, looked coldly at Luo Wei on the first floor, and said flatly, you are right, I don't need to entangle with this guy at all. After the auction is over, it is enough to just snatch the fallen angel's sword directly from the opponent. Quote. Garrett's persuasion had an effect, and Smoothie, who was originally in fierce competition with Luo Wei, stopped bidding. 500 million berry for the first time. 500 million berry for the second time. 500 million berry for the third time. Congratulations to this guest for successfully photographing the sword of the fallen angel. Without the competition from Smoothie, the high price of 500 million has shocked others, and finally Luo Wei successfully bid for the sword worker of the fallen angel. Advertisement. Chapter 248 Quartet Competition. Previous chapter. Next chapter. Advertisement. Standing up. After Jeff announced the success of the auction, Luo Wei stood up from his seat and went to the backstage of the venue with the number plate that originally belonged to Robin in his hand. Send someone to follow him, and don't let him get away. Have someone guard the exit of the auction venue. If you find the evil hunter leaving, please notify me immediately. Luo Wei's departure immediately attracted the attention of many people, and made some people follow him quietly. However, Luo Wei obviously didn't really leave the auction venue, but just to complete the handover of the fallen angel's sword ahead of schedule. In the backstage of the auction, after Luo Wei took out 500 million from space he took over the sword of the fallen angel from the handover staff. Grasping the scabbard with his left hand and the angel-like, 153, hilt with his right hand, Luo Wei pulled out part of the blade. Contrary to the obsidian-like hilt, the sword light of the fallen angel sword is as white as jade, shining through. But after looking carefully, Luo Wei discovered that there are countless blood streaks on the blade of the fallen angel sword, like human blood vessels, all over the entire blade. Even if only part of the blade is exposed, the blade is exuding a sharp edge when it is unsheathed. Luo Wei pulled a piece of hair from his head and let it fall freely to one side of the sword's edge, and saw that the hair suddenly broke into two pieces when it was still a king inch away from the sword's edge. Sure enough, it is a good sword. With its own sharpness, it can condense an invisible sword energy. With it, I can definitely exert stronger strength in the way of the sword. Advertisement. Luo Wei's eyes lit up, and he retracted the blade into the scabbard with satisfaction, and then put the autumn water worn on his waist into the space replacing it with the sword of the fallen angel. After finishing all this, Luo Wei returned to the venue, and at the same time let those who followed him heave a sigh of relief, and returned to their respective places. He didn't run away. Is he confident that he couldn't hurt him? It's really arrogant. HMPH, it's fine if you don't leave. When the auction is over, let me meet you in person. 
Have you replaced the original weapon with the Sword of the Fallen Angel? It seems that it is not just for collection, but is really going to use this strongest demon sword as a weapon. Seeing Luo Wei sitting back in his original seat, the people who were paying attention to him all had different expressions, maybe they smiled coldly, or showed cruelty on their faces. Hawkeye Mahawk also looked at Luo Wei with great interest. After discovering the fallen angel sword worn by Luo Wei's waist, the corners of his mouth slightly raised, and he picked up his glass and drank. During the time when Luo Wei was away, several lots had already appeared on the stage, and not long after Luo Wei came back, another heavyweight lot appeared on the stage. The auction started with Devil Fruit as the first show, but now the auction is showing Devil Fruit again. Guests, this Devil Fruit is a Devil Fruit whose ability has been determined. It is a Paramisha cheese fruit. Its starting price is 100 million, and each auction must not be less than 5 million berry. The bidding begins now. Different from the Devil Fruit at the beginning, the auction of the Devil Fruit that appeared this time often directly gave specific abilities. But also because of this, Devil Fruits who clearly know their abilities are more likely to cause fierce competition, especially those Devil Fruits with strong abilities. Paramisha Cheese Fruit, in terms of ability, is naturally not garbage, but it is not very powerful either. Advertisement. But its ability is enough to arouse the enthusiastic pursuit of some people. 150 million berry. After Jeff announced the start of the auction, Smoothie immediately bid, and directly raised the price of 50 million berry, which was a strong gesture that was bound to win. Sure enough, this dessert-type devil fruit is a must-have devil fruit for the big mom pirates. Cheese fruit, if you get it, it's no problem to cultivate an excellent fighter, but if you bid, it may cause the hostility of the big mom pirate group. Let's check the price first. If it's not high, you can bid for it. The deterrent power of the big mom pirate group is indeed great, but it is not effective for everyone. For example, Crane, who represented Marine, and Quinn and Mark who are also four emperors. 155 million. He was the first to bid, and she raised her number plate with a face. She will bid, not so much to get the cheese fruit, but to deliberately raise the price, in order to increase the consumption of funds of the big mom pirates. 160 million berry. Mark, who had never made a bid before, followed suit. He has similar intentions to Crane. Advertisement. Although collectively referred to as the four emperors, the four emperors are hostile. Naturally, Mark will not sit back and watch the big mom pirates easily add a demon fruit power. Moreover, the cheese fruit is also considered a good devil fruit, and it can be used in the pirates after being photographed, so Mark naturally doesn't mind bidding for it. Naturally, Quinn didn't intend to just watch from the sidelines. He took a playful look at Smoothie and then raised his sign and said, I offer 200 million berry. The BIGMOM pirates are fond of dessert devil fruit, which is not inferior to the enthusiasm of Beast's pirates for zone devil fruit. Although Quinn is not interested in the cheese fruit, he doesn't mind raising the price to make the big mom pirates bleed. For the obvious competition between the three four emperors forces and 3.8 marine, other people in the venue naturally would not intervene rashly, and completely entered the state of watching the show. 210 million berry. 215 million berry. 230 million berry. The four parties took turns to bid, and the value of the cheese fruit also rose steadily. Not only did it quickly break through the 300 million mark, it even began to charge towards 500 million. 470 million berry. Smoothie's face was gloomy, and he scanned the several bidders with fierce eyes, and made another bid. Her fierce eyes obviously couldn't deter other people, Mark said with a playful face, I'll offer 500 million berry. 505 million berry. Quinn lightly added 5 million berry. Advertisement. Chapter 249. Ancient species appear. Previous chapter. Next chapter. Advertisement. He didn't bid, not because she was afraid of Smoothie, but because she knew that she didn't need to bid. The price of more than 500 million has exceeded the actual price of the cheese fruit, and Mark and Quinn can completely help her raise the price, and there is no need for her to continue selling. 600 million. I'll give you 600 million berry, you can give me as much as you want. Gritting his teeth, Smoothie bid again, and at the same time, his words also contained threats and warnings. TCH, who are you scaring? 650 million berry. 700 million berry. Quinn and Mark, who were still competing with Smoothie, didn't care about Smoothie's threat at all, and the two began to bid again. It would be interesting if these three groups fight. Garp, who was sitting with Crane, gloated. The possibility is not too great. These three people are relatively rational people, and conflicts will not break out easily. Now it is just a quarrel. He shook his head and said. The fact is also the same, although the next step is to enter the fierce bidding, but it is only limited to the price competition, and there is no real conflict. Oh nine. However, under the continuous bidding, the bidding price of the cheese fruit has also been raised to an exaggerated figure, which is already approaching the 100 million mark. Advertisement. 950 million. 955 million. 1 billion. This is my final bid, if you two bid again, then this devil fruit will be given to you. At the end of the bidding, Smoothie not only directly increased the price to 1 billion, but also threw the number plate aside after the bidding, 
folded his arms, closed his eyes and rested his mind with a cold face. It seems that there is nothing to play, but it's not bad, the price of one billion berry, big MOM pirates really has a lot of blood. It's almost there. If you bid again, it might be worth one billion to buy this devil fruit. Seeing Smoothie's gesture, Quinn and Mark extinguished the idea of continuing to charge too high a price. For them, raising the price of the cheese fruit to one billion is already a good bloodletting for the big mom pirates. Jeff was already very excited at this time. Although when Smoothie appeared, he knew that the cheese fruit would be auctioned for a good price, but the price of one billion was far beyond his estimate, and it also represented that he would you will get a generous share. Billion berry for the first time, Tian Yi berry for the second time. Seeing that no one was bidding, Jeff began to bid, hoping that someone would continue to bid, but after two consecutive bids, no one bid. Luo Wei is now completely watching the show. Although Smoothie and him competed for the Sword of the Fallen Angel just now, he was very upset, but now he has no intention of making an offer to fight back. The reason is naturally not because he is afraid of the other party, but because the cheese fruit does not arouse his interest at all. Advertisement. Although he doesn't care much about money, he has no interest in spending more than a billion yuan to buy a devil fruit with ordinary abilities. In the end, the cheese fruit was successfully photographed by Smoothie at a price of 1 billion yuan, but Smoothie who photographed the devil fruit was not happy at all. Next, I would like to invite the next lot. The item that will appear this time is still devil fruit, which is an extremely precious and powerful ancient species in zone, cat cat fruit saber toothed tiger form. After the cheese fruit auction ended, another new lot was put on the stage, not only devil fruit, but also an ancient species with extremely strong abilities among devil fruit. Compared with the cheese fruit, the ancient saber-toothed tiger devil fruit that is appearing now will undoubtedly attract more attention from the audience. When Jeff explained, many people's eyes lit up and showed eager eyes. It's an ancient devil fruit, this auction is too luxurious. It's truly an auction with the, world's best. There are so many good things, it's unbelievable. Forget about the cheese fruit just now, this devil fruit is definitely not to be missed. The venue became lively all of a sudden, even Luo Wei showed surprise and stared at the saber-toothed tiger devil fruit on the stage. At this time, Jeff, who had finished his introduction, also announced the bidding price. The starting price for this devil fruit is 300 million berry, and each bid must not be less than 10 million berry. Now customers can bid. Just from the starting price, it can be seen that the saber-toothed tiger fruit is far superior to the cheese fruit, and even each bid must not be less than 10 million berry. This kind of bidding is enough to prove the confidence of the auction alliance in this devil fruit. I offer 310 million berry. Advertisement. 320 million berry. 330 million berry. The attractiveness of the ancient species is huge, and the starting price of 300 million yuan cannot stop everyone's enthusiasm for this devil fruit, and soon entered the fierce bidding. 500 million. We want this devil fruit from 810 beasts pirates. As the beasts pirates who had a special liking for zone, Quinn naturally wouldn't just watch, he not only bid, but also shouted a high price of 500 million in one breath. Hee hee. It's my turn now. 600 million. Smoothie who had just been bloodletted, immediately found an opportunity to fight back, looked at Quinn with a sneer, and directly raised the price by 100 million berry. 650 million berry. Mark made another bid without hesitation. The saber-toothed tiger devil fruit is different from the cheese fruit. Even if this devil fruit is bought at a high price, it is very worthwhile, enough to cultivate a powerful combat force in the pirate group. 660 million. It was he who called for the price, but when she bid, she also frowned slightly. An ancient devil fruit is already a strategic resource, and it can definitely help marines' future development. It's just that unlike four emperors, marines' funds are not so abundant. This time he came to participate in the auction, he only had a limit of 1 billion funds. The price increase of the saber-toothed tiger fruit exceeded Crane's budget, making her feel that she might miss out on this powerful devil fruit. Advertisement. Chapter 250. The Big Show. Previous Chapter. Next Chapter. Advertisement. 700 million berry. Quinn glanced viciously at the other companies, and immediately bid again. 750 million. 8 billion. 850 million. A scene similar to the cheese fruit auction just now appeared. The three four emperors plus the cranes were all fiercely bidding for the saber-toothed tiger fruit, even more intensely. Luo Wei sat on his seat and watched the bidders indifferently, not intending to make a move at all. He is naturally interested in the saber-toothed tiger fruit, but with the current bidding trend, he is not interested in spending a lot of money to buy it. To put it simply, even if he spared no expense to take down the saber-toothed tiger devil fruit, like Quinn from Beast's Pirates, he would definitely find him to snatch it after the auction. Rather than wasting money and being robbed by others, he might as well take the initiative to rob after the other party photographs it. Anyway, there is going to be a fight, so he might as well save the money. It didn't take long for the auction price to break through the 1 billion mark, but the rise in the price still didn't stop. The only change is that the underfunded crane withdrew from the auction. Advertisement. 1.1 billion. 1.2 billion, 1.3 billion. 
it has to be said that the wealth held by the four emperors is really amazing. Different from other pirates, the four emperors control a huge territory in New World, which also means that they have a large amount of financial reserves. After some bidding, the saber-toothed tiger fruit reached the highest price since the auction began, approaching the two billion berry threshold. With such a price, even the nobles and rich people on the wealthy side are stunned, let alone other people. The current auction is just the first round of competition. The real drama will be staged after the auction is over. Watching the fierce competition, Luo Wei's eyes sparkled slightly, and a faint smile appeared on the corner of his mouth. After all, this world is all about power first. The money competition can only be regarded as a warm-up at best, and it will always evolve into a power competition in the end. Even Luo Wei knew that he was also in this Uzumaki, otherwise, he would not let Luo and the others leave first. 2.3 billion for the first time backquote. 2.3 billion for the second time. 2.3 billion for the third time. It didn't take long for the saber-toothed tiger fruit's bidding price to exceed the 2 billion mark. It was not until Quinn spared no expense to call out 2.3 billion that the final result was reached. Buying a devil fruit with 2.3 billion berry, even if this devil fruit is a very precious and powerful ancient species of devil fruit, it is still a hemorrhage. After Quinn took the photo, he was in the same mood as Smoothie just now. They were not very good looking, and even looked at Mark and Smoothie who were the most fierce competitors with him. Advertisement. Naturally, Mark and Smoothie were not afraid of this. Instead, they gave Quinn a cold look, and then began to discuss in low voices with the people around them. Just as Luo Wei imagined, the current money competition is just a warm-up. Whether it is for revenge or to snatch the fruit, after this auction is over, there will inevitably be a chaotic battle. At this time, the auction alliance also took out new auction items again, but they were unable to attract the attention of the four emperors and marine, and even several parties had quietly left some people. Although various rare treasures still appeared in the following auctions, they were no longer attractive to people like Luo Wei. Until the end, this, world's best, raffle ended in brilliant lights. Quick, get out of here right now. Captain, our people have been deployed around the venue, ready to do it anytime. Forget about the cheese fruit, but the ancient saber-toothed tiger fruit must be taken. After the auction ended, many people in the venue hurriedly left after handing over the items. At the same time, many people were on guard against each other and evacuated towards the outside of the venue. The show is about to begin. Luo Wei stood up from his seat watching Smoothie and the others who also left on the second floor, adjusted the fallen angel sword around their waists, and walked towards the outside of the auction room like everyone else. Bang! The gunshots came out very suddenly, almost as soon as Luo Wei walked out of the venue, a rich man who was protected by bodyguards was shot and fell to the ground, the bullet hole on his forehead was very conspicuous. Ah, someone shot, run away, come on, take away the gem that the opponent has drawn. Advertisement. Catch the murderer quickly and maintain order. Chaos came faster than expected. The gunshots that appeared seemed to be a signal. Not only did the perpetrators appear to snatch the treasures taken by the dead rich man, but it also made other people panic and panic, and fled around in panic and screaming. The guards at the gate of the auction often shouted to maintain order, but they couldn't do anything in the chaotic scene. At the same time, when someone has already made a move, other people who want to snatch the lot naturally join in, robbing each other for the treasures they fancy. Immediately, gunshots erupted immediately, and at the same time, blood was sprayed from sword slashes. Before the auction, it suddenly became a chaotic battlefield. Sin Hunter, the sword of the fallen angel belongs to me. Luo Wei was also attacked when a man sprinted towards him in the confusion, then yelled and swung a knife at him. This person's strength is not weak, otherwise he would not have dared to snatch the fallen angel sword from Luo Wei's hands. Under the slash, he immediately showed the swordsman's level of swordsmanship. Ridiculous. Regarding the sudden attack, Luo Wei did not panic at all, his eyes were cold, his left palm covered armament hockey, and he directly received the opponent's slash. What? Seeing that his inevitable slash was caught by Luo Wei empty-handed, the attacking swordsman's expression changed drastically, but before he could react further, the fist covered his sight. Boom. The tyrannical power exploded in an instant, and Luo Wei punched the opponent's face expressionlessly. The air waves visible to the naked eye burst out, and after shaking the surrounding people away, they also smashed the opponents backwards like cannonballs. Advertisement. Chapter 251 Melee. Previous chapter. Next chapter. Advertisement. Bang bang bang. The sword hero who flew upside down not only collapsed his face and sprayed blood, but also crazily knocked away the people he met along the way, flying more than a hundred meters away before hitting the ground. When it landed, the swordsman twitched a few times before dying. Killing a swordsman with one punch, this kind of power has deterred many people who also wanted to snatch the sword of the fallen angel. Luo Wei glanced at the surroundings coldly, and with a little step, the whole person flew away from the spot as if disappearing out of thin air. Quinn, call out the saber-toothed tiger devil fruit, this devil fruit does not belong to you beasts pirates. Nonsense, it doesn't belong to us, does it still belong to your whitebeard pirates, Marco, do you think I'm afraid of you? 
Don't think about it for either of you today. In the chaotic scene, the royal forces, which had been fiercely competing before, naturally confronted each other. Marco, Quinn, and Smoothie formed a three-legged state, and they locked each other fiercely. As for the people around, except for the crew they brought with them, the others have already fled this area far away. After all, not everyone can participate in the power of the emperor. Joe 770, you go snatch the devil fruit. Advertisement. After a short confrontation, Marco took the lead, and after whispering instructions to Joe's next to him, his hands turned into wings of blue flames, and as he spread his wings, he swept towards Quinn on the opposite side at an astonishing speed. Call out devil fruit. Without any hesitation, Joe's yelled and turned into a diamond man. Together with Marco, he rushed towards Peggy Wan behind Quinn. Quinn didn't put the saber-toothed tiger devil fruit by his side, but handed it to Peggy Wan, his Delhi subordinate, and tied it around his waist together with the treasure box placed there. I'm afraid you won't succeed. Peggy Wan has no fear of Josie's attack. The six volleys can be said to be the third-tier combat power of the beast's pirates, and his strength is one of the best among the six volleys. In an instant, Peggy Wan activated the spinyback fruit ability, and his body turned into a half-human, half-dragon human beast form. The sharp dragon claws directly grabbed Joe's, who was rushing towards him. When the two collided, Josie's diamond body burst into messy sparks. At the same time AJBH, Peggy Wan was also slid by the opponent's tyrannical force. Fall back. Clang. Smoothie did not watch from the sidelines, and after the battle broke out between the two sides, he also participated in it. However, she did not go to the battle between Quinn and Marco, but directly drew her sword and slid towards Josie and Peggy Wan. The super long blade condensed armament hockey, enveloping the slash of the great swordsman, and slashed at Chauzi and Peggy Wan who were fighting with swiftness and fierceness. Chauzi and Peggy Wan immediately felt awe-inspiring, immediately ended the confrontation, and dodged to one side. The sword blade swept across, and the blazing sword energy burst out instantly, like a huge light blade, crazily cutting off the obstacles in front of it, and the distance was hundreds of meters away. Advertisement. Boom boom boom. Large areas of buildings were cut off by the sword energy, and the upper half was thrown high and then fell to the ground with a violent roar, causing the ground to vibrate violently. The billowing dust swirled and swirled, causing tragic casualties to the people in this area. Smelly woman, it's not your turn to play wild here. Quinn, who had just blocked Marco's kick with his fist, immediately became furious when he saw this scene. Dragon dragon fruit ancient species Brachiosaurus form. Quinn also activated the power of devil fruit, and his already tall body suddenly became even bigger, forming a humanoid Brachiosaurus. Brachiosaurus are large dinosaurs. Quinn's increase in size is obviously not fake. After activating the Brachiosaurus fruit, even if it is only in human and animal form, his physical strength has also been greatly increased. The fist exploded with greater force, and Marco was forced into the air by Quinn, and then he saw him slap the dragon's tail on the ground, lifting a huge boulder weighing several tons, like a baseball, the boulder was pulled towards Simuji. Under the terrifying power, the boulder straddled like a meteor, not only at an astonishing speed, but also with the terrifying impact force of the compressed air layer upon layer. Turning around quickly, Smoothie was keenly aware of Quinn's attack, and slashed down with the blade, cutting the boulder that was bombarded in half. The stone that split in two flew past her, and hit the auction venue not far away without seeing Yu Wei. Boom boom. Advertisement. Two deafening roars sounded, and two huge holes were directly smashed into the wall of the auction venue, which also made the wall covered with dense cracks. During the auction, because of each other's fear and vigilance, there will be some restraint, but now, after the auction is over, the few people in the battle obviously let go of their hands and feet. Although Marco was pushed away by Quinn, he didn't attack Quinn again. Instead, he flapped his wings and directly attacked Smoothie. Now they have an advantage in terms of numbers, and with Jaws's strength enough to defeat Peggy Wan, Marco will naturally not allow Smoothie to interfere. Boom. When approaching, Marco kicked Smoothie hard with Armament Hockey's right leg, but was blocked by Smoothie's insightful attack and the horizontal sword. Under the collision, the violent shock wave spread instantly, cracking and pulverizing the nearby ground. Smoothie's feet sank into the ground, and he retreated more than 10 meters to stabilize his figure, but he immediately locked onto Marco fiercely, and a sword slashed out a blazing sword. For such an attack, Marco flapped the blue flame's wings and lifted into the air to avoid it. Death to Lousy. Suddenly, in the sky above Marco, a huge figure covered him, and it was Quinn who leapt into the sky and punched Marco violently. Marco was startled, and immediately twisted his body to resist, although he blocked Quinn's fist, but under the terrifying force of the other party, he slammed into the ground like a comet obliquely, causing dust to fly and the ground to collapse. Died a lousy too, immediately after falling to the ground, Quinn was so ferocious that he didn't stop at all, and just rushed towards Smoothie fiercely, punching and smashing. Advertisement. Chapter 252, Instant Kill. Previous chapter. Next chapter. Advertisement. Cut you. Smoothie's eyes were sharp, and his body exuded a strong murderous aura. Facing Quinn's attack, he took a step forward and slashed fiercely with his sword. 
Boom. The fists and swords collided, and the terrifying shock surged, even mixed with the edge of sword energy, tearing the nearby ground into long cracks. A blue streamer quickly swept to the sides of Smoothie and Quinn in the confrontation, and it was Marco who was smashed into the ground by Quinn just now. Sweeping to the extreme, Marco kicked out both feet at the same time, and directly kicked the two people who were in a stalemate into the distance, causing a turbulent air wave. However, such an attack was obviously not enough to defeat Smoothie and Quinn. After getting up, they both attacked Marco angrily, and finally turned into a three-person melee. On the other side, under the fierce battle between the respective leaders, the other members of the three parties naturally attacked each other. Although the strength is far inferior to Smoothie and others, they are all members of the Emperor's forces after all. Each of them can be called a real elite in New World, and they basically have at least one kind of hockey. Similarly, Josie and Peggy Wan were also fighting fiercely. One side is a human-shaped dragon, and the other side is a shining diamond man. After fighting, the aftermath and movement produced are no worse than the Battle of Master Scarlet. Under the body of diamonds, even if Joe's doesn't cover armament hockey, he still has super defense and can ignore most of the attacks. As for Peggy Wan, Spinosaurus is also a carnivorous dinosaur that does not belong to Tyrannosaurus rex in the dinosaur family. Advertisement. Whether it is the increase in physical strength or the lethality, it is also extraordinary. When its sharp claws are torn off, the invisible sharp edges produced can easily leave deep scratches on the ground. Even in the face of Joe's, he needs to condense the armament hockey defense to completely resist it, otherwise the diamond body alone will cause damage. Boom. The earth shook, and when Peggy Wan avoided it in time, Chowsey's fist hit the ground. The terrifying force erupted, causing the ground to collapse crazily, forming a pit with a diameter of tens of meters in the blink of an eye. This monster. Peggy Wan quickly rushed out of the pit, then turned to look at Josie inside the pit, cursing inwardly, his eyes were fearful and fierce. People with zone abilities usually fight with a strong physique, and Peggy Wan is naturally the same. However, besides having a diamond body, Joe's also possessed a terrifying and strange power, and his physique was so strong that it even surpassed the power of Peggy who had activated his ability. In several confrontations of power, Peggy Wan was always at a disadvantage, and this also made him full of anger, and he even wanted to kill Josie to vent his anger. Peggy Wan, I advise you to hand over the devil fruit honestly, otherwise I don't mind beating you to death here. Joe's pulled out his fist from the mud, looked up sharply at Peggy Wan, and shouted loudly. Are you kidding? Just because you want to kill me, do you think? Peggy Wan was furious, veins burst out on his face, and he yelled fiercely, but when he was halfway through speaking, he seemed to sense something, suddenly turned and looked to the side. The astonishing speed caused circles of air waves to appear in the void, and a figure struck from a distance like lightning, and flew directly towards Peggy Wan. Who? Advertisement. Peggy Wan's face changed slightly when he saw the astonishing speed shown by the comer, and then he roared angrily and waved his sharp dragon claws to tear at the nearby figure. Flow of thought imprisonment. Thinking flow hyphenation point blood mosquito. The majestic power of thought formed the power of confinement, and at the moment when Peggy Wan's body froze, the figure of the rapid predator cut out a piercing sword light. The silhouettes intertwined, wrapped in the piercing sword light, suddenly appeared behind Peggy Wan more than 10 meters away, and then stopped immediately. Who, almost at the same time, a bloodstain emerged from Peggy Wan's neck. On the head of the ferocious Ridgeback Dragon, the expression was full of astonishment and unwillingness. The bloodstains quickly enlarged, and at the same time, blood sprayed out all over the sky, and the head flew up and fell into the distance. What? In the huge pit on the side, Jaws's pupils shrank into a needle shape, and he was also shocked by this sudden change, with a shocked expression on his face. Zero. The ferocious Ridgeback head returned to its human form when it hit the ground, and at the same time, the headless body that remained in place also crashed to the ground, kicking up some dust. Not far away, Quinn, Marco, and Smoothie, who were fighting fiercely, also discovered the situation here, and stopped fighting one after another, casting their own light in surprise. Peggy Wan. Bastard. Sin Hunter. Lousy is going to kill you. Among the three, the most excited one is undoubtedly Quinn. Amidst the roar, he directly gave up the fight with Marco and Smoothie, and violently rushed towards the murderer who killed Peggy Wan. Advertisement. That's right, the person who came suddenly and instantly killed Peggy Wan was Luo Wei. Peggy Wan, as the best of the six volleyers, can be said to have reached the dominant level of combat power. Although it is only a low-level overlord level combat power, it is undoubtedly a real powerhouse. It's just that Luo Wei's attack was not only sudden, but also very tricky. With his current mental strength, Although he couldn't completely restrain Peggy Wan's body, it was possible to cause the opponent to freeze for a short time. At the same time, the cutting edge of the blood mosquito is also the key. Peggy Wan actually reacted at the moment his body froze, and the condensed armament hockey resisted the sword light cutting towards his neck. However, the sharpness of the blood slash far exceeded his expectations. Eighth level kendo, eighth level armament hockey, and eighth level mind power. The combination of the three, coupled with exquisite swordsmanship, can be said to be immeasurable in its blooming aggressiveness. 
As it turned out, Peggy Wan didn't even have the strength to resist, and was directly beheaded by Luo Wei with a sword. Even if it was an ancient species of demon fruit power, its vitality far surpassed that of ordinary people, but after beheading, Peggy Wan was killed on the spot. Kindness. However, after beheading Peggy Wan, Luo Wei's attention was not on the opponent's body, and even temporarily put aside his plan to snatch the saber-toothed tiger fruit. What caused him to behave abnormally was not the violent Quinn, but the fallen angel swordsman he had just acquired. Advertisement. Chapter 253. Capture. Previous chapter. Next chapter. Advertisement. After beheading Peggy Wan, the sword of the fallen angel underwent a strange change. The blade covered with tiny blood lines like blood vessels actually suck the blood stained on it like a vampire. At the same time, the blade of the sword is faintly glowing scarlet, making it look extremely evil and strange. Die. Luo Wei didn't have time to think about it, because Quinn had already swept over him. With a loud roar, he swung his huge fist and smashed down on him violently. Luo Wei reacted very quickly, and immediately suppressed his curiosity about the sword of the fallen angel, suddenly raised his head to look at Quinn on the opposite side, and cut across with his sword. Boom. Quinn's fist slammed into the sword of the fallen angel. After the collision, the air wave circle visible to the naked eye immediately swept in all directions like a gust of wind. Distort and distort the void. Under the pressure of the terrifying force, the ground under Luo Wei's feet collapsed and collapsed, and even the collapse spread towards the rear in a fan shape, reaching tens of meters away. However, Luo Wei didn't suffer substantial damage, because he firmly withstood Quinn's fist, and didn't even retreat an inch. A plague among the three plagues, let me see how capable you are. A cold light flashed in Luo Wei's eyes, the blade tilted, and after removing the fist that was pressing on it to the side, he raised his leg and kicked out the tempest kick-chopping wave. Boom. The blazing slashing wave was like a lone peak rising into the sky, and it easily rolled up a huge wave, which made Quinn's face darken, and he immediately raised his arms to resist. Advertisement. During the violent impact, Quinn blocked the chopping wave, but he couldn't continue to exert pressure on Luo Wei. Luo Wei disappeared in an instant, but he came to Peggy Wan's body not far away. Although he was going to measure the strength of the three disasters, he did not forget his purpose. With a swipe of thought power, the treasure chest on Peggy Wan's waist was opened directly, and the saber-toothed tiger devil fruit placed inside quickly flew into Luo Wei's hands. After confirming that the devil fruit was correct, Luo Wei immediately put it into the open black lens bracket space close black lens bracket. Hand over the devil fruit. Quinn, who had blocked the chopping wave, also saw this scene, and was naturally furious in his heart. Amidst the roar, he immediately strode towards Luo Wei. Jung. Luo Wei swung his sword across without any hesitation, and in the turbulent air waves, he cut out a huge and blazing sword light, like a horizontal crescent, tearing towards Quinn. Go away, lousy. Quinn didn't stop or dodge, but punched the sword light violently. When the two came into contact, there was a deafening roar immediately. The billowing air wave spread and spread, and after a brief stalemate, Quinn blasted away the sword light with tyrannical force, but was also knocked back a few steps by the amazing impact of the sword light. Shave. The body flickered and disappeared, and Luo Wei appeared directly above Quinn. While looking down at him coldly from a high position, he quickly chopped down with a sword. Advertisement. Thinking flow slash evil dragon. The slash was like ferocious fangs, bursting out with a tearing force far exceeding that before. Even a strong man like Quinn felt a strong crisis under the induction of observation hockey. Hateful. Quinn did not face head to head as before, but quickly dodged to the side in fright and anger, avoiding the tearing of the fangs. Boom. The terrifying slash impacted the ground, and the ground suddenly shook, and huge chaotic cracks were torn apart, like a moat, making it hard to see how deep it was. This guy's slash, not far away, Smoothie's complexion changed slightly after seeing the power of the dragon slash, and he looked at Luo Wei clearly showing strong fear and vigilance. As for Marco, although he was also surprised by Luo Wei's tyrannical strength, but after reacting, he decisively flapped his blue flame wings and went directly towards Luo Wei. The purpose of his participation in the war is to capture the fruit of the saber-toothed tiger, not only to prevent the growth of the beast's pirates, but also to enhance the combat power of his own pirate group. Now that the saber-toothed tiger fruit is obtained by Luo Wei, Marco will not be indifferent, and is also ready to snatch it. Tearing apart the ground, Luo Wei used his mind to defend against the air, and was just about to continue attacking Quinn, but Observation Hockey's perception was aware of Marco's attack. Like a flash of blue light, Marco appeared near Luo Wei in the blink of an eye, and then kicked Luo Wei's head like a golden hook hanging upside down. Paper Arts Snake Shake. Advertisement. Luo Wei didn't panic, twisted and dodged like a snake, and directly avoided Marco's kick. Fat Gun Eagle Claw. At the same time, he also waved his empty left hand, and the condensed armament hockey's palm was like a sharp claw, and he ruthlessly grabbed the opponent's kicked right leg. Marco was quite surprised that Luo Wei dodged his own attack, and after seeing Luo Wei's counterattack, he quickly turned his body around and dodged. 
This guy is not only amazing in swordsmanship, but also armament hockey is so good. After successfully avoiding Luo Wei's sharp claw attack, Marco flapped his wings to widen the distance between the two sides. At the same time, he looked at Luo Wei with serious eyes. Even though he had witnessed the confrontation between Luo Wei and Quinn before, in the real fight, Marco still found that he still underestimated Luo Wei's strength. The mind flow slash formed by the combination of mind power and kendo makes Luo Wei's slashing power no less than 4.1 of the conventional 9th level kendo. At the same time, the advanced application of armament hockey combined with the strength of the 8th level is also extremely powerful for the increase of offensive and defensive power. To put it bluntly, even if Luo Wei has not activated the Devil Fruit Awakening power, his combat power has at least reached the Middle Overlord level. Of course, the combat power of Marco and Quinn is also amazing. Even though it was several years earlier than when the original book debuted, and their strength and future are not as good as they are, they all already have mid to higher Overlord level combat power. However, compared to Luo Wei, the strength of the two of them is not perfect, and they have more or less shortcomings. For example, Marco, he lacks the powerful ultimate move of Ding Ding, and when he encounters an even matched opponent, he relies more on the super recovery ability of the Phoenix Fruit to fight. Advertisement. Chapter 254 1 against 3. Previous chapter. Next chapter. Advertisement. Quinn's shortcoming is speed. The Brachiosaurus fruit greatly increased his physical strength, but the increase in size also affected his speed. It is precisely because of the strength gap between the two that Luo Wei, who may be weaker in overall combat power, was not inferior in a short confrontation, and even had a slight upper hand. Of course, this is just a situation where Luo Wei is in a normal state. Once he activates the Devil Fruit Awakening power, his combat power will definitely be enhanced again. After Luo Wei forced Marco to retreat, he also landed on the ground not far away, and at the same time, a huge figure appeared behind him, and the fist packed with terrifying power violently hit his head. This huge figure is none other than Quinn. He obviously didn't give Luo Wei a chance to calm down. With Marco participating in the battle, he, looked for the opportunity without hesitation and launched a fierce attack on Luo Wei. Although Luo Wei's application of observation hockey has not broken through the advanced level, but after reaching the 8th level, his perception and insight ability have been improved a bit. Although Quinn's observation hockey is not weak as 09, it is undoubtedly much worse than other powers, and it is also the breath that Luo Wei easily gave insight. Under the punch coming from behind, Luo Wei used his left foot as the axis, twisted his waist like a twist, turned around in an instant, and slashed out with a sword. Boom. The huge fist collided fiercely with the blade again, causing an astonishing impact that burst out in all directions, spreading over hundreds of meters. The ground under Luo Wei and Quinn could not bear such terrible pressure and collapsed, and the two fell towards the huge pit that appeared at the same time. Advertisement. Boom boom boom. At the moment of falling, the two also launched a fierce offensive towards each other, their sword blades collided with their fists crazily, causing continuous waves of turbulent air, continuously expanding and deepening the pit. Bang bang. Almost at the same time, Luo Wei and Quinn fell into a pit tens of meters deep, and at the same time, there was a scene of fist and sword confrontation as in the beginning. At this moment, the Brachiosaurus tail behind Quinn, with terrifying speed and strength, yanked towards Luo Wei from one side in the blink of an eye. Flow of thoughts Shen Luo Tianzhong. Luo Wei's expression remained unchanged, a majestic impact erupted from his body, and directly impacted on the opposite Quinn in a fan-shaped manner. At the same time, he also quickly raised his knees to resist the drawn Brachiosaurus tail. Boom. Amidst the billowing air waves and roaring sounds, Luo Wei and Quinn backed away at the same time. Luo Wei was slid sideways by the terrifying force of Brachiosaurus tail, while Quinn was oppressed by Shen Luo Tianzhong and went straight backwards. Boom. While gliding sideways, Luo Wei's feet exploded with a strong impact, and with the help of the reaction force, he also obliquely charged into the air from the huge deep pit. Jung. Advertisement. At this moment, a fiery sword chi slashed across from not far away, with a scale of hundreds of meters, as if dividing this world into two. The person who emitted this sword energy was Smoothie. With Luo Wei taking the saber-toothed tiger fruit, he has become the common enemy of the three royal forces, attracting all the firepower. The blazing sword energy quickly flitted through the void and appeared beside Luo Wei, and it was also seen by his observation hockey at the same time. Moonwalk. The air wave exploded under his feet, Luo Wei's ascent speed increased sharply, and he immediately staggered the sweeping range of the sword energy, making smoothies slash miss, and the sword energy disappeared in the distance. Turning his head to look coldly at Smoothie not far away, Luo Wei slashed out with a sword without showing any weakness, bursting out with terrifying kendo and mind power. Mind flow slash condor. Like a peerless ferocious bird covering the sky and covering the sun, the shocking sword glow surpassed the sword aura just now in terms of condensed level and scale, and immediately tore to where Smoothie was at like lightning, which also changed her expression. Hastily swinging the sword to resist the shocking sword light collided with the long sword that Smoothie slashed. Bang. 
In the roar of the explosion, Smoothie was quickly backed by the impact of the sword light, and at the same time the long sword that was resisting the tear of the sword light was also trembling, as if it would be crushed and shattered at any time. Drink. Chop. Smoothie screamed angrily, and his own armament hockey continued to condense on the blade to increase the power of the slash. After retreating tens of meters, he pushed the blade to the sky with all his might. Advertisement. The direction of the shocking sword light pressing on it was reversed, and it shot towards the sky like a tornado, and finally exploded at a height of thousands of meters, causing Wykong to show signs of collapse. Luo Wei didn't attack Smoothie again, not because he let him go, but because someone else attacked him again. When Luo Wei launched a slash like Smoothie, Marco turned into a phoenix and flew into the air without hesitation, and quickly flew close to Luo Wei. Kicking, sweeping, chopping and poking with both legs, Marco showed fierce kicks, attacking Luo Wei's vital points everywhere. Although Luo Wei's current observation hockey level is enough to gain insight into the aura of Quinn, 003 Smoothie, and Marco, it is still difficult to completely dodge under the continuous attacks of the three of them in perfect harmony. Facing Marco's onslaught of legwork, Luo Wei was also unable to react in time, and only had time to use his energy to build a defensive shield. Boom boom boom. Under the kick of the legs that turned into afterimages, the psychic defense shield was also kicked and rippled rapidly, and then exploded into a messy airflow. Marco's attack disappeared, and Luo Wei got a brief chance to relax through the delay of the defensive cover. He immediately used armament hockey to defend his body and retreated towards the other side. But after all, he didn't completely avoid Marco's attack, and was kicked by the opponent a few times. In the violent impact, his body fell obliquely to the ground like a meteor. Boom. Amidst the loud roar, Luo Wei hit the ground, immediately causing a large amount of dust to fly up and the ground to collapse, forming a deep depression. However, before the dust dissipated, invisible fluctuations spread out from the deep pit, and the ground quickly turned into countless golden light spots and gathered in the deep pit. A golden lightning suddenly appeared, shooting directly at Marco in the air, and then burst out a blazing golden sword light. Advertisement. Chapter 255. The Plague Bomb. Previous chapter. Next chapter. Advertisement. Jung. As if it was too late to react, Marco was immediately slashed by the golden sword light, and at the same time crossed with the direct lightning. Cracks appeared on the body, but instead of blood gushing from the fracture, blue flames burst out. Under the power of the phoenix fruit, although Marco's body was severed, he healed the injury in a blink of an eye. It's just that Marco's face is a bit ugly. After all, he was cut open just now, even if there were no real casualties, it was still a very bad thing. At the same time, he turned around abruptly and looked at the golden lightning that shot to a higher place. The golden lightning stopped in the air after continuing to rush out tens of meters, revealing its true colors. It was Luo Wei who was covered with the dragon armor, after activating the awakening power of Nian Nian fruit. As this ability the awakening of devil fruit, his development of devil fruit has reached such a high level. I underestimated his strength too much. No wonder such a person is not afraid of the might of celestial dragons. Kill. Not only Mark, but Smoothie also locked onto Luo Wei immediately. After seeing Luo Wei's current appearance, both of them were shocked, and there was a deep vigilance in their eyes. As for Quinn, he directly demonstrated his attitude with actions. Even if Luo Wei's strength exceeded expectations, he chose to continue fighting without any scruples. Plague Bomb. Advertisement. Quinn's left arm suddenly changed into a mechanical state before its ability was activated. As the mechanism turned, strange ammunition shot towards Luo Wei one after another. Quinn represents the plague in the three disasters. Although he is a zone-capable person, he is very good at making disease-type ammunition and mechanism weapons. Once these plague bombs come into contact with the body, they will be attacked by terrible viruses, even if they have a super strong physique, it is unbearable. But the premise is that the Austrian plague bomb can hit it for a while, and Luo Wei obviously won't give Quinn this chance. Although he has the defense of the dragon armor, Luo Wei still maintains a high degree of vigilance, and the plague bullets are strafing down, and he immediately slams his palm. Boom. A hurricane-like impact burst from the palm of his hand, not only blocking the approach of all the plague bombs, but even controlling them, and flying backwards towards Quinn. Damn it. Quinn was frightened, and quickly whipped his tail, raised a huge stone on the ground in front of him, and blocked the plague bomb that flew upside down. I'll use you guys to measure my size. After easily dispelling Quinn's plague bomb attack, Luo Wei's gaze also turned to Marco, Quinn, Smoothie, and even Joe's. In the end, his eyes fell on Smoothie, and at the same time he was full of fighting spirit, he also exuded a terrible murderous aura. Compared with Marco, Quinn and Joe's, Smoothie's strength is not inferior to the other three, but he is definitely the best kill among them. After all, Marco's phoenix fruit ability makes him almost immortal. Unless his physical strength is exhausted, or he is equipped with a sea stone weapon, he can't be killed basically. Advertisement. Josie and Quinn are pretty much the same. The former has a diamond body, and with the not weak armament hockey defense, Luo Wei's current slash cannot be easily split. As for the latter, the zone devil fruit would have been able to give the ability users super vitality, not to mention the ancient species. 
At the same time, Luo Wei doesn't think that Quinn's development of Brachiosaurus fruit will not reach the level of awakening, which will inevitably make the opponent's vitality stronger. On the other hand, Smoothie, although his strength is not bad, his survivability is not as good as the other three, so he is naturally the best one to kill. Shua. Boom. Luo Wei disappeared in place in an instant, and at the same time after he disappeared for a while, the air wave exploded in place, making a terrible detonation sound. Under the boost of the dragon armor, Luo Wei's speed easily broke through the sound barrier, leaving the sound behind. Swiping out at a speed far beyond what can be detected by the naked eye, Luo Wei directly charged at Smoothie, as if he had teleported and came to the opponent's vicinity in the blink of an eye. Not good. Smoothie's observation hockey also sensed Luo Wei's aura. He was frightened and angry, and swung his sword to cut it out. Boom. When Luo Wei attacked, he also launched a slash attack, and then had a head-on collision with Smoothie's slash attack. They are also great swordsmen, the slashing and collision of the two not only caused the spread of a huge air wave circle, but the sharper sword chi and sword light that flowed out crazily tore apart the cracks in the distance of Mo Yan. Advertisement. Smoothie only felt a powerful force oppressing him, his feet sank into the ground immediately, and then he was pushed back backwards. With the activation of the, dragon armor, Luo Wei's combat power has undoubtedly been enhanced, not only in physical skills, but also in the power of slashing. Under the collision, Luo Wei clearly gained the upper hand in terms of slashing, suppressing Smoothie. Of course, in a battle between overlord-level combat forces, even if one side has the upper hand, it is not so easy to completely defeat the other side. While retreating, Smoothie turned the blade of his sword, undid Luo Wei's slash, and at the same time raised his hand to grab Luo Wei's body. In addition to being a great swordsman, Smoothie is also a paramecia who has the ability to squeeze fruit. Once a life is touched by her, no matter whether it is blood or water in the body, it will be squeezed out. However, Luo Wei also knows Smoothie's ability very well, so naturally he will not give the other party a chance to contact him. Paper Arts Snake Shake After the slash was removed by the opponent, Luo Wei's body immediately twisted like a spirit snake, avoiding the palm that the opponent grabbed. At the same time, his left hand also turned into a sharp claw, tearing towards the opponent's head with the fat spear and eagle claw. Smoothie hurriedly stopped what he was doing, moved his body sideways to avoid Luo Wei's sharp claw attack, and at the same time swung his sword angrily towards Luo Wei's waist. Ding! Luo Wei blocked the opponent's slash with the sword of the fallen angel, and when the blade collided, dazzling sparks splashed. But this was just the beginning. After a brief stalemate, the two sides started a fierce fight with swordsmanship, and there were continuous sounds like the clash of golden swords and violent impact waves. Advertisement. Chapter 256. Gold Combination Technique. Previous Chapter. Next Chapter. Advertisement. The sword light flickered, and there were many afterimages. Luo Wei and Smoothie not only slashed at each other, but also moved quickly and irregularly, leaving deep and long cracks everywhere they passed. Unexpectedly, when Luo Wei and Smoothie were fighting fiercely, Mark and Quinn did not make another shot, but watched with cold eyes. The relationship between the four emperors was already hostile, so they naturally wished that the other party's personnel would suffer tragic casualties. Even Quinn, who was killed by Delhi's subordinates, suppressed his anger under the battle between Luo Wei and Smoothie, and prepared to make a profit. Josie, wait for the right moment. Once the two decide the winner, I will delay Quinn, and you will capture the evil hunter and find a way to take the saber-toothed tiger fruit. Without Peggy Wan as his opponent, Joe's also quickly joined with Marco, and after Josie approached, Marco also gave orders in a low voice. Understood. Marco, who do you think will win between these two? Joe's nodded clearly, looking at the two fiercely fighting at the same time, and said curiously. It seems that the evil hunter has the upper hand. This person's strength is much stronger than I expected. Maybe this woman, Smoothie, will lose in the 560 miles. Marco said with twinkling eyes. If Smoothie is really killed by Luo Wei, this will undoubtedly cut off a major force of the Big Mom Pirates. This is naturally a good thing for the Whitebeard Pirates, and it can suppress the arrogance of the Bigmom Pirates very well. A look of fear flashed across Jaws's eyes when he heard the words, and he said in a deep voice, the evil hunter is indeed very strong. I used to think that the other party escaped from Marine Admiral by some trick. Now it seems that the other party probably relied on his strength. The strength has escaped the pursuit of Marine Admiral. Advertisement. Well, anyway, let's watch from the sidelines now. It would be best for the evil hunter to kill Smoothie. If not, the opponent will definitely consume a lot after a battle. We can snatch the saber-toothed tiger fruit. Mark nodded, at the same time, his eyes were only locked on Luo Wei. While Marco and Josie were talking in low voices, the battle between Luo Wei and Smoothie became more and more intense. Regarding Quinn and Marco's sideline behavior, both Luo Wei and Smoothie naturally discovered it. For this, Luo Wei is naturally so happy. If the two sides continue to participate in the battle, it will undoubtedly add more variables and difficulties for him to kill Smoothie. As for Smoothie, she was frightened and angry, knowing that the people on both sides wanted to make a profit. 
It's just that no matter how unhappy he is, now facing Luo Wei's fierce offensive, Smoothie has no time to take care of other things. Ding ding ding. The sword blades collided fiercely with fierce slashes, and sparks continued to fly, the battle between Luo Wei and Smoothie has entered a fever pitch. Compared with Mark and Quinn, Smoothie's strength is actually weaker. Although her kendo has reached the level of a great swordsman, she has not yet broken through to the ninth level. As for the two-color hockey and devil fruit's ability, although the level is not low, it is still a bit worse than the swordsmanship. In comparison, although Luo Wei is weaker than the opponent in terms of pure swordsmanship, but combined with Nian Nian fruit, the power of Nian Luzon is even higher than the opponent. Advertisement. As for hockey and devil fruit, at least they have the same level. Moreover, under the cover of the dragon armor, it is also very good to isolate Smoothie from contact, so that her squeezed fruit basically cannot affect Luo Wei. If there is only one enemy, Luo Wei, who has the upper hand, naturally does not need to worry. He only needs to gradually defeat the opponent to win the battle. But now there are Mark and Quinn and other AJAG people coveting, which makes Luo Wei need to divert part of his energy to guard against people on these two sides. So on the bright side, in the battle between Luo Wei and Smoothie, he only had a slight upper hand, rather than completely suppressing the opponent. Flow of thought imprisonment. The two sides fought fiercely for more than 10 minutes, and at this moment, a sudden force enveloped Smoothie who was resisting Luo Wei's swift attack. Not good. Smoothie's complexion changed instantly, and he struggled crazily. The confinement of thought power seemed to make the air around her freeze like a wall, preventing her from moving. Just like Peggy Wan who was instantly killed by Luo Wei's sword before, although Luo Wei's mental confinement cannot completely confine the opponent, it can still make the opponent's body freeze for a short time. The same is true for Smoothie now, her strongest is Kendo physical fitness and armament hockey is no better than Peggy City. Advertisement. Under the confinement of her body by unparalleled thought power, her figure naturally became stagnant. Although this time didn't even last a second, in the eyes of people at her and Luo Wei's level of combat power, it was enough to become a fatal flaw. The Sword of the Fallen Angel, which was infused with thoughts and frantically oscillated, was wrapped in a terrifying edge, and immediately turned into a lightning-like sword light in Luo Wei's hands, and slashed at Smoothie's neck in an instant. Although Smoothie's body was in a state of stagnation, the use of armament hockey was not affected. When the sword light was approaching, she was naturally horrified and frantically gathered armament hockey on the slashed neck, trying to resist Luo Wei's slash. It's just that the cutting edge of the blood mosquito was so terrifying that even Peggy Wan was killed in an instant, and Smoothie was naturally hard to guard against. The illusory sword light just flashed past Smoothie's neck, and at the same time, Luo Wei also moved with the sword, crisscrossing past the opponent. A long and narrow bloodstain emerged, and the bright red blood sprayed out from his neck like a circle. Smoothie's beautiful eyes widened, with bewilderment and despair in his eyes, and his head fell off his shoulders. What? Mark? Quinn and others who were watching the battle not far away were shocked by this sudden scene, with expressions of shock and disbelief. Luo Wei's decapitation of Smoothie happened too suddenly, obviously he had been fighting very anxiously before, but a second later, Smoothie was instantly killed by Luo Wei. It can only be said that psychic imprisonment and blood mosquito, slash are really a perfect match, the two are like a golden combo. Advertisement. Chapter 257. Leaving. Previous chapter. Next chapter. Advertisement. As long as you can't be immune to the confinement of thought power, then your flaws will be exposed. As long as you can't resist the cutting edge of the blood mosquito, your body will be cut open. Using it alone can only be regarded as a powerful move, but when used in combination, it will produce a power of 1 plus 1 greater than 2. Smoothie is the best example. She is not weaker than Luo Wei in terms of combat power, but she is buried under the golden combo skills performed by Luo Wei. At the same time, Marco, Quinn and the others were shocked by the result of Luo Wei's sudden killing of Smoothie. When they looked at Luo Wei, they suddenly showed greater vigilance and fear. Kill. Luo Wei didn't have any extra energy to pay attention to the acquisition of sin and original sin in his mind. After beheading Smoothie, he was immediately attracted by the berserk Quinn. Although Luo Wei's instant killing of Smoothie created a powerful deterrent, it was obviously not enough to deter Quinn, or the other party was unwilling to just give up on saber-toothed tiger devil fruit. Thinking flow slash violent ape. Quinn, who came with a terrifying and murderous aura, punched Luo Wei fiercely, and Luo Wei turned around to meet him without showing any weakness, and slashed violently with his sword. Bang! The earth-shattering roar almost resounded through the city where the fists and swords collided, and the turbulent impact spread instantly, not only smashing and destroying the ground, but also stirring the void within a radius of 100 meters into chaos. While Luo Wei was crushed on the ground under his feet, he was also forced to retreat by the huge force pressing on the blade. Advertisement. However, Quinn didn't have any advantage. Although the super strength slash couldn't break through his armament hockey, it still pushed him backwards. Under the terrifying collision, Luo Wei and Quinn presented a well-matched situation. Shining collision. Luo Wei hadn't stabilized his figure when suddenly a burly figure slammed violently from one side, and the bright light shone like a meteor. 
Luo Wei didn't have time to make any more reactions, but hastily raised his arms to block, and then was hit by a burly figure. The terrifying power made him feel like an ordinary person being hit by a train. He was sent flying horizontally like a cannonball, and at the same time he let out a muffled sound. Boom. Less than two meters away from the ground, Luo Wei flew across quickly, flying hundreds of meters in the blink of an eye, and then crashed into a pile of collapsed building ruins. Amidst the violent roar, the five or six meter high ruins scattered like an explosion, and Luo Wei was also thrown into the air, falling further away. Shua. Lan Yan flapped its wings vigorously, rolling up the roaring air waves, and Marco also flew quickly under Jaws's hand, kicking and attacking Luo Wei fiercely. Perhaps it was Smoothie's death that both Marco and Quinn felt the crisis. They didn't stand by and watch, but launched a terrible offensive together with a very tacit understanding. Boom. Just when Marco was about to kick Luo Wei, suddenly, a majestic impact visible to the naked eye erupted from Luo Wei's body, hitting Marco directly like a thick beam. Advertisement. As the air wave raged and spread, Marco's body burst into messy blue flames, and his figure was also intercepted and retreated back. When the shock wave erupted, Luo Wei also twisted his body in the air, and quickly landed on the ground not far away. Although his left arm, which blocked Jaws's impact, was covered with golden armor, it was hanging weakly by his side, obviously seriously injured. But this is also normal. In the battle on the top, Ziz's, Sparkle Rush, caught Kuzan off guard and suffered serious injuries. Although the defense of the, dragon armor, is strong, it cannot completely block Josie's strange power and armament hockey's boost. At the same time, it wasn't just his arm that was injured, Luo Wei's body was also violently shaken by the terrifying impact. If you take off the dragon scale mask on your face, you will definitely find that there are clear bloodstains at the corner of Luo Wei's mouth. Marco, who was blasted back by the shock wave, quickly calmed down, and under the continuous burning of the messy blue flames, his body immediately returned to its original state. Zero. Seeking flowers. Hand over the saber-toothed tiger fruit. At this time, Quinn also attacked again, and amidst the roar, the mechanical left arm fired a large number of plague bombs at Luo Wei. Slashing out with a sword, the blazing sword light directly chopped up all the plague bullets in the middle, and even tore apart the attacking Quinn with undiminished power. Quinn's legs erupted with astonishing strength, and he avoided the tearing of the sword light in a vertical leap, only to see the sword light burst into the distance, breaking everything in its path into two halves. Don't try to escape. Advertisement. Suddenly, Marco yelled in shock, but it was Luo Wei who rose into the air decisively after sending out the sword light, and quickly swept towards the rear. Point zero. Naturally, he wouldn't let Luo Wei go, he flapped his wings immediately, and also broke out at super fast speed, chasing Luo Wei. Luo Wei is naturally ready to evacuate now. It was very lucky to be able to kill Smoothie. If it wasn't for Marco and Quinn who wanted to reap the benefits, he would not have many chances to kill each other. But now, both Marco and Quinn have obviously become wary of Smoothie because of Smoothie's death, and there is a tendency to join forces. Of course, he will not continue to stay. Although his golden combination technique is amazingly powerful, it still depends on the target. Like Marco, with the power of the Phoenix, even if he gets hit by him, he won't die. And Quinn, although his self-healing ability is not as exaggerated as Marco, but his physique and armament hockey are stronger than Smoothie. If he imprisoned the opponent's body with his thoughts, he would probably break free in an instant, and the blood mosquito slash might not be able to break through the opponent's armament hockey and strong body. This is still a one-on-one -on -one situation. Now that the two sides join forces, he naturally has no chance of winning. Since staying would only increase the danger, Luo Wei would naturally choose to evacuate. Whoosh whoosh. Sensing Marco who was chasing behind him, Luo Wei didn't slow down, and directly activated his mind power forming golden mind bombs the size of cannonballs, and crazily shot towards the opponent. Advertisement. Chapter 258. The Unexpected Person. Previous chapter. Next chapter. Advertisement. Marco was startled and hurriedly dodged, but his speed slowed down, allowing Luo Wei to quickly distance himself. As for Quinn and Joes, they can't fly. Even if they run from the ground, there is nothing they can do as Luo Wei flies towards the sky. Damn, this guy's speed is so fast. After avoiding all the bombs, Marco looked at Luo Wei who disappeared into the distant sky like a golden lightning, and stopped helplessly. The distance between the two sides is too far, and Luo Wei's speed is also above him. Even if he is unwilling, Marco already understands that he cannot chase the opponent. Bastard, evil hunter, don't let Lousy find you, or I will kill you. Quinn, who was also rushing down below, also stopped at 377, and Yang Tian, who was full of anger, let out a loud roar. Terrible sound waves hit the surrounding ground like a gust of wind, causing large areas to crack and shatter. Mark, who gave up his pursuit, landed on the ground, and Josie, who followed him, also quickly came to his side. What should we do? Are we going to mobilize our forces to find out the evil hunter? Joes asked. There is no need for this. The sin hunter doesn't have much territory, and his whereabouts are always erratic. 
It is difficult to find the other party, and even if he finds it, with the strength of the two of us, it can keep the other party. Marco shook his head after thinking about it. Advertisement. At the same time, after glancing at him and roaring, he was also the Quinn who destroyed the surrounding things like venting. Besides, the people of the Beast's Pirates probably want to deal with the evil hunters more than us. Instead of us doing it, it's better to let the Beast's Pirates fight the evil hunters. Mark sneered. That's true, and when the Beast's Pirates find the evil hunter, the saber-toothed tiger devil fruit may have already been used by the evil hunter. No matter who wins or loses, we will not lose. Joes also agreed. Not to mention the subsequent development of Saint Cassia, after getting rid of the pursuit of Mark and others, Luo Wei chased everyone in the brigade with the Perona life paper stored in space after disarming the dragon armor. That's right, Perona and the others who left the auction site ahead of schedule did not stay at the port of Santa Cassia, but had already been ordered by Luo Wei to leave directly by boat. Luo Wei's order was naturally to guard against possible fights after the auction ended. Now it also proved that his arrangement was very wise, otherwise, let alone hunting smoothie, even if he wanted to get away, it would not be so easy. After all, it is the top combat power of the Emperor's forces. I really can't be careless at all. During the flight, Luo Wei also silently checked his injuries, and then couldn't help feeling a little emotional in his heart. Although he successfully killed Smoothie in this battle, it also benefited from the calculations of the other two forces. It's like after Smoothie's death, Mark, Quinn, and Joe's joined forces to besiege, Luo Wei was completely at a disadvantage. Especially after being hit by Jaws's flashes, he is now seriously injured, and even his internal organs have been damaged. Although such an injury is not fatal, it is enough for Luo Wei to recuperate for a period of time, and it also proves the terrifying power exerted by the combination of overlord-level combat forces. Advertisement. The reason why the four emperors can compete against Marine is that apart from the unparalleled fighting power of the four emperors, the power under their command is also a key. Whether it's the three disasters, or the former captains of the generals or the Whitebeard pirates, once these people join forces, they are enough to hold back at least one Marine admiral. Luo Wei's current strength is still far from world-class combat power, and naturally it is even more so. After checking the injuries, Luo Wei sank into his mind by the way, and took stock of the gains. The Big Mom pirates are definitely standard pirates. It is no exaggeration to describe them as vicious. They often even destroy a country for some desserts. The crimes they commit are naturally very astonishing. And as one of the four stars, Smoothie, her sins are naturally very serious. Luo Wei looked under the golden template and immediately found that the number of evil points has approached the 100,000 level, and 90% of the gains are undoubtedly from Smoothie alone. In addition, the original sin value has also increased by 8 points, which has accumulated to 21 points. Having so many evil points should be enough for the application of observation hockey to break through the advanced level, and then you can continue to improve your strength. A bright light flashed in Luo Wei's eyes, and he immediately accelerated, moving forward in the direction of the life paper. Moments later, the shadows of ships appeared in Luo Wei's line of sight, which were the moonlight and the heart. Huh, this ship is. Suddenly, Luo Wei's eyes narrowed slightly, because both the moonlight and the heart stopped in place, and there was a coffin-shaped boat near the moonlight. Advertisement. On the deck of the moonlight, at this time, Perona, Nico Robin, Luo and others were all gathered on it, and formed a confrontation with a figure on the opposite side, and everyone in the brigade was vigilant. Is it finally here? The figure confronting Perona and them was Mahawk the Eagle Eye. He also spotted Luo Wei at the first time, and turned his head to stare at Luo Wei who was flying like a meteor. Shua. In just a few breaths, Luo Wei appeared in the sky above the moonlight from far to near, and then quickly landed in front of Perona and the others. Luo Wei. Captain. When they saw Luo Wei appear, Perona and others were all happy, and Baby Five and Perona quickly came to the two sides of Luo Wei, one left and one right. Hawkeye. What are you doing on my boat? Luo Wei waved his hand, and looked at Mahawk opposite with his usual indifferent expression. I just saw an interesting opponent, so I just wanted to say hello in advance. Hawkeye Mahawk looked at Luo Wei and said calmly. Then are you going to fight me? Luo Wei said staring at the other party. Behind him, Perona and the others trembled, the original joy of Luo Wei's return was replaced by stronger guard. Advertisement. Chapter 259. Kendo Conference. Previous Chapter. Next Chapter. Advertisement. They originally followed Luo Wei's order to evacuate Santa Cassia in advance, but they were intercepted by Mahawk on the way. It's just that Mahawk didn't fight with everyone, but just stated that he wanted to talk to Luo Wei. Now following Mahawk's words, everyone naturally realized that the purpose of the opponent looking for Luo Wei was to fight Luo Wei. As the world's number one swordsman, Mahawk's deterrent power is naturally very strong, and it also makes Perona and others feel like they are facing an enemy. Surprisingly, for Luo Wei's words, Hakai Mahawk shook his head, and then said calmly, I really want to learn about your kendo, but it's not right now. It can be seen that you have experienced a battle before, and your injuries are not serious. I will not bully a wounded one. Exactly three months later is the date of the kendo conference. 
I will attend then. If you are interested in the position of the world's number one swordsman, you can find me. 09. Leader, the Kendo Conference is a grand ceremony held every three years, and it is also a competition for all swordsmen to compete for the world's number one swordsman. Nico Robin came behind Luo Wei, seeming to be afraid that Luo Wei would not know about the Kendo competition, so he explained in a low voice. Is it the Kendo Conference? Okay, I'll go find you. Luo Wei's eyes flickered for a moment, and then he said in a deep voice to Mahawk. Advertisement. He doesn't care much about the title of the world's number one swordsman, but he is very interested in learning swordsmanship with Mahawk. The opponent's strength is a mystery even in the original book, but being able to sit firmly on the throne of the world's number one swordsman is enough to prove how powerful the opponent's swordsmanship is. Although Luo Wei is not a pure swordsman, swordsmanship is also one of his important strengths. Being able to compete with Hawkeye, even if he can't win in the end, is enough for him to develop his knowledge in the way of swordsmanship. Hawkeye Mahawk left, and after Luo Wei accepted his invitation, he simply left the moonlight and sailed away in a coffin-shaped boat. As for Luo Wei, after he gave the order to set sail, he received treatment from Huo Bakay and Luo. Luo Wei, are you really going to attend the Kendo tournament three months later? I heard that Hawkeye is a terrifying existence that can even fight the redhead in Four Emperors. When Luo Wei's injury treatment was over, he gathered the backbone of the brigade together, but before he could speak, Corona expressed concern. To be precise, it should be in terms of swordsmanship. The two are evenly matched. In terms of overall strength, it is estimated that the red hair is stronger. Luo said from the side. Nico Robin frowned and said, This is already scary. The four emperors are strong men standing at the apex of this world, and as far as I know, the opponent is also a swordsman. Hawkeye can equal the red hair in the way of swords. I'm afraid it won't be much worse than Marine Admiral. Speaking of this, she just looked at Luo Wei, hesitated and said, It's fine if it's just a sparring, but if it's a life and death fight, I suggest that the leader still doesn't need to participate in the swordsmanship competition. Advertisement. Yes, no matter how strong Hawkeye is, he's just one person, we don't need to pay attention to him at all. Baby Five nodded repeatedly. Luo Wei smiled and said, There's no need to be so nervous, it's just a battle. If there is a real danger, I won't fight recklessly. Don't forget, I can get away with Marine Admiral, let alone Hawkeye. It's good that you can think so. Perona patted her chest and let out a sigh of relief. The same is true for Nico Robin and others. They are really afraid that Luo Wei will fight Hawkeye to the death. If this is the case, the danger will be too great. Captain, did a fight happen after the auction? At this moment, Violet couldn't help asking. Luo Wei's return from injury naturally aroused everyone's curiosity. Previously, everyone was attracted by the Hawkeye incident, but now they all showed signs of searching. Luo Wei nodded and said, It is true that there was a big melee. There are so many rare treasures in this auction. Those who don't have the funds to bid will naturally not give up easily. In fact, I'm calling you all for this. In the melee before, I snatched the devil fruit taken by the beast's pirates, and I also beheaded Smoothie from the Big Mom pirates. Quote. He simply told the story of what happened, and at the same time surprised everyone in the brigade. Shouldn't you be so ruthless? Didn't you provoke the two imperial powers at once? Perona looked sad and indignant. Nico Robin and the others were also speechless, none of them thought that Luo Wei would do such a thrilling thing after they left. Advertisement. I seem to have foreseen that in the days to come, we will be hunted down crazily. Nico Robin sighed. Captain. Although I know the purpose of our brigade, your troublemaking ability is as good as your strength. Luo also said with some headaches. The 600 sons provoked the two great emperors. If it were anyone else, they would have been scared out of their wits. As for Violet and Baby 5 they were completely stunned. Ahem, so, in the next few days, you may have to hide for a while, just in time, you can also take advantage of this to practice. Luo Wei said. He also knew that it would be very dangerous for the current brigade to provoke the two great imperial powers at once. But there are pros and cons to everything. Although this incident has added risks to the brigade, it has also gained a lot. In addition to his own rich crime and original sin values, an ancient devil fruit is enough to add a powerful combat force to the brigade. You guys, is the leader going to act alone next time? Nico Robin's reaction was quick, grasping the key point of Luo Wei's words at once, and said in surprise. Luo Wei nodded and said, That's right, it's too early for you to face the power of the emperor, so I'm going to arrange a good place for you to practice. If I say it, I will naturally continue to hunt and kill the criminals. Advertisement. Chapter 260. Anna and Anne. Previous chapter. Next chapter. Advertisement. I have no objection to cultivation. Our current strength is indeed far inferior to that of the emperor, but is it too dangerous for you to act alone? The beasts pirates and big mom pirates will definitely take action. Perona said hastily. Yes, leader, it's too dangerous for you to face the two great emperors alone, why don't I stay by your side? Baby Five also said nervously. Luo Wei waved his hand and said, you don't have to worry, 
For me, confronting the two great emperors is also a practice, so you can improve your strength with peace of mind. With the ability of the leader, unless Charlotte Linlin and Kaido take action personally, there should be no problem in ensuring safety. I will follow your arrangement, leader. Luo said calmly. Nico Robin also said calmly. I also support the leader's arrangement, we are too weak now, staying with the leader is just a burden, why not take advantage of this to improve our strength? Seeing Luo Wei and Nico Robin express their opinions one after another, Perona, Baby Five and Violet also quickly accepted Luo Wei's arrangement. As for Monet and Granos, these two sisters have always kept silent. They are very clear that they have no right to speak, so naturally they will not make any comments on Luo Wei's arrangement. In the cabin room, Luo Wei was sitting on a soft sofa, and the twin sisters Anna and Anne were standing opposite. This is the key to the slave's collar, you guys. Advertisement. Luo Wei looked at the two sisters on the opposite side, flicked his fingers, smiled, and sent the key that had been prepared to the two of them with his thoughts. Regarding this, Anna and Annie, who were originally very nervous, looked at Luo Wei in astonishment. Are you going to let us go? Anna, the older sister, said in surprise. Although Anna and Annie are almost identical in appearance and figure, they have completely different temperaments, so Luo Wei can clearly tell who is the older sister and who is the younger sister. Regarding Anna's words, Luo smiled and said, you can also understand it this way. Although I photographed you, I didn't intend to treat you as slaves, but to accept you two as members of our team. He expressed his purpose very frankly. Are you a team member? Anna thought deeply, then nodded heavily. You can say that you saved us from the celestial dragons. If you just let us work for you, we are willing to accept your recruitment. As she said that, she grabbed the key and opened the slave collars of herself and her sister. Thank you. After regaining her freedom, Annie at the side bowed to Luo Wei very gratefully. Luo Wei said with a smile. You don't need to be so polite, we will be considered companions in the future. Well, Annie is willing to be your companion. It can be seen that Annie has a good impression of Luo Wei. Hearing what Luo Wei said, a happy smile appeared on her delicate face. By the way, I haven't introduced myself yet. My name is Luo Wei, and I'm the leader of the Hunter Brigade. The Hunter Brigade is the name of our team. Luo Wei said with a smile. Advertisement. Hunter Brigade. Anna repeated the name in her heart, and after keeping it in her heart, she looked straight at Luo Wei and asked, then should we call you the head of the group? N. Luo Wei nodded. Okay. Then head, what are my sister and I mainly responsible for in the brigade? Anna continued to ask. She is not against Luo Wei's solicitation, one is that it is definitely better to be a companion than a slave, and the other is because Luo Wei snatched them from the celestial dragons during the auction, which made her also have a good impression of Luo Wei. Your ability to share fruits is very good, so I am going to train you to be combatants of the brigade. It just so happens that the brigade, apart from me, will be quietly cultivating for a period of time, and you can also use this to practice well. Luo Wei said. Hearing this, Anna and Anne readily accepted. The days when they became slaves was also a baptism for them, which made them have a desire for strength beyond ordinary people. Now that Luo Wei arranges them to practice, they will naturally not resist. Similarly, Luo Wei is also very satisfied with the smooth recruitment this time, which also proves that it was very worthwhile for him to provoke celestial dragons at the beginning, otherwise the two women would not be able to trust him so much. Boeing Islands. This is where Luo Wei practiced for a year after leaving Marine. Now, after more than 10 days of sailing, he came here again. Backquote, is this the place where you and Perona once practiced, leader? Advertisement. The moonlight and the heart docked at one of the flower-shaped islands. After Nico Robin glanced at the environment of the island in front of him, he turned to look at Luo Wei who was walking forward. That's right. The Boing Islands are a natural holy place for cultivation. In addition to being full of powerful beasts, there are also exotic foods rich in nutrition. Even if I don't perform the vibration tempering technique, for you, you can still use the strange food here to gain rapid physical improvement. Returning to the old place, Luo Wei was also quite emotional, and he nodded and said to Luo Wei's words. On the deck, Perona, Violet, Luo, Sisters Monet and Sister Anna also came over, looking at the situation of the Boeing Islands. Then how long are we going to practice here this time? Perona asked. Lead is traitor. Let's suspend it for one year. I believe that after one year, you will all grow tremendously, and it's time for us to officially enter the new world. Luo Wei said, turning around and looking around at the crowd. One year. This long time is enough for me to fully master the two-color hockey, and at the same time develop the op-op -op fruit stronger. Luo's eyes flashed. New world. Does that mean we will face the four emperors in a year's time? Nico Robin murmured to himself, with determination in his beautiful eyes. Sister, we will work hard for the next year. Anna turned to look at her sister. Annie nodded, and said in a clear voice. Sister, don't worry about me, I will definitely work hard. For the next year of practice, everyone in the brigade has different expressions, but they have one thing in common, that is, to do their best to improve their strength. Advertisement. Chapter 261. Capital of Seven Waters.
Previous chapter. Next chapter. Advertisement. R.O. and Violet are out to beat Doflamingo. Anna and Anne are trying not to repeat the same mistakes. Perona and Nico Robin did not want to drag Lua way down. As for Monet and Granu, they also dare not relax, because their lives are now in Lua Wei's hands, and if they fall behind, they are also in danger of being abandoned by Lua Wei. There was no complicated farewell. After arriving at the destination, Lua Wei simply bid farewell to everyone, and then left alone. After Lua Wei left, everyone in the brigade also started to practice. The Boeing Islands do not refer to a single small island, but like the Sabayati archipelago, it is an archipelago consisting of several islands. Whether practicing alone, or in teams of two or two, everyone in the brigade quickly entered the islands and started their own practice. Leaving the Boeing Islands, Lua Wei used his mind power to fly fast in the sky, heading towards the capital of Seven Waters. After more than ten days of sailing, his current injuries have completely healed, otherwise he would not be able to steer the ship song from North Blue across the Red Ten Continent to the first half of the Grand Line. 860. Naturally, he went to the capital of Seven Waters to order ships. Advertisement. Whether it is the moonlight or the heart, Lua Wei is no longer satisfied with the materials and facilities, so he is naturally planning to replace it with a new ship that is more penultimate in performance and can withstand greater wind and waves. In just one day, Lua Wei successfully arrived at the capital of Seven Waters, and then landed on an uninhabited coast. He is not an unknown person now, and he also had a conflict with the Celestial Dragons not long ago. Although not to be afraid, in order to avoid trouble in ordering ships, Lua Wei changed his appearance with the power of his mind before entering the city. For the order of the new ship, he naturally selected the shipbuilder long ago, that is Ace Bagu who inherited the superb skills of Murloc Tom. At this time, the Sea Circle calendar was in 1514, and Ace Bagu had not yet integrated all the shipbuilding companies in the capital of Seven Waters. However, after Murloc Tom was arrested by Eni's lobby, Ace Bagu also established the Carrera Company, and with his excellent shipbuilding skills, he is already the leader of many shipbuilding companies in the Seven Ajba water capitals. After a simple search, Lua Wei got the location of Carrera Company, and then went directly to find it. After some contact with the hospitality staff of Carrera Company, especially after showing ample funds, Lua Wei could easily meet Ace's tongue-in-cheek. This gentleman doesn't know what kind of ship he plans to purchase, our company will give him the best ship. In the office, after Ace Bagu shook hands with Lua Wei, he spoke enthusiastically. Advertisement. Because Lua Wei has been disguised, after confirming that he is not a pirate or a criminal, the people of Carrera Company did not guard against Lua Wei, and there were only Lua Wei and Ace Bagu in the office. Lua Wei was not hiding at this time either, he directly released the mind force on his face and restored his true appearance, and this also made Ace Bagu's face change. What shocked him was not the change in Lua Wei's appearance, after all, demon fruit power is not so unusual for him who has been in contact with all kinds of people, what really caught his attention was Lua Wei's embarrassing body. You mean Lua Wei, the evil hunter? Ace Bagu blurted out, and subconsciously stepped back a few steps, looking at Lua Wei solemnly. Yes, I am Lua Wei, Mr. Ace Bagu, don't be nervous, I'm just pretending to avoid trouble, and the purpose of coming here is still to order ships. Lua Wei smiled lightly. Ace Bagu felt relieved a lot, smartly, he didn't ask any more questions, but directly focused on the ship, asking, then what kind of ship does Mr. Lua Wei plan to order? Naturally, the ship is made of Adam's treasure tree. At the same time, in terms of scale, I can use Marine's large warships as a reference. I hope the facilities are top-notch. Lua Wei said seriously. Ace Bagu raised his eyebrows. It's no problem to use Adam's treasure tree as the material, but if it follows the requirements of the master, the cost will be very expensive. At the same time, our company collects money according to the level of the order of the ship. Like your request, sir, it is the highest level. If you want to order, you need to pay 50% of the shipbuilding fee as a deposit. Money is not a problem. I can even pay the full amount directly, but I also have a request, that is, Mr. Ace Bagu cannot disclose the matter of my ordering ships. In addition, the handover time of the ship will be one year later. During this period, if the ship is built in advance, maintenance and cleaning, etc., you also need to be responsible. Advertisement. Confidentiality for customers is our professional ethics. Mr. Luo Wei can definitely rest assured about this. As for maintenance and cleaning, as long as Mr. Luo Wei pays the funds, it is naturally not a problem. Ace Bagu patted his chest and said. Okay, since you have a question, now you can count the funds you need, and I can pay you right away. Luo Wei said in satisfaction. Although a lot of money was spent in the auction site of, the world's most, the wealth in Luo Wei's hands is still very huge. Even though Ace Bagu gave a super high amount in the end, Luo Wei easily took out enough funds from, space, to pay. After the transaction was completed, Luo Wei did not stop there, and left Carrera directly after changing his appearance again. The next one is, Feng Er. Arriving at a place where no one was around, Luo Wei said silently in his heart that he urged his thoughts to rise into the sky, turning into a long rainbow and disappearing into the distant sky. 
Intelligence organizations are different from pirates and gangsters, usually they are not exposed to the public eye. Just like the World Economic News Agency, the strongest intelligence organization, although it has a grand name, few people know its headquarters. Because it is located on a flying ship, it not only haunts no man's land, but also has no fixed location. Although, Feng Er, is not so exaggerated, the location of its headquarters is also extremely hidden, and it was set up on a certain uninhabited island in East Blue. Advertisement. Chapter 262 Wind Ear. Previous chapter. Next chapter. Advertisement. Thanks to the high-level personnel under Luo's control, Luo Wei directly identified the location when he was looking for the headquarters of Feng Er. After leaving the capital of Seven Waters, he rushed directly to East Blue, and after a few days, he arrived at his destination. Looking down from a high altitude on the uninhabited deserted island covered with lush trees, if Luo Wei didn't know it, Luo Wei would never have thought that this would be the headquarters of Feng Er. After looking down for a while, Luo Wei landed, and the approaching target was the mountain peak standing in the middle of the deserted island. Using observation hockey to perceive, Luo Wei can clearly detect the many breaths of life in the mountain. That's right, the headquarters of Feng Er is inside this mountain. After they hollowed out the inside of this mountain, they established a special headquarters. Boom. After landing near the mountain peak, Luo Wei exploded Conqueror's hockey without any hesitation, and the terrifying coercion swept towards the mountain peak like a gust of wind, even causing the surrounding void to distort and tremble. Even with solid rock barriers, Conqueror's hockey still penetrated strongly, knocking out the people inside the mountain and causing chaos. As this Conqueror's hockey, quick, check the outside world, who broke in here? Damn it, who attacked us? Could it be that hostile force discovered us? The leader is not good, it is the evil hunter, the evil hunter is outside. Advertisement. Intimidated by Luo Wei's Conqueror's hockey, more than 90% of the people inside the mountain passed out directly, while the rest of the people looked around in shock. Outside the mountain peak, there is naturally a phone bug monitoring device deployed by Feng Er, so after checking it soon, they found Luo Wei who was not hiding, carelessly floating outside the mountain peak. The leader of Feng Er is a middle-aged man from the long-handed clan, named Hunter. When he learned that Luo Wei was outside, he became incredulous. How come the evil hunter is here, we should have never provoked each other. Damn it, what should we do now? With the strength of the evil hunters, we are no match. Come on, come with me to meet the other party. The evil hunter just launched the conqueror's hockey, and didn't really attack us. There must be another plan. Hunter gritted his teeth, and led the group of people who hadn't fainted to walk out of the mountain. He has no other choice now, and based on his understanding of Luo Wei's strength, even if he uses the firepower deployed outside the mountain, it will be difficult to resist. After Luo Wei activated the Conqueror's Hockey, he waited quietly. When he saw Hunter and the others appear, he flew out and landed directly in front of Duoshi and the others. Sin Hunter, what is the purpose of your coming here? We should have no trouble with you. Hunter looked at Luo Wei vigilantly, and raised his voice. The others were also nervously grasping the weapons in their hands, for fear that Luo Wei would attack them. I won't talk nonsense, I've taken a fancy to your, Feng Er, intelligence capabilities, and I'm here specifically to recruit you. Luo Wei said lightly. Incorporate us. Hunter was stunned, his face became cloudy and uncertain. Advertisement. As for the other people in, Feng Er, the crowd became excited all of a sudden. Sin Hunter, don't go too far, we, Feng Er, will not yield to anyone. That's right, although you are amazing, we are not bad either. If we are amazing, we will fight to the death with you. Leader, let's go together and fight this guy. People who can not faint under the shock of Luo Wei's conqueror's hockey are naturally not ordinary people. At the same time, Although Luo Wei is now well-known, his deterrent power is obviously not enough to completely deter the backbone of Feng Er. His words not only didn't make the backbone of Feng Er flinch in fear, but they all shouted in fright and anger, and some even aimed their guns at Luo Wei, and they would attack as soon as Hunter gave an order. Noisy. Facing the clamor of the backbone members of Feng Er, Luo Wei's eyes immediately turned cold, and invisible thoughts burst out instantly. Zero. Seeking flowers. Point zero. E -e -e. I only heard the sound of violent impact, but I didn't see how to attack. Except for Hunter, the backbones of Funger all flew backwards as if they had been hit hard, and hit the rock wall of the mountain behind them like shells. Blood spurted and screamed, and the terrible impact directly caused everyone to suffer serious trauma, and even their bodies were embedded in the solid rock wall. Advertisement. Sin Hunter, let me experience your skills. The severe injuries of the backbone made Hunter's complexion change drastically, and he was shocked and indignant, and rushed towards Luo Wei with a roar. Although it is an intelligence organization, Hunter's strength is naturally not weak if he can become the leader. He is not inferior to most of Marine's vice admirals. Almost in the blink of an eye, Hunter rushed in front of Luo Wei, and then swung his arm far beyond ordinary people. Covering armament hockey, he punched Luo Wei's head with a powerful punch. Under the advantage of the long-handed clan, Hunter uses his arms to attack, 
which is enough to burst out stronger power, and the squeezed air will stir up layers of air waves when the fist passes. Boom. Hunter's fist stopped abruptly, and a vertical air wave circle visible to the naked eye burst out, splitting the world into messy cracks extending on both sides. Luo Wei blocked Hunter's all-out attack with his left hand in a calm manner, and he completely caught the superpower of the opponent. The pupils contracted rapidly, and Hunter couldn't help trembling at the fact that his attack was easily blocked by Luo Wei, and then hurriedly wanted to back away. But he is slow after all, or the strength of the two sides has an overwhelming gap. Hunter just took a step back when Luo Wei blocked the opponent's fist with his left hand and grabbed it. He not only grabbed the opponent's fist, preventing Hunter from retreating, but also kicked out quickly with a cold expression, directly towards the opponent's abdomen. Hunter was terrified in his heart, unable to break free from his fist, he hurriedly covered armament hockey towards his abdomen. Advertisement. Chapter 263 Fame spreads far and wide. Previous chapter. Next chapter. Advertisement. Boom. In the violent impact, Hunter's armament hockey defense was easily smashed by Luo Wei, his face was full of pain and he spewed out blood, his body was kicked and flew horizontally. However, under Luo Wei's grip on the opponent's fist all the time, Hunter's flying body fell down in front of Luo Wei again under the pulling force. Cough cough cough. Hunter half crawled on the ground in a state of embarrassment, his empty left hand covering his severely hit abdomen, and he kept coughing up blood from his mouth. Luo Wei's kick made him fully feel what power is, and even made him feel extremely painful that his internal organs and intestines were kicked off. But that's just the beginning. After severely injuring Hunter with one kick, Luo Wei suddenly pulled the opponent's body up, and after, 410, his right hand touched the opponent's heart with his sword finger like lightning. The sword finger didn't cause any damage, as if it just touched Hunter's heart lightly, but when Luo Wei loosened his palm, Hunter felt a piercing pain. Ah, this piercing pain was even stronger than the pain caused by the abdominal trauma, and it directly made Hunter scream unbearably, and kept rolling on the ground. Leader. Advertisement. What's wrong with you, leader? The key members of the, Feng Er, who were blown away by Luo Wei's thought power before were all shocked when they saw this scene, and several people hurried forward to check. It's just that Luo Wei glanced at these people coldly at this moment. Just looking at it, the backbone of the, Feng Er, who wanted to step forward froze in place. They were not imprisoned by the power of thought, but were awed by Luo Wei's aura and murderous aura. Only through real experience can we understand what fear and despair are. Just now Luo Wei injured them severely in an instant, which has already shattered the confidence of the backbone of the, Feng Er, and also made them fear and fear of Luo Wei. Snort. Seeing that the core members of, Feng Er, were shocked by him, Luo Wei snorted coldly and looked away, then looked down coldly at Hunter who was rolling and howling in front of him. Sin Hunter, I'm going to kill you. Kill me, kill me quickly. Forgive me, I surrender, I surrender. Advertisement. Under the pain, Hunter gradually changed from the initial yelling to the howling of a defeated dog, rolling to Luo Wei's feet, grabbing Luo Wei's calf with snot and tears and mourning. It wasn't until this time that Luo Wei stopped the thought power that had just been poured into the opponent's heart to riot. After the excruciating pain gradually calmed down, Hunter, who had already been soaked in sweat, immediately put his hands on the ground like a person who was almost drowned, and gasped for breath. The feeling just now is not good. I think you should know my devil fruit ability. Now I have injected a force of thought into your heart. As long as I want to, I can detonate it at any time, and you will be in it just now, in agony until his heart burst and he died. Luo Wei spoke in a flat tone that terrified Hunter. Hunter's body froze, and then he knelt down on the ground weakly, and said decadently, I lost, from now on, Feng Er, will become your king of strength, my lord. He didn't have the determination to fight Luo Wei to the death. With his life under Luo Wei's control, he obviously chose to surrender. There was no joy on Luo Wei's face, but he accepted Hunter's submission very flatly. For him, with his current strength, it is not difficult to incorporate, Feng Er, at all. As long as he knows its location, it is only a matter of time before he can be defeated. New world, since the auction of, the world's most, the situation that had gradually stabilized has become turbulent again, all because of Smoothie's death. As one of the four generals of the Big Mom Pirates, and also a top fighter, Smoothie's death naturally aroused the shock of countless people and forces after it was reported back to the New World. I never expected that Charlotte Smoothie would die in North Blue, and now the Big Mom Pirates will definitely make a big move. Advertisement. Sin Hunter Luo Wei, this person even dared to provoke the four emperors, isn't he afraid of the revenge of the Big Mom Pirates? Now it's a good show. The beast's pirates were robbed of the devil fruit, and the big mom pirates even lost a general. The evil hunter has pierced the sky. How long will the great emperor's forces last? If we say that Luo Wei was only a small celebrity in New World before, then now, he is a famous figure who has spread far and wide, and he has received the close attention of many big pirates and other four emperors. In the sea area of Toto Land, on the Cake Island in the center, the main family and cadres of the big mom pirates also gathered in the main hall. You actually killed Smoothie, I must kill the bastard, the evil hunter. Charlotte Linlin, 
who was sitting on the throne, exuded a terrifying murderous look, gnashing her teeth. The main force and cadres of the Charlotte family in the hall also had gloomy faces. They were all full of resentment for Smoothie's death. Mom, let me handle this matter. I want to kill the evil hunter myself to avenge Smoothie. Cracker, who was hidden in the biscuit soldier's body, said murderously 2.9. Although they are both four generals, there are differences in strength. Among the four generals, Cracker is undoubtedly second only to Katakori in strength. His declaration naturally aroused the approval of many people. If Brother Cracker fights, he will definitely be able to kill that evil hunter, so let me do my part. Add me, Smoothie can't die in vain, we must avenge her with the strongest posture. The evil hunter must die, and he must not be allowed to live on. Like Cracker, there were not a few people who declared that they wanted to kill Lua Wei. Even following Cracker's statement, many people also stood up, causing the hall to immediately fill with a strong sense of murder. Advertisement. Chapter 264. North Blue Hunting. Previous chapter. Next chapter. Advertisement. Baron Dandan, have you found out the whereabouts of the evil hunter? At this time, Katakori, the leader of the four generals, spoke out. The tall man looked coldly at Baron Eggy in the crowd. Although his expression was cold, Katakori's eyes were full of cold killing intent, which showed that his heart was not as calm as it appeared on the surface, and at the same time he was very angry at Smoothie's death. Master Katakori, the evil hunter disappeared after leaving St. Cassia, but I have already contacted multiple intelligence organizations in the underground world to ask them to find out about the evil hunter's whereabouts. Once the other party shows up again, they should be able to find out immediately. Baron Eggy bowed slightly, and said with a look of awe. Although Katakori is not the eldest son of the Charlotte family, his prestige in the Big Mom Pirates is second only to Charlotte Linlin, and he is worthy of the name. Although Baron Eggy is an important cadre of the pirates, he still has to maintain a respectful attitude towards O9 when facing Katakori. Knowing that there is no whereabouts of Luo Wei, Katakori frowned, showing displeasure on his face, and said, Go and inform those intelligence agencies, tell them, if you don't find me the whereabouts of the evil hunter as soon as possible, then they will there is no need for it to exist. This subordinate understands, let me inform you right now. Baron Eggy broke out in cold sweat on his forehead, and hurriedly exited the hall. Katakori looked at Cracker and the other people who came forward and wanted to kill Luo Wei, and said in a deep voice, Cracker, you don't have to worry about revenge for Smoothie. I will take responsibility for this matter personally. We'll deliver the head of the Sin Hunter to Smoothie's grave with his own hands. Brother Katakori wants to deal with the evil hunter himself. Advertisement. Cracker and others looked at Katakori in surprise, and even Charlotte Linlin looked sideways at her most proud son. Katakori, a mere evil hunter, is it necessary for you to deal with it yourself? Charlotte Linlin couldn't help but asked. Katakori nodded and said in a deep voice, it is very necessary. Now that Smoothie's death has made many people feel a little ready to move, I will personally deal with the evil hunter, not only just in case, but also to deter let those evil wolves know how miserable those who provoke us will be. As that's so, that's fine. If you make the move, that bastard sin hunter will definitely die. Charlotte Linlin laughed happily, grabbed the dessert beside her and ate it. Moodiness refers to people like Charlotte Linlin, who are extremely angry one second, and may be happy in the next second. Cracker and others are also accustomed to this, and at the same time they did not question the laws of the Kotaku country. Even the rebellious Cracker is also in awe of Katakori. On the other side, the Beast's pirates also launched a terrifying force, preparing to hunt and kill Luo Wei. Beast's pirates, in addition to the saber-toothed tiger, an ancient species of devil fruit, was taken away, and Peggy Wan, a Bali Six Sun powerhouse, was sacrificed. Naturally, they would retaliate against Luo Wei. The person responsible for hunting down Luo Wei is Quinn himself. Advertisement. Whether it is the saber-toothed tiger devil fruit or Peggy Wan, they all have a close relationship with him. Although there is a stronger Jin among the three plagues, Quinn obviously will not entrust revenge to others. He didn't even leave North Blue, but directly dispatched many beasts pirates forces from New World, and directly tracked down Luo Wei's traces in North Blue. Boom. Flickering, the huge translucent fist marks rampage like meteors, engulfing terrifying power, and quickly smashing the pirate ships to pieces. There were screams and the sound of falling into the water one after another. When the pirate ship was smashed, the pirates on it also suffered tragic casualties. Except for a small number of people who jumped into the sea to survive, most of them were directly crushed by the terrifying fist. But the people who jumped into the sea to survive didn't live too long, and soon, a terrible suction shrouded from the sky, and these pirates were ingested into the air. The palms that came out of the false grasp were clenched violently, and the pirates caught in midair followed in the footsteps of their companions, and were squeezed by the terrifying force of thought and exploded into blood mist. Suspended at a height of tens of meters above the sea, Luo Wei's calm expression dissipated his thoughts, which caused a bloody rain on the sea. Advertisement. After activating observation hockey and confirming that there are no survivors left, Luo Wei flew away without stopping. Like the situation just now, Luo Wei has been going through it in recent days, or he has been hunting since he returned to North Blue from East Blue. 
After incorporating Feng Er, Luo Wei now has 100% of his intelligence power. Even though North Blue's pirates are scattered, with sufficient intelligence and high mobility, Luo Wei can capture two or three pirate groups every day. Although the strength of these pirate groups is uneven, it also allows him to steadily obtain evil points. After completing another hunt, Luo Wei found a deserted island as a resting place, and by the way, he was also preparing to improve his strength. After beheading Smoothie, Peggy Wan and others, Luo Wei obtained nearly 100,000 crime points, and now after these few days of hunting, the number of crime points has successfully broken through the 100,000 barrier. Although it is not enough to upgrade the strength, the observation hockey application, which was at the breaking point before, is enough to practice. After landing on the coast, observation hockey sensed the surroundings to ensure safety, Luo Wei sat casually on a raised rock on the beach, and then operated the golden template to directly start the cultivation in China. The figure disappeared in an instant, and then reappeared in the next second. In just one second, for Luo Wei, it was equivalent to 10 years of practicing outside. Advertisement. Chapter 265 Intelligence. Previous chapter. Next chapter. Advertisement. It's really not that simple to fuse mind power and armament hockey. Although the two are similar in nature, they are two kinds of power after all. It seems that if you want to further develop the dragon armor, you still need to spend a lot of thought. After finishing the practice, Luo Wei let out a long breath, and at the same time became thoughtful. The effect of middle practice is naturally very good, allowing Luo Wei to successfully break through the application of observation hockey to an advanced level in less than half of the time in the practice space. But for the rest of the time, he didn't waste it, but turned his energy to other aspects of cultivation. For example, he is now thinking about the integration of mind power and armament hockey. In the early days, Luo Wei had the idea of combining mind power with other powers, and Jail Luzon as the best achievement. However, the mind flow slash is obviously not enough to satisfy Luo Wei, so now he has set his target on armament hockey again. Psychic power can also increase the offensive and defensive power, which is similar to the effect of armament hockey. If the two can be integrated, it will definitely exert a more penultimate effect. It's just that the fusion of power is not a simple matter. Compared with the fusion of kendo, the fusion of mind power and armament hockey is more difficult. Advertisement. In other words, Luo Wei has a higher standard for the fusion of these two forces, because he is trying to develop deeper moves based on the dragon armor. Boo boo boo. Suddenly, Luo Wei's thoughts were interrupted by a phone bug call from his pocket. After taking it out and connecting it, Hunter's voice sounded from the opposite side. Captain. I just got the latest news. Katakori of the Big Mom Pirates has also entered North Blue. He has the same purpose as Beast's Pirates Quinn, and they are both looking for your whereabouts, Captain. Hunter's strength is not weak, not inferior to Marine's headquarters, Vice Admiral, with high-level powerful combat power. Moreover, he is also in charge of the powerful intelligence organization, Feng Er, so Luo Wei has already included him as an official member of the Hunter Brigade. Katakori, so it seems that the determination of the Big Mom Pirates to deal with me is much greater than that of the Beast's Pirates. Luo Wei's eyes flickered slightly, and a faint smile appeared on the corner of his mouth. As for the actions of the Big Mom Pirates and the Beast's Pirates, he naturally had expected it, otherwise he would not have specially ordered Hunter to closely investigate the movements of these two forces. However, Luo Wei didn't feel much disturbance in his heart for the counterattack of these two imperial powers. To put it bluntly, with his current strength and Nianian Fruit's ability, even if Kaido and Charlotte Linlin come to chase him down personally, he is quite sure that he can escape. He naturally didn't care about Quinn and Katakori even more, and even prepared to make these two his next hunting targets after another breakthrough in strength. By the way, what's the situation like in Doflamingo? Thoughts flashed through his mind, Luo Wei asked quickly. Advertisement. The subordinates of Doflamingo are also trying to report to the head of the group. We have found out that the place he went to after leaving Dressrosa should be the holy land of Mariajoy. As for now, Doflamingo has returned to Dressrosa, and we found that there are a few more mysterious people around him, suspected to be CPO personnel. Hunter's dignified voice came from the phone bug. His life is completely in Luo Wei's hands now, and his own determination is naturally attributed to Luo Wei's side. Knowing that Luo Wei wants to deal with Doflamingo, Hunt will naturally pay special attention to Doflamingo's situation. CPO. With Doflamingo's special status, it is not impossible for him to find a CPO to help him suppress the situation. How about this, you continue to inquire about Doflamingo's situation, and if you find that the other party is going out alone, then report to me as soon as possible. Luo Wei said lightly. Subordinates understand. Hunter naturally had no objection, and at the same time, he also reported the latest movements of the various pirate groups in North Blue to provide assistance for Luo Wei's hunting. After the chat, Luo Wei just hung up the phone bug, and then took out food from the space to fill his stomach, and continued his North Blue hunt. Dot 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 dot. The two Emperor pirate groups have entered North Blue with top-notch combat power, and are looking for Luo Wei's traces on a large scale, which will naturally attract the attention of all forces. 
Among them, the marine side is definitely the most vigilant. Advertisement. On a certain sea area of North Blue, a marine fleet is slowly sailing, and the warship in the center is a large warship that can only be equipped by Vice Admiral at least. Teacher Zephyr. Go and rest for a while, if there is any trace of Luo Wei, I will report to you as soon as possible. On the deck, the tall and slender Dion walked towards the bow, and finally came behind Zephyr, and couldn't help persuading him. Zephyr turned to look at Dion, waved his hand and said, I'm fine, I really need to rest, I'll go back to the cabin by myself. Dion hesitated for a moment, and finally looked at the determined Zephyr, and could only helplessly say, okay. Even in order to maintain order in North Blue, it is impossible for Marine to remain indifferent. Although Luo Wei has only been hunting in North Blue for a few days, the news of his reappearance in North Blue has also spread, which is why Quinn and Katakori leaders will closely track his whereabouts in North Blue reason. Similarly, Marine also got relevant information, so in the selection of candidates to send North Blue to maintain order finally, Sufa, the former Marine Admiral, and Guillaume, the leader of the Mesozoic era were dispatched. Originally, Garp was actually the best choice, but he was delayed by other things, that is, the revolutionary army that caused a lot of noise recently. The revolutionary army was originally ignored by the world government, but the world government obviously missed it. Just in this recent year, the revolutionary army launched revolutions in several countries, so that the world government lost several alliance countries at once, which also had a bad impact on the power of the world government. The leader of the revolutionary army is Garp's son Dorag. Although Garp did not participate in it, he was obviously implicated. Advertisement. Chapter 266. Bait. Previous chapter. Next chapter. Advertisement. Not long ago, Garp, who also participated in the world's most auction, did not show up in the end. It was precisely because of the sudden rise of the revolutionary army that the world government summoned him back. Back to the topic. Zephyr will be responsible for North Blue's stability maintenance work, and the main reason is naturally because of Luo Wei. Long before, he was going to hunt down Luo Wei, but it was delayed because of the Don Quixote family. And now, with the conflict between Luo Wei and the two great emperors, Zephyr apparently used this to block the mission. Both the Beast's pirates and the Big Mom pirates have close ties to the underground world, and they can also rely on numerous intelligence organizations to lay a net to inquire about Luo Wei's whereabouts. In comparison, the world class, Feng Er, in the underground is obviously inferior in intelligence. However, Luo Wei's mobility is too high. During the North Blue hunt, he never stays in a certain place for too long, and basically leaves immediately after hunting the target. In this way, even with the powerful intelligence force of 730, it is difficult to locate Luo Wei's whereabouts. Quinn and Katakori are now in such an embarrassing situation. Advertisement. Every time they learned of Luo Wei's whereabouts and rushed there, Luo Wei had already left, which made them miss every time. Damn it. I was escaped by that bastard evil hunter again. Looking at the port of a certain town in North Blue, Quinn's expression was extremely gloomy, and at the same time he roared angrily while gnashing his teeth. Boss Quinn, we can't go on like this. We are being played by the other party now. Every time we arrive at the destination, the evil hunter has already left. We have to find a way. A subordinate next to him said. Said with an aggrieved face. Why don't we find a group of North Blue pirates and use them as bait to lure evil hunters to our door? Isn't the other party been chasing and killing North Blue Pirates? Another Beast's Pirates member suggested Road. Quinn gradually regained his composure from his anger. Although he felt uncomfortable, he still said, Then let's do this first. You guys go find out which pirate group in North Blue is more famous. Let's use the other party as bait and see can you get that bastard evil hunter out. Under repeated attacks, Quinn naturally had no choice but to make a change, from actively chasing and killing to waiting on the sidelines. On the other hand, Katakori's situation is similar to Quinn's, and he is also prepared to change his plan every time he misses the opportunity. Master Katakori, we have sent orders to those intelligence organizations. As long as the evil hunter's accomplice appears, we will immediately know the opponent's whereabouts. Very good, but this is not enough. The evil hunter is not hunting down the North Blue Pirates, so I will give him this chance. You guys spread a message to the entire North Blue Pirate Force and tell them that we the Big Mom Pirates will recruit personnel here, and those who reach the standard can even get a cadre seat. Advertisement. The huge cake was installed on the pirate ship, and the Big Mom pirate group also made a move. Under the order of Katakori, the pirates who came at will immediately started to operate. The Four Emperors Force not only has a terrible deterrent force, but also a super powerful organization that many pirates are eager to join. Katakori was smarter than Quinn. Not only did he target the other members of the Hunter Brigade, he even prepared to set a bigger bait to lure Luo Wei to show up automatically. AJFG Although North Blue is not the home of the Big Mom Pirates, but here, the Big Mom Pirates still have a huge right to speak, and at the same time, they are able to spread the news quickly by using the power of the underground world go out. Have you heard that the Big Mom Pirates are planning to recruit people in North Blue, and they even gave out cadre seats. 
Four emperors is the strongest force standing above all pirates. If I can join the big mom pirates, ten walks, I can gain greater fame and wealth. Ha ha ha. Little ones, join the big mom pirates with me. When I become a cadre of the big mom pirates, you will all be able to become pirates of the four emperors. The danger that Katakori set up for Lua Wei can be said to have dropped a super bomb on North Blue. When the news spread, it immediately caused an uproar and excitement among many pirates in North Blue. Although there is no lack of pretentious pirates who disdain to join other forces, the vast majority of pirates obviously hope to be protected by the Big Mom pirate group. In just a few days, a large number of pirates in North Blue, like sharks smelling blood, rushed to the gathering place announced by the Big Mom pirates. Advertisement. On a certain sea area, debris-like shipwrecks and corpses can be seen everywhere. At the same time, an angry roar came from the only remaining huge pirate ship. Boom. On the deck, a terrifying black bear with a height of more than five meters standing upright and covered in blood rushed out violently, its sharp claws wrapped in powerful strength and sharpness, and tore it out towards the front. However, such an attack, which was enough to easily tear apart rocks, was blocked by a sword blade glowing with a rich scarlet light. The violent impact caused air waves visible to the naked eye to howl and explode, and even crack the surrounding decks with spiderweb-like cracks. Boom. Feng Qingyan stopped the black bear's attack with the fallen angel's sword, Luo Wei took a step forward with a calm expression, pushed away the opponent's sharp claws in an instant, then punched with his left hand, and punched the opponent's abdomen. An astonishing fist force far exceeding the power of the black bear burst out from the front of the fist, not only dented the black bear's abdomen, but also condensed into a beam-like shock wave, rushing out from behind the black bear through the body, smashing the opposite side the thick boat poles separated by more than 10 meters were violently broken. The black bear couldn't bear such a terrifying force at all. Its body bent, a large mouthful of blood spewed out of its mouth, and it retreated backward as if precariously. Advertisement. Chapter 267 Pirates Assemble. Previous Chapter. Next Chapter. Advertisement. What's more, the body of the black bear has also changed, from the original tall and terrifying black bear's body to an ordinary middle-aged pirate. Obviously, this middle-aged pirate is a demon fruit power, and it is also a very strong black bear form in zone. It's just that the gap between the strength of this middle-aged pirate and Lua Wei is too great. Even if Luo Wei is just fighting casually to pass the time, it is not something that the middle-aged pirates can resist. It takes almost no effort, but the outcome of this battle has already been determined. The piercing sword light flashed away, but when the middle-aged pirate was severely injured and knelt on the knees, Luo Wei swung past the opponent and cut off the opponent's head at the same time. Sin value plus 2300. Turning around, looking at the corpse with a flat gaze, Luo Wei only paid a little attention to what he got, and then focused on the sword of the fallen angel in his hand. When Peggy Wan was beheaded, the sword of the fallen angel had a strange change. It absorbed the blood of the enemy and glowed scarlet. But now, as Luo Wei slashed enemies with the sword of the fallen angel many times, the scarlet light glowing from the blade became more and more intense, as if a layer of blood mist enveloped the blade. Although I don't know what secrets you are hiding, you'd better be honest with me, otherwise I don't mind destroying you with my own hands. After Luo Wei said something to himself, he put the sword of the fallen angel into the scabbard at the side of his waist. Advertisement. Looking around at the corpses scattered all over the deck, after confirming that there were no remains, he looked at the distant sea, his eyes flickering slightly. Of course, he knew the actions of Quinn and Katakori. Not to mention Quinn, what really caught Luo Wei's attention was Katakori. This is not only because the opponent's strength is likely to be stronger than Quinn, but also because the opponent's behavior of gathering North Blue Pirates. For such behavior, it is not difficult for Luo Wei to deduce the intention of the other party, nothing more than to lure himself to show up. With the attractiveness of the Big Mom Pirates, the number of pirates gathered at that time will definitely be very impressive. Although it is a dangerous situation, it is also an opportunity for me. After a while, Luo Wei looked away, chuckling one sound. Compared with Quinn, Katakori's formation can be said to be a conspiracy. It's just that such a conspiracy is obviously not enough to scare Luo Wei, but it makes him see it as an opportunity. Of course, if he shows up, he will face Katakori, the Vice Emperor, but if Luo Wei can kill Katakori, the Gathered Pirate, he will definitely get amazing gains. This also proves the saying that danger is always accompanied by opportunity. Katakori had already set up the stage, and Luo Wei naturally didn't mind fighting with the opponent. Thinking of this, Luo Wei silently checked the situation of the crime value. Since the last time he spent the sin value for the breakthrough of the observation hockey application, he has not used the sin value for nearly half a month. There will be such a move, naturally to accumulate enough evil points to increase strength. Advertisement. Although compared to the pirates on the Grand Line, the pirates of North Blue can only be regarded as weak in terms of strength and crimes committed, but with the information provided by Feng Er, Luo Wei is still here for nearly half a month among them, more than 50,000 evil points have been obtained. Adding what was left before, his crime value is now approaching the 100,000 level again. 
Nearly 200,000 evil points are needed to break through from the 8th level to the 9th level. As for the original sin value, if there is no accident, it should need 9 points. Luo Wei's original sin value has now accumulated to 21 points, which means that as long as there are sufficient sin points, then he is enough to raise the two powers to the 9th level. Compared with the original sin value, the way to obtain the evil value is undoubtedly much simpler, even if it is just an ordinary pirate killing. The top application of observation hockey that can predict the future, let me see how powerful it is. There was a fighting spirit in Luo Wei's eyes, and an astonishing thought power burst out from under his feet. Boom. The terrifying impact directly smashed the huge pirate ship into wreckage, Luo Wei turned into a rainbow light and disappeared into the distant sky immediately. Zero zero. Asterisk 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 asterisk. Maple Island. This is a very common island in North Blue, because the island is full of maple trees, so it got the name Maple Leaf Island. Advertisement. It was on this island that Katakori recruited troops from the entire North Blue. With the rapid spread of the news, in just about 10 days, Maple Leaf Island has welcomed many pirate groups, and you can see all kinds of pirate ships full of rumors on the coasts. It's really a spectacular scene. Although it is expected that there will be many people coming, this scale is too exaggerated. It's scary. Just announcing the recruiting news, unexpectedly gathered so many colleagues, and now the number of pirates on the island is estimated to have exceeded 50,000. Zero. I heard that the leader in charge of this recruitment is Charlotte Katakori, the head of the four generals of the Big Mom Pirates. I don't know what kind of power such a big man will have when he meets for real. Although the act of recruiting troops was only to lure Luo Wei to show up, Katakori did not ignore the incoming pirates, but specially arranged personnel to maintain order. After each pirate group lands, it will divide an area on the island, and conflicts are also prohibited. At the beginning, some people fought violently because they encountered enemies, but when the members of the Big Mom pirate group who maintained order killed the disobedient pirates forcefully. The scene became orderly, even if they are just ordinary members, the pirates who can join the Big Mom pirate group are definitely the elite of the elite. In North Blue, it is not weaker than those pirates with bounties of tens of millions. Moreover, Katakori did not only bring ordinary members with him when he entered North Blue this time, but also brought many cadres and elites of the family. These people even have a power that the North Blue pirates cannot compete with, and even every time they make a move, they will have a powerful deterrent effect, making many unruly people stay in the divided area honestly wait within five. Advertisement. Chapter 268 Huge Lineup. Previous Chapter. Next Chapter. Advertisement. Master Katakori. Up to now, more than 100 pirate groups have entered the island. Although there is no specific statistics on the number of people, there are almost 60,000 to 70,000 people. Did you notice that the evil hunter appeared? I haven't found it for the time being. At that time, in the nearby sea area, some pirates who came said that they found marines traces, but the other party didn't approach, and seemed to be on guard against us. Marine doesn't need to worry about it, if they dare to approach, they can just destroy it. In an open space in the center of Maple Leaf Island, the accompanying Baron Dandan reported the situation on the island to Katakori who was sitting cross-legged on the rock. After the conversation between the two, Katakori got up and jumped off the rock, and said coldly, I've been waiting for so long, if the, 690, evil hunter hasn't appeared yet, then there's no point in waiting any longer now, go and inform other people, and prepare to start the selection of personnel. Ten days is not long, but it is not short either. Katakori already knew Luo Wei's ability from detailed information, and knew that if Luo Wei would show up, ten days would be enough for Luo Wei to arrive here. Since Luo Wei never showed up, he was also patient to the limit and was not going to wait any longer. Your subordinate will make arrangements now. Baron Eggy bowed respectfully and left. Soon, the members of the Big Mom pirate group were called together, and at the same time, the many pirate groups on the island were also informed, and the Chinese medicine practitioners gathered in Maple Leaf Island. Advertisement. It's Charlotte Katakori the leader of the four generals. The person in charge this time is indeed this big shot. Is it finally about to start? I don't know how the other party plans to recruit people. If I can become the cadre of the Big Mom Pirates, that would be great. Hurry up and contact Guillaume Vice Admiral, the Big Mom Pirates are about to start recruiting. After gathering, the pirates naturally looked at Katakori standing in front of the Big Mom Pirates, causing real commotion and heated discussions. At the same time, some people ordered in a low voice, but under the cover of their companions, they quietly took out their phone bugs to talk. Brother Katakori, do we really want to recruit these people, they are very weak. Behind Katakori, Tabret, who was short but carrying a big long knife, glanced at the pirates and said unhappily. He is Charlotte's twenty-first son, and he is also the, Minister of Ingredients. Although his strength is weaker than that of the four generals, he is still considered a good player in the Charlotte family. Tabret's words have been recognized by many people, such as Saint Mark, who is the twenty-second son after Tabret. These people may not even be able to break through the paradise. Letting them join the pirate group will not increase the effect. Anyway, our purpose is to lure the evil hunter to show up. Since the other party dare not show up, 
I think we can directly use these just get rid of people casually. Saint Mark looked at the pirates in North Blue with contempt. That's right, Trash is not eligible to join our Big Mom Pirates. Advertisement. There is not even a bounty of more than 100 million, and the vast majority of people, the bounty is very empty, there is no need to recruit the pirates. The rest of the people also expressed their opinions one after another, expressing their disdain for the North Blue Pirates. Of course, there are those who oppose it and those who support it. Baron Eggy is one of them. I only heard him say, although many of these people are indeed trash, there are also people with good potential. If they are recruited and trained, they can still become good fighters. I think so too, don't many pirates in New World come from all over the world, we just need to eliminate the garbage, there is no need to keep all of them out. Or let them fight against each other, and those who survive will be recruited into the pirate group. Those who agree to recruit also express their opinions. Katakori waved his hand and said, Okay, don't argue, this time we entered North Blue, we all came, so naturally we can't leave empty-handed, I will use Conqueror's Hockey to filter out the trash later, and the rest will be recruited to the pirates. Seeing that Katakori had already made a decision, Tabret and the others naturally kept silent, while Baron Eggy and the others looked admiring. Brother Katakori's method is better, use Conqueror's Hockey to filter, then the waste will definitely be eliminated. If you can hold on to Conqueror's Hockey's awe, then even if this person is weak now, it means that the other party's potential is very good, and he is indeed qualified to join us. Advertisement. I don't know how many of this group of pirates can hold on to Mr. Katakori's Conqueror's Hockey Impact. I don't think there will be a thousand of them. One thousand. You think too highly of the quality of the North Blue Pirates, I don't think there will be five hundred people. While talking, the attention of the Big Mom Pirates shifted to how many people can hold on to Katakori's Conqueror's Hockey Shock. Although Conqueror's Hockey has the effect of shocking others' minds, there are also differences in strength and weakness. For a character like Katakori, if his Conqueror's Hockey wants to rely on strength to resist, it must at least have superhuman combat power. Without this strength, one must have a will far beyond ordinary people. I said, what are you going to do next? If you want to select personnel 1.6 in cadres, you should hurry up. I have been waiting here for several days. That's right, although we want to join you, don't go too far, if you continue to dawdle like this, Lousy won't have time to play with you here. Hurry up and start, I'm already getting impatient. When the big mom pirates were talking, the many pirates who gathered here gradually became impatient, especially those who arrived at Maple Leaf Island very early. They waited for several days and never saw the big mom pirates. The regiment made some moves, and they naturally lost their patience. As someone made a sound, many pirates immediately echoed, and for a while, voices of complaints and dissatisfaction came one after another. Advertisement. Chapter 269. The Power of the Great Swordsman. Previous chapter. Next chapter. Advertisement. Katakori had a look of displeasure on his face. From his point of view, it is very kind of him to be willing to recruit these people, and now he sees that some people are still dissatisfied, and he will naturally feel unhappy in his heart. Behind him, the rest of the Big Mom Pirates also looked unfriendly, and some even raised their guns, ready to kill the most energetic people. A bunch of trash dared to bark. A cold light flashed from his eyes, and Katakori spit out coldly, ready to start to scare this group of ants who don't know the heights of the sky and the depths of the earth. Kindness. Suddenly, before Conqueror's hockey erupted, a scene emerged from Katakori's mind, which made his expression change slightly, and he suddenly looked up at the sky. A howling wind wave swept from the sky, and a huge sword light that seemed to split the world in half appeared instantly, and cut straight down to Katakori's place on the 09 side at an astonishing speed. You finally appeared, Sin Hunter. Katakori's body erupted with terrifying and murderous aura in an instant. Amidst the roar, his right arm turned into a sticky rice cake, which crazily collided and became bigger, and finally formed an arm comparable to a giant. He punched the huge sword that fell mango. Bang. Advertisement. The blazing sword glow and the giant rice cake fist collided terrifyingly in midair, and the deafening roar resounded throughout the Maple Leaf Island. It also stirred up an astonishing air wave circle that violently distorted the void, and spread hundreds of meters away in an instant. From the appearance of the sword light to Katakori's defense and resistance, it happened in a short moment. When the terrifying air wave swept across the earth, the members of the Big Mom pirate group and tens of thousands of North Blue pirates were hit hard immediately. Under the violent impact, a large area of cracks occurred on the ground, and at the same time, countless people were lifted into the sky by this wave of air, and fell into the distance. For a moment, screams and exclamations continued to echo, and everyone looked in horror at the colliding sword light and rice cake giant fist. What's going on here, who sent the slash? Damn it, it's the Sin Hunter, the Sin Hunter is in the air. How can humans have such terrifying power, are they monsters? Everyone in the Big Mom Pirates reacted the fastest, especially the cadres and the elites of the Charlotte family, who stabilized their bodies immediately after being hit by the blast. And when they looked at the sky angrily, they immediately saw Luo Wei who was above the sword glow, stepping on the void. Boom. 
Just when the members of the Big Mom Pirates discovered Luo Wei, the collision of the Blazing Sword Glow and the Rice Cake Giant Fist also had results. Under the explosion and spread of the billowing air waves, the Blazing Sword Light was blown away by the powerful force of the Rice Cake Giant Fist, causing the surrounding void to wrinkle like twists. However, Katakori's fist did not hurt Luo Wei after defeating John Mang, because in an instant, Luo Wei disappeared into the air. Advertisement. Boom. Like a meteor falling, Luo Wei obliquely landed in the center of the North Blue Pirate at a speed beyond the naked eye. With the violent impact sound, the fierce air wave also caused a terrible impact on the pirates with a radius of tens of meters. Blood spurted and screamed, where the impact passed, all the pirates were blown away, and some even had their internal organs ruptured, killing them on the spot. It's the Sin Hunter. This guy is the Sin Hunter Luo Wei. What? This person is the evil hunter. How dare he appear here, the big mom pirates are chasing him. Catch him quickly, if you can arrest the evil hunter, maybe you can directly get the cadre seat of the BIGMDM pirates. The appearance of Luo Wei not only attracted the attention of the big mom pirates, but also shocked many North Blue pirates present. Some were suspicious and vigilant, but there were also many people who showed excited expressions and regarded Luo Wei as prey. Amidst the shouting and shouting, some pirates did not show any fear of Luo Wei at all. Instead, they rushed towards Luo Wei while roaring, intending to capture Luo Wei as a tribute to the Big Mom Pirates. Suicide. The rapid fall didn't affect Luo Wei in the slightest. Originally, his attention was completely focused on Katakori, but when he saw many pirates rushing towards him, his eyes flickered coldly. Jung. The sword light slashed, forming a ring-shaped spread, and finally evolved into a blazing sword light in an instant. With Luo Wei as the center, an ever-expanding ring of sword light slashed wildly in all directions. Chi 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 Chi. Advertisement. The speed at which the sword light expanded was extremely astonishing, and the void had already spread two to three hundred meters amidst the turbulent waves of the void. Amidst the creepy tearing sound, wherever the sword glow passed, pirates with split bodies could be seen constantly. This kind of scene is like cutting wheat, the pirates screamed and fell to the ground, and then died in the wailing. When the power of the sword light dissipated, a vacuum 083 area with a radius of more than three hundred meters had formed around Luo Wei, filled with mutilated corpses. It can be said that Luo Wei's slash caused at least the death of thousands of pirates, and it also caused the information obtained by the evil value to flash in his mind. Ah, the terrifying killing had a powerful deterrent effect, and the pirates outside the range of the attack all hurriedly stopped and looked at Luo Wei standing in the center of Hudui with horror on their faces. Some people who were not determined were even frightened and sat down on the ground, propped their hands on the ground, and retreated backward in embarrassment. As for the pirates on the outer edge, although they couldn't see the killing scene caused by Luo Wei, they were also crowded together because the people in front stopped. A bunch of trash. What an astonishing slash, the strength of the evil hunter is really not simple. Hurry up, we must not let the evil hunter escape. The cadres and family elites of the Big Mom Pirate Group naturally have mastered observation hockey, so even if they are blocked by the North Blue Pirates, they can still perceive the killing caused by Luo Wei. Some of them despised the weakness of the North Blue Pirates, some were shocked by Luo Wei's powerful swordsmanship, and at the same time they couldn't wait to deal with Luo Wei. Advertisement. Chapter 270 Luo Weaves Katakori 1. Previous chapter. Next chapter. Advertisement. You don't have to take action, I will deal with the evil hunter myself. Before Baron Dandan and the others could make a move, Katakori, who had just blocked Luo Wei's slash, dropped a word, and immediately disappeared in place in a ruthless manner. He wants to fight Luo Wei alone, not only because he is arrogant in his heart and disdains others to fight against the enemy, but also because he is afraid of Luo Wei. Luo Wei's beheading of Smoothie is enough to prove his strong Yamato's danger. If Baron Dandan and the others join the battle, Katakori cannot guarantee that there will be no casualties. With the confidence to defeat Luo Wei, Katakori naturally does not want unnecessary casualties on his side, so the best way is for him to fight Luo Wei alone. Just like Locke, who was once the captain of the Crusher Pirates, Katakori also mastered the shaving in Marine 6 styles, and has already perfected his practice. Luo Wei, who sent out a slash to kill many North Blue Pirates, was just about to harvest the evil value again, when Observation Hockey suddenly sensed the abnormality and decisively slid to one side. Boom. The fist of the condensed super-powerful armament Hockey hit Luo Wei's original place fiercely from top to bottom. With one punch, the ground immediately collapsed severely, forming a deep sunken pit. The gravel and dust flew up and spread, and the owner of the fist was Katakori. Advertisement. Luo Wei, who flied to the side to avoid Katakori's attack, appeared tens of meters away, and locked his sights on the opponent immediately, with both awe-inspiring and strong fighting spirit in his eyes. There was no extra communication, the two were destined to be a life and death fight, Luo Wei directly slashed across with his sword, and slashed at the opponent with an incomparably blazing sword light. The terrifying sharpness and strength easily stirred up a vast atmosphere, but under the approach of the sword light, Katakori had already understood that, with a rise and fall of his figure, he calmly avoided Luo Wei's slash. Not only that, 
Arms made of rice cakes emerged from his back, like a meteor shower, madly bombarding Luo Wei's place. Luo Wei was very surprised by this attack, because in the original book, this kind of move should be imitated by the opponent in the battle with Luffy. He didn't expect that the opponent has developed this kind of move now. But as for the surprise, Luo Wei didn't forget to defend. He used observation hockey to have a keen insight into the opponent's attack, and his figure quickly flickered left and right. Boom boom boom. At least dozens of rice cake fists condensed with armament hockey crazily bombarded the ground in the area where Luo Wei was located, causing deafening roars and violent air waves. Luo Wei's observation hockey at this time not only has the strength of the 8th level, but also has reached an advanced level in terms of application. It can be said that both the perception range and the sensitivity are very advanced. But Katakori is even more of an expert in this field. His observation hockey strength has reached the ninth level, and the most important thing is that he has cultivated the application to the top level, enough to predict the future for a short time. While dodging, Katakori caught Luo Wei's movement in advance, and the fist arm of the bombardment suddenly closed, but it directly locked Luo Wei's movement. While his figure was flashing, Luo Wei had no time to dodge again, fists and arms packed with terrifying power appeared in front of him, as if they wanted to crush him into pieces. Luo Wei's eyes narrowed, and he responded quickly, using the sword of the fallen angel to form an impenetrable sword net in front of him. Advertisement. For a moment, fists hit the sword net one after another, bursting out with violent energy and roars. Luo Wei was also under the opponent's terrifying fist force, dragging his legs across the ground, and retreating backwards. Thinking flow hyphenation point blood mosquito. With the trend of being suppressed in the battle situation, Luo Wei burst out a strong force very decisively. With the flow of thought power, the blade exuded an astonishing edge. Chi 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 Chi, Katakori's rice cake fist arm was torn apart by the astonishing sharpness, causing many severed arms and fragments to be scattered in front of Luo Wei immediately. Regarding this, Katakori's complexion sank, and he immediately shaved, his figure flickered and disappeared, and then blinked across the distance between the two sides, appearing in front of Luo Wei. Corner rice cake, Katakori's right arm turned into a long-haired strip of rice cake, and at the same time it was armament hockey with amazing strength, punching Luo Wei's head straight. Boom. The shadow of the sword flashed, and Luo Wei blocked Katakori's fist with a swift sword, causing the fists and swords of both sides to collide violently. A muffled roar resounded through the surroundings, and airwaves visible to the naked eye swept through like a gust of wind, even causing many North Blue pirates to be thrown back hundreds of meters away. Under the terrible impact, Cracks like spider webs appeared on the ground where the two of them were located, spreading tens of meters away, and even found subsidence during the shattering. Luo Wei's feet sank deeply into the mud, and after a little resistance, he fell into the downwind, and the whole person slid backwards for more than 10 meters. Advertisement. However, Katakori's offensive also slowed down because of Luo Wei's resistance, giving Luo Wei a chance to buffer. Although he was at a disadvantage in the confrontation of strength, Luo Wei did not suffer any substantial damage. Instead, he used this collision to estimate the general situation of Katakori. In addition to observation hockey has been developed to be able to predict the future, the physique and armament hockey are also extraordinary, this guy is indeed a strong opponent. Comma exclamation mark quote. After stopping his figure, Luo Wei's eyes fixed on Katakori sharply, and at the same time, he felt the greatest vigilance in his heart. Katakori's physique and armament hockey are weaker than observation hockey's cultivation level, but he also has a super strong level. Nuo Qian's from the collision just now, Luo Wei can already confirm that the opponent's armament hockey application has also reached an advanced level, and even exceeds his own in terms of strength. The physique is almost the same, and it is also better than him. Such power is enough to prove that it is not without reason that Katakori can become the leader of the four generals. It may be worse than when it appeared in the original book, but in Luo Wei's judgment, the opponent's strength is still firmly at the upper-class overlord level. In comparison, Luo Wei has to admit that he is weaker than others, and it is normal for him to be at a disadvantage now. However, Luo Wei didn't show any intention of retreating, instead, his fighting spirit became even higher, because the gap between the two was not yet overwhelming. As long as it is not overwhelming, then there is a chance of winning, and at the same time fighting with people who are stronger than oneself can have a better tempering effect. Advertisement. Chapter 271 Luo Weaves Category 2. Previous Chapter. Next Chapter. Advertisement. Shave. Mind Flow Slash Blood Mosquito. The thoughts in his mind only happened in an instant, Luo Wei took the initiative to launch an offensive without hesitation, his figure rushed out quickly, and the sword light slashed towards the opponent's head like lightning. At the same time, Luo Wei also displayed a golden combo technique, and besides slashing, he also burst out a huge force of thought, intending to imprison the opponent's body. It's just that Katakori's reaction was very quick, his eyes flashed, and before the power of thought swept over, he swept to the side at a fast speed. With such a move, Luo Wei's cold force and slash fell into the empty space. My attack was seen through, is it the ability to predict the future? Luo Wei's heart trembled, he hurriedly stopped his figure, and then looked in the direction Katakori swept away. 
Wu Shuang rice cake blade bullet. Both arms turned into machine guns, and when Luo Wei's gaze fell, Katakori also stopped his figure, and at the same time turned to face Luo Wei, with a cold face, he fired dense bullets from the machine guns on both arms. These bullets are composed of compressed rice cakes, and at the same time, they are condensed with high-strength armament hockey. After being fired, they immediately formed a terrifying rain of bullets and engulfed Luo Wei. Advertisement. Ding ding ding. 957. Luo Wei slashed quickly, and the blade of the sword collided with the rice cake bullets, causing sparks to fly in front of him. Boom. Katakori's eyes showed terror, and a powerful coercion erupted from his body. He suddenly activated Conqueror's Hockey, trying to frighten Luo Wei's mind. Luo Wei didn't show any weakness. While blocking the bullet, he immediately burst out his Conqueror's Hockey, and also looked at the opponent with terrifying eyes. It was as if two pairs of illusory eyes appeared in the sky above the two of them, and the two terrifying pressures immediately had an astonishing confrontation. Boom. Under the collision of the invisible Conqueror's Hockey, it was no less than a shock wave. It easily caused a burst of violent airflow visible to the naked eye, and the ground collapsed and shattered violently. Dense purple lightning flashed out from the void, and in the astonishing collision, the Conqueror's Hockey also rushed in all directions indiscriminately, sweeping to the surrounding North Blue Pirates in the blink of an eye. It was as if a gust of wind had passed by, and the clothes of the pirates in North Blue were blown like a jef. At the same time, they were also lifted up one after another, and their pupils expanded. Plop puff. There was an endless stream of falling to the ground one after another. Luo Wei and Katakori's conquerors hockey produced a 1 plus 1 greater than 5 coercion under the confrontation. Wherever they passed, all the pirates were turned on their backs, and a large area of fainting appeared. Advertisement. A large number of pirates fell to the ground in a coma. In just one breath, more than 99% of the tens of thousands of pirates gathered here lost consciousness. And even the remaining people who persisted in the coercive impact did not perform so well, they also fell to the ground with sweat and pale faces as if their strength had been drained. Naturally, the big mom pirates were not spared. Except for the cadres and family elites like Baron Dandan and Tabret, the other ordinary members were also unable to resist the terrifying coercion, their eyes turned white, and they all fainted on the ground. How is it possible that the evil hunter also owns the conqueror's hockey, and it's so powerful? Damn, the number of Conqueror's Hockey with this intensity is completely useless. Brother Katakori is the most perfect masterpiece of the family, how can the Conqueror's Hockey of the Evil Hunter fight against Brother Katakori? Although Baron Dandan and the others resisted the impact of Conqueror's Hockey, they were still full of shock and outrage at the confrontation between Luo Wei and Katakori. When the Conqueror's Hockey's collision reached ultimate, the surrounding void not only became denser with flashing purple lightning, but even faintly twisted and wrinkled. Do not make jokes. Katakori didn't make waves for Luo Wei's possession of Conqueror's Hockey, because in New World, there are not a few people who have awakened Conqueror's Hockey. However, he was like an enraged tiger when the Conqueror's Hockey confrontation between the two sides was evenly matched. Seeing Luo Wei who kept blocking the bullets of the rice cakes with slashes, Katakori suddenly stopped shooting, and then his figure flew out instantly. Advertisement. At an astonishing speed, Katakori appeared in the sky above Luo Wei in an instant, and at the same time, his right arm swelled wildly, forming an arm bigger than a giant's fist. Like a meteorite falling, it smashed with terror and down. With Luo Wei's current observation hockey cultivation base, although he can't understand Katakori's or like he did when he dealt with Kuzan back then, Katakori's observation hockey, which is enough to predict the future, is also enough to predict what Luo Wei has. Action. When the giant fist landed, Luo Wei only had time to chop off the last rice cake bullet, and then had no time to dodge, so he could only raise his head suddenly and swung his sword to block it. Bang. Compared with Katakori's giant fist, Luo Wei and the sword of the fallen angel looked extremely small. When the two collided together, Luo Wei immediately disappeared under the giant fist. At the same time, as the deafening roar resounded through the sky, the earth was also terribly damaged. First, it collapsed and expanded in a circular shape, and then exploded into pieces of rock all over the sky. The clods of mud weighing several tons were easily swept up into the sky by the billowing air waves, and the power of Katakori's punch formed by shaking the ground is absolutely no exaggeration. Back, in the distance, the violent air wave mixed with dust soon swept to where Baron Eggy and the others were, and they all retreated further away. As for the thousands of corpses killed by Luo Wei and the North Blue Pirates who were stunned by Conqueror's Hockey, they were also thrown into the air, and then fell hard to the ground, causing many casualties. When the air wave dissipated, the huge rice cake fist arm was also pulled out from the ground, contracted and bounced back, and returned to its original shape, also revealing Katakori who fell from a high altitude. This is, when he fell, Katakori's gaze also fell into the super large pit with a depth of tens of meters and a diameter of more than 100 meters. When he saw the situation inside, he frowned slightly. Advertisement. Chapter 272 Luo Weaves Katakori 3. Previous chapter. Next chapter. Advertisement. At the bottom of the super large deep pit, there was no figure of Luo Wei, but a golden sphere with a diameter of several meters. 
Katakori's eyes suddenly showed a strange color, and a picture appeared in his mind. The golden sphere in sight spread out suddenly, followed by an invisible suction force covering him, pulling him into the deep pit, a terrifying slash shot out, cutting him straight. The screen is now broken, but Katakori has been given enough warning. Kacha, in the huge deep pit, just like what Katakori had predicted just now, the golden sphere suddenly shattered and disappeared like an eggshell. Luo Wei, who didn't have any scars on his body, immediately appeared, and immediately looked sharply at Katakori who fell from the sky. Flow of thoughts universal pull. When the nostalgic defense shield was lifted, the terrifying nostalgic power wrapped in the awakened power of the Nianian fruit immediately turned into an astonishing suction force, charged straight up, and shrouded Kataku, Lee. But Katakori's reaction was even faster. He had already foreseen this scene, and before the power of thought swept over, he displayed the shaving in the six poses, stomping on the air, and his figure swept away like lightning. The astonishing suction immediately fell through, stirring up the void where Katakori was originally in, and at the same time, Luo Wei, who was about to swing his sword out of the super large pit, also made a move. Has it been predicted again? Advertisement. For Katakori's vigilant reaction, Luo Wei naturally reacted immediately, knowing that his counterattack was predicted by the opponent's observation hockey. There was a flash of light in his eyes, although the counterattack was predicted and did not work, but he did not panic because of it. After calming down, Luo Wei quickly changed his movements, but after he stopped slashing, his figure suddenly spun, and at the same time, a more majestic and powerful thought force erupted from his body. Boom. The majestic power of thought also spun crazily with the rotation of his body. In just a short moment, Luo Wei turned into a tornado hurricane soaring into the sky. This tornado hurricane reached hundreds of meters high, and at the same time it was 20 to 30 meters thick. Under the crazy rotation, it also burst into a terrifying gust of wind. Flying sand and rocks, the surrounding soil and rocks were pulled up, flew into the tornado and hurricane, and were crushed by the terrible gale. But it's not the limit, the strong wind quickly swept over a kilometer range, where the North Blue Pirates who were stunned by the Conqueror's hockey also flew up powerlessly, and rushed towards the tornado hurricane. The tornado hurricane that Luo Wei turned into was like a death storm, frantically devouring the North Blue Pirates, and making the rest of them horrified and astonished. As this also the opponent's Devil Fruit ability, which can form such a terrible hurricane. The Devil Fruit ability of the evil hunter is the fruit of Paramecia, this Devil Fruit is so powerful. As this guy giving up on himself. Although the power of such a hurricane is indeed terrifying, it has no effect on Master Katakori. Although the members of the Big Mom Pirates who had retreated further away were also pulled by the strong wind, they all stabilized their bodies immediately under their own strong strength, and there was no damage. Advertisement. Although they were shocked by the huge hurricane in front of them, some people quickly showed sneers and ridicule. Indeed, although the tornado hurricane transformed by Luo Wei was massive and the damage range exceeded one kilometer, it did not pose any threat to Katakori at all. After anticipating Luo Wei's counterattack, Katakori, who avoided the universal pull in advance, quickly plundered hundreds of meters away, and then landed on the ground smoothly, staring at the tornado hurricane coldly. Behind him, several tentacle-like rice cakes pierced into the ground, firmly stabilizing his body, so that he would not be shaken by the wind at all. While staring at Luo Wei, Katakori also launched observation hockey again for precognition. Huh, has this guy gone mad with anger? When the foreseen picture appeared in his mind, Katakori's face showed a trace of astonishment. Zero. Seeking flowers. Boom boom boom. As if to verify Katakori's reaction, the tornado hurricane that Luo Wei turned into changed, and it was a towering solitary peak that moved towards the surroundings. It's just that Luo Wei didn't approach Katakori's location, but showed a circular shape and moved to the North Blue Pirate's location further away. With such a move, the pulling force of the tornado hurricane naturally expanded to a further distance, which also caused more North Blue Pirates to be involved in the hurricane, and then smashed into blood mist. Even those who withstood the conqueror's hockey without losing consciousness, flew up irresistibly because of the amazing wind force of the hurricane, and followed the same result as the others, and were strangled by the hurricane. Advertisement. Point zero. One hundred. One thousand. Ten thousand. Wherever the tornado hurricane passed, in addition to causing serious damage to the earth, it also frantically killed the gathering sea pirates. Because Katakori didn't know Luo Wei's intentions, he didn't make any rash moves under his vigilance. And this undoubtedly gave Luo Wei a chance. He turned into a tornado, instead of attacking Katakori, he moved around and strangled the North Blue Pirates. The reason was naturally to gain evil points. Although the two hadn't fought for a long time, it was enough for Luo Wei to figure out the general situation of the other party. There is no doubt that Katakori's strength is second only to Kuzan among the enemies Luo Wei has encountered so far. Even if the opponent's ability to predict the future is excluded, the strength is still stronger than Quinn and Smoothie. Even Marco, who is also the deputy emperor, is inferior to the opponent. After all, Marco's strength is more due to his recovery ability of Phoenix. Luo Wei has a full understanding of himself, and knows that his comprehensive strength is comparable to Quinn's. 
Although this kind of strength is enough to dominate one side, compared with Katakori, it is obviously much weaker. So if he wants to win, he must improve his Luangman. Advertisement. Chapter 273 Luo Weaves Katakori, 4. Previous chapter. Next chapter. Advertisement. For others, at Luo Wei's current level, it is naturally extremely difficult to improve their strength, and it takes a lot of time and energy to practice. But for Luo Wei, as long as he has enough evil points, he can quickly increase his own strength. It seems like now, even though the pirates of North Blue are frantically devouring, Luo Wei's mind is constantly reminded that he is harvesting crime points, and even occasionally there will be information about the acquisition of original sin points. Katakori's choice of static breaking may be a good countermeasure for others, but for Luo Wei, it gave him a chance to win. The range of the tornado hurricane radiation is extremely wide, and Luo Wei naturally dragged and strangled more pirates under the movement, and also gained more crime points. 803. In just a short while, few North Blue pirates gathered on Maple Leaf Island were strangled by the tornado and hurricane, and very few died. At the same time, seeing that Luo Wei hadn't made a move, but instead moved meaninglessly, Katakori couldn't bear it any longer. No matter what you are planning, as long as I defeat it with overwhelming force, it will only be a dying struggle in the end. Katakori originally thought that Luo Wei was accumulating strength, and then broke out some kind of powerful attack on himself, but since Luo Wei has not acted, his patience has reached its limit. A murderous intent burst out from his eyes, Katakori decided to take the initiative to attack, with a touch of his feet, his figure flew out as swiftly as lightning. He quickly got close to the tornado, and then stretched out the dense rice cake arms behind him, and then formed a shadow of fists all over the sky, crazily pressing towards the tornado. Advertisement. The flow of thoughts Shen Luo Tianzhong. With almost all the North Blue Pirates wiped out, Luo Wei was also about to stop, but when he realized Katakori's attack, he decisively stopped spinning. The originally huge tornado dissipated suddenly, followed by Luo Wei who was suspended in the air and waved a fan-shaped shock wave. The void squeezed by the violent shock wave formed a substantial wall, which collided fiercely with the countless fist shadows that came from the bombardment. Boom boom boom. Like a torrential rain, the roaring sound continued, and the shock wave formed by the Shen Luo Tian Zheng, was distorted and disintegrated by the bombardment of fist shadows all over the sky. But in the same way, the Shen Luo Tian Zheng, also blocked Katakori's attack, allowing Luo Wei enough time to get away and fall to the ground below. Zheng. The moment he landed, Luo Wei slashed horizontally with his sword without hesitation, and slashed out a dark gold sword light that was more than 100 meters long towards Katakori's place. Although the scale of this sword light is not so huge, the degree of condensedness is not trivial. Even a small mountain is enough to cut off easily. However, Katakori obviously foresaw Luo Wei's attack in advance, before the sword glow came, he stepped on the ground and jumped into the air, easily dodging the sword glow's slash. The lost sword light did not stop, but slashed towards the distance at an astonishing speed, splitting all the rocks and objects blocking in front into two halves. Boom. Advertisement. The awakening power of Nianian fruit was activated, and the surrounding land turned into countless golden light spots, which converged towards Luo Wei. The air was turbulent, the dust rushed up, and Dao's burly figure like a giant was displayed on the ground. About 20 meters high, the body is composed of golden energy, showing an illusory and transparent shape. At the same time, Luo Wei is also located inside the chest of this golden giant, like the core that provides energy. The flow of thoughts Suzano. The body surface of the golden giant is covered with mighty armor, which is similar to the dragon armor. At the same time, the golden light in the right hand blooms, quickly condensing an energy long sword similar to the sword of the fallen angel. What's this? Golden giant. The evil hunter turned into a giant. No. This should also be the opponent's devil fruit ability. The body of the evil hunter is in the body of this golden giant. The appearance of Suzano surprised Baron Dandan and others watching the battle from a distance, and then they all looked closely at Katakori's reaction. It's just using devil fruit's ability to form a huge body. With a move like this, I can create a bigger existence. Katakori, who fell from the sky, saw the Suzano condensed by Luo Wei, his eyes narrowed slightly, and then he sneered. Exclamation mark exclamation mark exclamation mark exclamation mark. A large number of flexible rice cakes quickly emerged from his body, and then swelled and plasticized. In a short moment, a figure even bigger than Suzano stepped hard on the ground. Advertisement. The heavy body easily crushed and dented the opposite side under his feet. This huge figure resembled Katakori in both body shape and appearance, or an enlarged Katakori. Compared with Suzano, the giant Katakori has an overwhelming size advantage. His body is 50 meters high, like a small mountain, giving people a strong sense of oppression. As expected of brother Katakori, he not only imitated the opponent's moves easily, but even displayed stronger power on top of them. Master Katakori is indeed invincible, the evil hunter is at the end of his rope, there is no suspense in this battle. W. Hey, the evil hunter is probably going to despair now. Baron Eggy and others who were originally in shock because of Suzano were immediately excited by Katakori's response to 2.4. Bang bang bang. 
Katakori's reflexes were so fast that Luo Wei had just manipulated Suzano into bursting attacks when the giant Katakori took shape. With her legs moving, Suzano trampled the ground and shook it endlessly. When she was close to turning Katakori into a giant, she immediately slashed her energy long sword, slashing towards the opponent. The giant Katakori with an absolute advantage in size looked down at Suzano coldly, and also kicked out, colliding with the energy long sword head on. Bang! The moment the energy long sword made contact with the giant feet, terrifying sound waves and shocks erupted. The surrounding land twisted and shattered like sea waves, and the billowing dust bloomed like blooming flowers, and then swept away towards the distance. Advertisement. Chapter 274 Luo Weaves Katakori V. Previous Chapter. Next Chapter. Advertisement. The destructive power released by the terrifying collision was astonishing, directly causing the ground to collapse into a huge deep pit with a diameter of tens of meters. At the same time, under the collision, although Suzano's energy long sword cut deep cracks in the giant Katakori's legs and feet, it was also kicked back by the opponent's terrifying force. Not only did it fly upside down like a cannonball for more than a hundred meters, but the energy sword and the palm holding the sword were also crushed by the terrifying force, turning into golden light spots all over the sky and collapsing. Flexible rice cakes emerged, and the sword marks on the jauntized Katakori's legs and feet were immediately filled and repaired, and at the same time, covered by the condensed armament hockey, they became extremely strong. Die. Without any hesitation, the giant Katakori moved his huge body, almost passing tens of meters in one step, and came to Suzano in the blink of an eye. The same huge fist slammed down obliquely, and the air squeezed by the amazing force immediately spread layer by layer, like a meteorite impact. Suzano immediately raised her other arm to resist, and opened her palm to hold the huge fist that fell. Boom. The O9 ground under Suzano's feet immediately shattered and collapsed, and even both legs were deeply sunk in the mud. For the giant Katakori's fist, Susanohe's palm is only half the size of the opponent. Under the lift, not only was the arm bent greatly by the heavy force, but also a little bit of golden light could be seen collapsing from the arm. Advertisement. The giant Katakori is obviously not only twice the size of Suzano, but also has an absolute upper hand in terms of strength. However, Suzano did not blindly defend. The broken palm and energy sword on the other side immediately condensed and recovered under the burst of thought power, and then stabbed sharply at the head of the giant Katakori with a sword. Even without the ability to predict the future, Katakori's keen observation hockey perception is enough to gain insight into Luo Wei's attack. The moment the energy long sword approached, the giant Katakori turned his head to the side, avoiding Suzano's attack extremely cleverly with a slight difference. At the same time, the giant Katakori quickly raised his other hand and quickly grabbed Suzano's sword-holding wrist. Arms of the same size emerged from behind, and then turned into terrifying fist shadows and blasted towards Suzano who was caught by the arms and couldn't avoid it. Boom boom boom. There was an endless stream of deafening roars, and the giant Katakori slammed wildly, causing an astonishingly huge movement. The violent air waves spread layer by layer, causing layers of billowing dust to form around the big earth coiling, and the aftermath radiated easily only a few hundred meters away. Suzano was beaten down wildly, and the energy on her body was constantly dissipated, and her huge body was deformed and distorted, and she slid backwards. However, under the continuous burst of thought power, Suzano never really dissipated, and Luo Wei inside did not suffer any substantial damage. At the same time, when Luo Wei manipulated Suzano against the giant Katakori, part of his mind also sneaked into his mind. He fights with Suzano, not because Suzano is good enough against Katakori, but just to buy time and give himself a chance to increase his strength. Advertisement. Open black lens bracket evil value, 453,223 close black lens bracket. Open black lens bracket original sin value, 25 close black lens bracket. There are as many as 60,000 to 70,000 North Blue Pirates gathered on Maple Leaf Island, and the number of pirates offering a reward of more than 50 million is also more than the number of hands. After Luo Wei nearly wiped out these North Blue Pirates, the sin value and original sin value gained are naturally extremely amazing. After confirming the two gains, Luo Wei continued to manipulate Suzano against Katakori, and began to increase his strength without hesitation. The first thing he chose was naturally the Nyen Nyen fruit. With the continuous input of evil points, the experience value of Nyen Nyen fruit increased rapidly, which also drove the strength of Nyen Nyen fruit to increase at a speed visible to the naked eye. Boom. Suzano seemed to be infused with new vitality. As she retreated, her collapsed body quickly condensed and recovered, and her body grew almost as a result, reaching a height of 25 meters. At the same time as her body recovered, Suzano immediately held the sword in both hands, and violently slashed towards the giant Katakori facing him. The terrifying power engulfed the power of the sword, and instantly burst out a huge sword light like a lone peak. Under the frenzied tearing of the ground, it hit the front of the humanized Katakori on the seat. Boom. The giant Katakori's quickest reaction was to resist with the cross arm, causing the huge sword light to slash on his arm and explode with an astonishing impact, smashing the surrounding ground into pieces. Advertisement. 
The ground shook, and the giant Katakori retreated a dozen steps backward under the impact of the sword light, stepping on deep pit footprints one by one. His slashing power has become stronger. When the sword light dissipated, there was a deep crack that was almost cut off on the giant Katakori's arm, which made Katakori stunned. Although the cracks on the arm were quickly filled and recovered under the emergence of rice cakes, but in the slash just now, Katakori clearly felt that the power of this slash was much stronger than the previous one. There was doubt in his heart, but under the fierce battle, Katakori didn't have time to think about it, because Suzano who launched the slash didn't stop at all, and just strode in front of him with big strides. Another sword slashed out, intending to cut the giant Katakori in half, but Katakori also reacted quickly, the giant's body showed agility, and jumped back to avoid the slash. Bird rice cake super big. During the backward leap, the jauntized Katakori stretched out a whip made of rice cakes from his hand, and quickly wound towards Suzano. Because part of Luo Wei's mind sank into his mind, so that his perception was weak, he had no time to dodge, and was immediately wrapped around the waist by the rice cake whip. A terrifying force struck from the rice cake whip, but it was pulled violently by the giant Katakori, and Suzano was thrown into the air, heading towards the sky. Drink! Katakori shouted violently in his heart, his huge body spun on the spot like a top, and at the same time, it also drove Suzano, who was thrown into the air by the rice cake whip, to turn crazily like a windmill. I have a cold, so uncomfortable. Advertisement. Chapter 275 Luo Weaves Katakori, 6. Previous chapter. Next chapter. Advertisement. Boom boom boom. Under the terrifying rotation force, a huge storm rose into the sky, and when the inertia reached the limit, the giant Katakori leapt high, turning Suzano's violent wheels to the ground. Bang. With an earth-shattering roar, Suzano hit the ground, immediately causing the surrounding ground to twist and smash like waves, forming an astonishing huge crater with a diameter of nearly 200 meters. Rolling dust billowed up, and the terrible impact almost completely shattered Suzano, and even caused shocks to pass into the interior, causing Luo Wei to groan, with blood overflowing from the corner of his mouth. Give me a boost. The serious concussion injury did not make Luo Wei feel decadent, but instead made him burst into a more violent and violent aura. In his mind, the experience value of Nian Nian fruit had already reached the 8th level full value under the continuous investment of Sin points. As Luo Wei began to consume the original Sin value, Nian Nian fruit immediately experienced a leap forward change. In an instant, the original Sin value dropped sharply by 9 points, and correspondingly, Nian Nian fruit also broke through from the 8th level to the 9th level. Boom. The golden rays of light burst out from the giant pit like a small sun, and Susanohe, which was almost collapsed, condensed and swelled wildly. Like a titan, Suzano, who had more than doubled in size, leapt violently from the giant pit, reaching an altitude of nearly 100 meters. What's going on? Its size has grown. Katakori, who originally wanted to take advantage of the victory and pursue it, was startled, and at the same time, there was a flash of light in his eyes, and he quickly rushed to one side. Advertisement. Boom. A terrifying sword light slashed and fell, bombarding the place where the giant Katakori was originally, the terrifying power and sharpness instantly tore the earth apart then went madly in the distance. Delay. Looking down from the sky, the earth seemed to be split in half by Suzano's sword, forming a deep crack that spread nearly a kilometer long. Not only has the body size increased, but the power of the slash has also been enhanced again. What's going on? With the ability to predict the future, Katakori, who avoided the slash in advance, turned around and saw the cracks appearing on the ground, he couldn't help feeling frightened and angry. Buzz. At high altitude, Suzano's shape changed, and a pair of energy star wings extended from the back to cover the sky and the sun. With the violent flapping of the wings, the acceleration was completed immediately, like a falling meteor, it flew to the giant Katakori in the blink of an eye. Boom. Suzano, who had undergone a qualitative change in strength, slashed down with a sword, and then collided with the giant Katakori's arms that were erected to resist. Under the huge impact, the giant Katakori's arms were cut off forcefully, and then the energy sword quickly fell towards the giant Katakori's head. The pupils contracted, and the head of the jauntized Katakori instantly turned into a writhing rice cake, which split apart before being able to strike with the long sword. The energy long sword didn't really touch the opponent, and then it slashed straight down, landed on the ground, and once again tore a huge crack like a moat. Advertisement. However, although the slash failed, Suzano's attack did not stop. Its left hand left the energy long sword, turned into a fist, and violently smashed into the giant Katakori's split left head. Asshole. Katakori's heart was terrified by Suzano's sudden power, and he couldn't hide his power, so he hastily activated Devil Fruit's awakening power. The ground under his feet instantly turned into twisting rice cakes, which then flowed into the huge body to strengthen his body's power as a servant. Boom. Fist to fist, the giant Katakori quickly raised the wall, and punched Suzano together. The two sides who were almost the same in size, under the bombardment of fists, immediately sent out a terrifying roar and a terrifying impact like a storm. The ground crumbled one after another, spreading hundreds of meters away, forming a huge crater. At the same time, 
The impact of the turbulence and spread is also crazy, and the radiation range exceeds one kilometer, making the entire island seem to be shaking. The air was squeezed so that it illuminated the sky-like rays of light, and the collision between the two giants gave people the feeling that the gods were fighting, and they would burst out with devastating power at every turn. The body shook wildly, and in the crater, Suzano and the giant Katakori took a step back almost at the same time, and the strength of the two sides once again showed an evenly matched situation. He just hit his strength, and he became stronger in battle. Regarding the current situation, Katakori was in doubt. Originally, it could suppress the opponent in a normal state, but now, after activating the awakening power of Devil Fruit, it is only on par with the opponent. Advertisement. If it is the latter, then the other party's talent is too terrifying. Instinctively, Katakori is more inclined to the first situation, thinking that Luo Wei has hidden his strength in the previous battle. Suddenly, a picture appeared in Katakori's mind, which also made him change his face, and quickly retreated towards the rear. Super hyphenation point Shen Luo Tianzheng. On the opposite side, Suzano raised her arms and palms up, and a terrifying shock wave in the shape of a fan erupted. Boom. The earth collapsed, the void was chaotic, and the terrifying shock wave swept towards the giant Katakori like a wave of complete death. The power of the Nin Nian fruit of the ninth level is already far different from that of the eighth level. Its power is so strong that even Katakori couldn't help but be moved. Although Luo Wei's attack had been predicted, Katakori still couldn't avoid it, and the terrifying shock wave quickly caught up with him. At this moment, Katakori could only resist, and when the Devil Fruit ability was activated, a wave of rice cakes rising in front of him, formed a heavy wall of defense. Bang! The terrifying shock wave hit the wall of the rice cake defense, causing a loud roar immediately, and the pieces of the rice cake that were blown up could be seen constantly, causing the earth to vibrate violently and spreading dense cracks. While defending, the giant Katakori did not stop and retreat. After the terrifying shock wave was blocked by the rice cake defense, he finally changed direction and swept out to one side, rushing out of the attack range of Luo Wei's, Super Shen Luo Tianzheng. Advertisement. 270th Chapters Luo Weaves Katakori, 7. Previous Chapter. Next Chapter. Advertisement. After Luo Wei completed the breakthrough of Nianian Fruit, it didn't end there. When he continued to fight Katakori, he was still crazily consuming Sin Points to improve the second power. The second power that was raised was the Way of the Sword. Kendo and Nian Nian Fruit can be said to be the two most important strengths of Luo Wei. Under Katakori's retreat with Super Shen Luo Tianzheng, Luo Wei's improvement in Kendo has also reached the critical point of breakthrough. Just like the Nian Nian Fruit just now, after upgrading the sword, the original sin value was consumed by 9 points again. In Suzano's body, Luo Wei's body trembled slightly, and the already sharp eyes became sharper in an instant, almost like a real sharpness, which made people feel chilly. Boom. The indomitable Suzano suddenly dissipated, and the dancing golden crystals quickly gathered on Luo Wei's body, turning into a mighty and gorgeous dragon-shaped armor. The giant Katakori, who was flying towards the distance, just stopped at this moment and turned to look at Luo Wei. When he saw Suzano dissipate, he not only did not relax, but felt a strong sense of crisis, his pupils contracted into needles. Shape. What a strong breath, this guy actually hides so much power. Katakori gritted his teeth and let out a low growl. Observation Hockey locked onto Luo Wei tightly, and his huge body shrank rapidly, returning to its original shape. 800 enormous size can increase strength, but it will also slow down the speed. The change of Luo Wei's breath made Katakori not relax at all, and some only had the highest level of vigilance and defense. Then round 2 begins, advertisement. The body floated up, stepped into the air, turned to look at where Katakori was, Luo Wei spit out lightly, and his figure suddenly disappeared in place. Boom. The terrible speed made the sound unable to keep up. When Luo Wei left, there was a violent sonic boom and turbulent air waves at the same place. The golden light suddenly appeared, and Katakori, who had a strange light in his eyes, resolutely avoided sideways, avoiding the sword light that Luo Wei slashed out again. With a powerful ability to predict the future, even if Luo Wei's current speed is greatly enhanced, he still cannot lock Katakori's actions. While avoiding, Katakori also immediately broke out to counterattack. Nose ball spike, a trident emerged from the right arm, and the arm twirled wildly, turning into a terrifying drill. Katakori swept to Luo Wei's side with one step, and then the wolf blasted the cloth arm out. Paper Arts Snake Shake. Twisting his body, Luo Wei also showed superb agility and reflexes, narrowly dodging the opponent's attack. Although his observation hockey is only in the advanced application, but in combination with the field of Nian Nian extended by the fruit of Nian Nian, the perception ability is also extraordinary. Just like the saying, you don't need to keep up with the speed of the bullet, you just need to keep up with the speed of your shot. Under the double perception of observation hockey and the field of mind, Luo Wei can also gain insight into Katakori's every move. Of course, this is also because the Nianian fruit has been promoted to the ninth level, which has greatly increased the perception of the field of Nianian. Advertisement. Otherwise, Luo Wei would not be able to avoid Katakori's attack so calmly with his previous level. 
Both sides avoided the opponent's attack, and retreated back in a very tacit understanding, which made the two sides open a certain distance. However, keeping the distance apart does not mean the end of the battle, but it indicates that the two will launch a stronger offensive. Peerless Donuts Two huge donuts made of rice cakes emerged from the ground on both sides of Katakori, and they were covered with an astonishingly strong armed color bully, AJFG, Aura. Tempest Kick Dragon Tail Lua Wei also didn't show weakness, he raised his leg and kicked a violent chopping wave at the opponent. Like the field of Nyen Nyen extended by Nyen Nyen Fruit, Nyen Nyen Fruit of the ninth level of strength also exerts a stronger boosting effect under the formation of dragon armor. At this time, the Dragon Wagging Tail Slashing wave kicked out by Luo Wei is not weaker than the Great Swordsman's slashing wave in terms of scale and condensed level. Weird rice cake. Katakori's eyes were sharp, and he immediately punched out. Correspondingly, a huge fist arm with sharp edges and corners extended from the Wushuang Donut on the right, and the fierce and tearing chopping wave collision. Boom. Amidst the huge roaring sound, the billowing air wave diffused and spread, easily covering a distance of 100 meters, and it also cracked the earthquake into dense cracks. During the collision, the huge Nian Gao fist had the upper hand, scattered the dragon wagging tail, slashing wave kicked by Luo Wei, and then slammed fiercely at Luo Wei in the store with the remaining power. Advertisement. Swish. The figure flickered, and Luo Wei disappeared in the same place in an instant, making the huge fist that came from the bombardment miss. A strange light flashed in Katakori's eyes immediately, and without hesitation, he also shaved, and swept to one side at once. Jung. The sharp sword light swept down from the sky, and slashed fiercely on the ground where Katakori was originally. The astonishing sharpness immediately cut the ground, forming a deep crack. Katakori appeared tens of meters away, and the moment he stopped, Luo Wei turned around and slashed at him, his eyes filled with terrifying murderous aura. One on the left and one on the right, two unparalleled donuts suddenly appeared on both sides of Luo Wei who fell to the ground, and then two huge arms covering armament hockey stretched out, and they slapped the center with their giant palms. Luo Wei. Luo Wei frowned slightly, and quickly turned around and slashed, shooting a blazing sword light towards the giant rice cake palm on one side, cutting it off abruptly. At the same time, his other arm was also erected to block the giant palm that came to the other side. Exclamation mark exclamation mark exclamation mark. The giant palm slapped Luo Wei's arm fiercely, and the terrifying collision immediately created a huge wave. At the same time, the amazing power contained in it was released crazily, trying to really hit Luo Wei's body. However, Luo Wei counteracted part of the force with his left arm, and then took advantage of the opponent's violent impact, quickly swept away, and in the blink of an eye, he was out of the attack range of the giant palm. The dragon armor condensed from Nianian fruit of the ninth level strength showed super strong defense power. Although Luo Wei's left arm was slapped violently, the sturdy gauntlet perfectly defended against the damage, leaving his arm completely undamaged. Advertisement. Chapter 277. Luo Weaves Category 8. Previous Chapter. Next Chapter. Advertisement. Sweeping nearly a hundred meters away, Luo Wei stomped on the ground with one foot, then twisted his waist and turned around, quickly locking on to where Katakori was. Shave. Shave. A tacit understanding appeared, the moment Luo Wei and Katakori's eyes met, both of them rushed towards each other quickly, one punch with a fist, and the other slashed with a sword. Boom. Like two bolts of lightning, Luo Wei and Katakori collided together in an instant, and the fist and sword collided surprisingly, causing a terrifying burst of energy. Large areas of the surrounding ground collapsed and flew, and the agitated energy turned into a tornado that soared into the sky and radiated into the distance. The purple lightning in the void kept jumping, and the two released their conqueror's hockey at the same time during the battle, trying to cause stress to each other. The picture returns to the center of the collision, the sword of the fallen angel collides with the fist covered with armament hockey fiercely, accompanied by dazzling sparks. Chi 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 chi, compared with the attack power, the way of the sword undoubtedly has an advantage, especially the Nian Luzon is achieved by combining the way of the sword and the fruit of Nian Nian, which makes Luo Wei's slashing contain a terrifying edge. After a little collision, Katakori's fist was cut with a crack, and Luo Wei also used this to turn the blade, intending to completely crush the opponent's fist. However, Katakori obviously foresaw this scene with observation hockey, and very decisively retreated with his punches, and at the same time, kicked out. Advertisement. The kicked legs rapidly swelled and became bigger, and finally formed huge soles, hitting Luo Wei like a hill. The sharp eyes in his eyes flashed across, Luo Wei did not back down, and slashed straight down with his sword again, the terrifying sword light was like a crescent moon falling from the sky, and he spread his huge feet forcefully. Katakori's face was gloomy, and he immediately abandoned his legs and feet, turning them into rice cakes to disperse, and then moved with his shaving, and quickly swept out of the range of the sword glow. The undiminished sword light immediately tore the ground in front of it with a super long crack, which spread until hundreds of meters away before gradually dissipating. His slash is beyond the range of my armament hockey defense, I must strengthen the defense of devil fruit ability. After drawing a distance, Katakori's abandoned legs and feet quickly recovered under the emergence of rice cakes, and then stared at Luo Wei coldly. Hum. 
The surrounding earth turned into rice cakes and twisted, and then quickly gathered on the body, finally forming a completely gaped rice cake battle. Katakori imitated Luo Wei's dragon armor impressively, and also covered his body with a solid armor with Nuo Nuo fruit, so as to greatly enhance his defense. Quite a set. Noticing Katakori's moves, Luo Wei couldn't help being surprised, and at the same time, there was a solemn look in his eyes. The Nuo Nuo fruit is somewhat similar to his Nian Nian fruit, and its shape is very plastic. For Katakori imitating his own dragon armor to create the rice cake armor, Luo Wei quickly accepted it after being surprised. Advertisement. After all, the other party has performed in this regard in the original book, and easily imitated Luffy's various moves, which can be called a copy ninja of Pirate World. However, Luo Wei wasn't nervous either. The Nuo Nuo fruit was not the Nian Nian fruit after all, and the opponent's rice cake armor only enhanced the defense, not the increase in speed and strength. A momentary thought flashed by, Luo Wei immediately launched an offensive again, cast shaving, and quickly swept towards the opponent in an instant. Under the incomparable increase in thought power, Luo Wei's speed reached an astonishing level, and he arrived in front of Katakori in an instant. Mind flow slash blood mosquito. The blade of the sword trembled, and it also displayed a sharpness far exceeding that of before, and the sword slashed out obliquely, directly grabbing the opponent's head. Swish. Katakori's figure was slightly sideways, but he avoided Luo Wei's slash extremely cleverly. Luo Wei's speed has indeed increased a lot, but it is obviously not enough to surpass Katakori's observation hockey perception. In other words, Luo Wei's attack has always been in Katakori's prediction, so he has enough prepare to be able to cope. The moment he avoided the slash, Katakori also erupted in a counterattack, covering armament Haki's right arm with a terrifying force and punching Luo Wei's side face. Zero. Seeking flowers. However, under the double perception of observation Haki and the field of mind, Luo Wei also had an insight into the opponent's attack. When the slash failed, he withdrew most of his power, and then cast, paper arts snake shake, similarly staggering Katakori's fist dangerously, making his attack miss. Advertisement. Future prediction is indeed powerful and terrifying, but it is not invincible. Katakori was only able to calculate a few more steps, but the battle only happened in an instant. As long as Luo Wei had an insight into the opponent's movements at the moment of Katakori's attack, he could also respond in time. With the flash of the sword and the fierce punching of the fists, the two quickly launched a fierce close combat. However, in such a fierce battle, the double opponents are rarely able to actually attack the opponent, and more often they are dodged by all parties or offset by collisions. Under such a battle situation, the battle between the two has faintly reached a stalemate, and they are helpless to each other, and they have begun to move towards a battle of physical consumption. In terms of physical fitness, although Luo Wei has grown through many times of practice compared with Katakori, who is very comprehensive in all aspects of strength, he is still far behind. If it is a physical battle, this is naturally not a good thing for Luo Wei, and in the end, the possibility of his defeat will be even greater. On the other side, because Luo Wei enhanced all aspects of his abilities with the dragon armor, Katakori couldn't judge Luo Wei's physical condition. After discovering that the battle was turning into a physical battle, his heart sank, and he didn't want to develop into such a battle. We must break the deadlock and injure the opponent. Such thoughts came to the minds of the two of them almost at the same time, which also made the offensive launched by Kezi more ferocious. But even so, the situation of the battle is not so easy to change. Luo Wei's slash was so sharp that Katakori didn't dare to touch it easily, so he could only use observation hockey to predict Luo Wei's attack and adopt evasion strategy 6. Advertisement. Chapter 278 Luo Weaves Katakori, 9. Previous chapter. Next chapter. Advertisement. Similarly, Katakori's strengths in all aspects are very comprehensive. Without obvious shortcomings, Luo Wei has no chance to break the deadlock. Even if he used the golden combo, attacking with psychic imprisonment and blood mosquito slash, he would still be dodged because of the opponent's observation hockey, which could predict the future. Since we can't break the deadlock with our current strength, we can only continue to increase our strength. A gleam flashed in Luo Wei's eyes. Huh. Just when Luo Wei had a thought in his mind, Katakori seemed to sense it, and his face changed, showing a look of rage. Sin Hunter, you seek death. Katakori suddenly changed into a different person, from a ruthless warrior to a raging beast. He activated devil fruit, and rice cakes like, O2O, oh oh, pillars rose from the surrounding ground, intending to attack Luo Wei carried out lands wild beating. But Luo Wei also made a move at the same time, but suddenly a majestic shock wave erupted in front of him, in order to delay Katakori's action, and directly swept towards the distance. Looking down from the sky, it can be seen that the direction Luo Wei is plundering is where Baron Dandan and others are, but Luo Wei intends to hunt and kill these people to obtain crime points. Katakori was so furious precisely because he predicted Luo Wei's actions. At the same time, Luo Wei didn't hesitate at all after seeing the rice cakes rising around him, and swept out the blazing sword light with one sword, cutting off the rice cakes blocking the front forcefully. Boom. Thought power was like rocket fuel, and when it burst out with all its strength, Luo Wei's speed reached a terrifying level. 
Even if Katakori had predicted this scene, it was too late to make more interceptions. The rice cake pillar was cut off, Luo Wei immediately disappeared in place, and rushed towards Baron Dandan and others in the distance. Advertisement. Katakori exudes a terrifying murderous aura, like an enraged beast, ferociously trying to catch up with Luo Wei. But in terms of speed, Luo Wei had the advantage. Not only did the distance between the two not get closer, but they were quickly pulled apart. Luo Wei's speed was too fast, and he swept hundreds of meters. Even if Baron Dandan retreated far away because of the fierce battle between Luo Wei and Katakori, it only took a few breaths. Luo Wei has appeared near them. At this moment, Baron Egi and the others were stunned, never expecting that Luo Wei would suddenly stop fighting with Katakori and turn towards them. Flow of thought hyphenation point confinement. Without waiting for Baron Egi to make more reactions, Luo Wei, who rushed towards him, did not hesitate to intensify his physical exertion and burst out with unparalleled mental power. Even Baron Dandan, Tabret and the others were not weak and possessed combat power that did not belong to marine generals, but under the oppression of Luo Wei's enhanced mental power, they all froze in place. Die. At this moment, the terrifying murderous aura exuded by Luo Wei made Baron Egi and the others feel like they were on the verge of ice, as if hallucinations appeared in their eyes, and they saw a scene like a mountain of corpses and a sea of blood appearing behind Luo Wei. The pupils shrank into needles one after another. The breath of death filled the heart, followed by the brilliant sword glow like a Shinigami sickle, engulfing Baron Egi and the others all at once. Boom. The violent air wave rolled and spread, and a large cloud of dust was swept into the air. Katakori, who was chasing after him, saw this scene, and his eyes immediately burst into tears. Advertisement. Ah, with a roar that shook the sky, Conqueror's hockey was released crazily, stirring up chaos in the void. Lightning clustered, placed on the inflated right arm, stretched continuously, and blasted towards Luo Wei who sent out the slash. But unfortunately, Luo Wei didn't stop at all, and just jumped into the sky, causing the huge fist to hit the empty space, squeezing the air into a shock wave and spreading forward. The dust dissipated, and what appeared were mutilated and bleeding corpses. Baron Eggy and others tried their best to defend with armament hockey before the sword light approached, but after all, it was far inferior to Luo Wei's cutting edge. Even Katakori's armament hockey couldn't completely defend against his slash, let alone these people. In particular, they were all imprisoned, each of them was like a living target and could only withstand Luo Wei's slash without any relief. The result is very obvious, Luo Wei used the terrifying slash to annihilate Baron Dandan and others with one sword, and also successfully obtained a wealth of crime points and original sin points. Evil value plus 13,450 degrees. Evil value plus 9,850 degrees. Single quote dot 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 single quote. Original sin value plus one. Original sin value equals two feet. Advertisement. When Luo Wei avoided Katakori's angry blow, a lot of information continuously appeared in his mind. I have to say that big mom pirates act in a very rough style, and even commit atrocities to destroy the country for some desserts. Baron Dandan and others, as the cadres and family elites of the Big Mom Pirates, are naturally the perpetrators of atrocities, and they are all stained with serious sins. After Luo Wei beheaded these people, there were only a few with one or two people whose sin value was less than 10,000, and all others were more than 10,000, and some even reached 20,000 to 30,000. Die to me, Katakori's observation hockey naturally discovered that the aura of Baron Dandan and others had completely disappeared, which also meant that they were all buried under Luo Wei's slash. The turbulent anger erupted from his heart, making him raise his head and roar towards Luo Wei who leapt into the sky at 1.5, and then unparalleled donuts condensed behind him. The Nuo Tuan chanted, a huge arm extended from the Wushuang donut, like a storm, crazily hitting Luo Wei in the air, no matter the strength or speed, it was extremely terrifying. Under Katakori's ferocious offensive, Luo Wei also had no chance to count the gains and strengthen his strength. He looked down vigilantly, quickly used observation hockey to gain insights, and moved left and right to dodge the opponent's mad attack. Swish swish swish. Bang bang bang. The attacks of Nuo Tuan Yin Zhu were so dense that Luo Wei couldn't dodge them completely, and in the end he had to slash with his sword in order to fend off those fists that were too late to dodge. Advertisement. 270th X Luo Weaves Category 10. Previous chapter. Next chapter. Advertisement. In the fierce collision, Luo Wei not only persisted in defense, but also a good opportunity to counterattack. After a few rounds of randomness, Luo Wei suddenly swept his right leg, kicked out the flourishing chop wave, and opened a channel to the dense boxing of Katakori. Boom. The whole body was stunned, and Luo Wei dived down like a lightning, and came to the ground instantly, and at the same time, it was a sword to cut into Katakori not far away. Under the sharp sword light is an extremely strong sword, extending 100 meters on both sides, with condensing to the extremely sharp edge, the torn void trembling, which also made Katakori have to suppress the anger and quickly dodge. Scoff. The earth was split out of the long cracks by the sword mang, and it has been spreading hundreds of meters ahead. The rice cake flowing on the right arm was flowing, and a sharp trident appeared in the hands of Katakori. 
As the ground was bursting under his feet, he rushed straight towards Luo Wei. Sudden spirit. The rice cakes wrap the trident, and then the arm is rotating continuously, it seems like a drill head. Katakuri burst into a terrible spurs to Luo Wei. Oh nine. Ding. Boom. Luo Wei did not retreat at all, and once again, a sword was cut out, and it was an amazing collision with the rotating trident. In the fierce groaning, the huge shock wave spread out with the two people as the center, cracking the nearby earthquake. Advertisement. In the short stalemate, Luo Wei and Katakori flew back at the same time at the same time, and they were shocked by the opponent's horizontal attack. By flying down, Luo Wei quickly moved to the ground at his feet, but he pulled the distance between the two sides farther, and at the same time, he kept swords and cut off, and made a sword. Katakuri predicted with observation hockey. She dodged her with agile left and right to avoid the tear of sword mang, but it was delayed by Luo Wei. Luo Wei pulls the distance between the two sides and delay the opponent with a cut. There are more than a dozen big mom pirates group cadres and family elites with the arrival of Katakori. When Luo Wei was divided into a part of the mind to view the golden template, immediately found that the sin values and the original crime value were greatly supplemented. After two forces upgraded, the original crime value was only 7 o'clock, but now it has exceeded 10 o'clock again, reaching 18 o'clock. As for the sin value, it has increased more, and the remaining 59,000 points have increased to the early 200,000s. I have gained so much. After looking at the gains of sin value and original sin value, Luo Wei was also a spiritual shock, and I couldn't help but feel surprised. He originally intended to gain some sinful value, and then looked for opportunities to start a, Chinese practice, to increase strength. But now more than 200,000 crimes and the original crime value of 10 points are enough for him to raise a force again to 9 level. There are thoughts of flashing in my mind, and Luo Wei is very decisive to have a choice. Advertisement. Although the application of enhanced power can also enhance strength, for the current situation, the level of power levels is undoubtedly faster. At the same time, he does not lack offensive and defensive power now. The reason why breakthrough progress has not been made is because the observation hockey of Katakori is too strong to understand his attack. And want to break this deadlock, the use of armament hockey is far from as the key to upgrade observation hockey, so he quickly had a choice in his heart. With conscious operation, the sin value is crazy to invest in the improvement of observation hockey, so that Luo Wei's perception ability increases at the speed of visible to the naked eye. In the outside world, Katakori avoids the dense cut of Luo Wei on the tip of the knife and quickly made a blow. Exhibition of exquisite shaving, he disappeared in place for a moment, and then appeared near Luo Wei. Rainy glutinous rice. The earth turns into rice cakes, and then a number of tough rice cake strips are formed, covering the armament hockey, extending bending, like a madly hit by Luo Wei, crazy. Come. Returning to his feet quickly, Luo Wei was like Katakori, just now, with a keen perception and insight, and dodge agile. The cake that kept hitting the hit could not reach the body of Luo Wei at all, and hit the ground around him with a dense deep hole. Damn it. Seeing this scene, Katakori was shocked and angry. Advertisement. Although Luo Wei also learned his attacks many times before, this time, it was easier to perform, and it made him feel that all his own actions were seen by the other party. Using observation hockey to understand the enemy's attack, one is his best ability, and now it falls on himself. This feeling is naturally bad. Of course, Katakori does not know that Luo Wei has also distributed some of the minds to manipulate the golden model, otherwise it will inevitably be more angry. However, in the case of dispersion, it is still easy to avoid the attack of the Kata 507 Libuli, which is also enough to prove how deep the observation hockey perception of Luo Wei is. With such amazing performance, it is natural to benefit from his current observation hockey intensity. When Katakori's, rainy glutinous rice, attack power is exhausted, Luo Wei's improvement on observation hockey is also the last step. On the golden template, the experience value of observation hockey has reached a full value stage under a large amount of crime value. Luo Wei did not hesitate, and immediately used the original value to upgrade. The original crime value of 9 o'clock is sharply reduced. Hum. The consciousness of Luo Wei shocked like a ripple. At the moment when the observation hockey was upgraded, his perception of the outside world instantly had qualitative changes, as if it was a laser correction of myopia, and had a new understanding of the world. At the same time, the field of thoughts extended from the fruit was also trapped, and the co-chanting with observation hockey began to appear in a real combination. In the past, the two kinds of perception ability only played the power of 1 plus 1 plus 2, but now, under the combination of co-chance, it has formed the power of 1 plus 1 greater than 2. Advertisement. Chapter 280 Luo Weaves Category 11. Previous Chapter. Next Chapter. Advertisement. This is both due to the benign changes that occurred after the enhancement of observation hockey, and also due to the pressure brought by Katakori's observation hockey, which predicts the future. Combat is the best way to hone, this sentence is absolutely not false, the true combination of observation hockey and the field of mind is the best proof. Although the level of application is still advanced, much lower than Katakori's top level, but after observation hockey, which has reached the ninth level of strength, 
combined with the field of mind, Luo Wei's perception and insight abilities have also entered a new level dimension. Drink. At this time, Katakori attacked again, striding forward impressively, punching Luo Wei with a strange power rice cake. Luo Wei's mind was fully concentrated again, his eyes fell on the opponent calmly, and as he moved his steps, he avoided the punching fist in an understatement. Katakori's mind was shocked, and a strange light appeared in his eyes immediately, obviously observation hockey's predictive ability was activated again. Danger. This idea popped up in his mind instantly, and Katakori's pupils shrank from the predicted picture, and he decisively dodged to the side. Almost at the same time, Luo Wei on the opposite side also narrowed the distance between the two sides one step at a time, and then slashed out with a frightening sword, Blood Mosquito. Advertisement. This sword was originally aimed at Katakori's neck, but because Kataku wanted to predict it in advance, it fell into the empty space. But just under Katakori's dodging side, Luo Wei's eyes flashed, and he changed the trajectory of the slash simultaneously, turned into a crosscut, and continued to slash towards the opponent. What? Katakori's complexion changed drastically, he didn't expect Luo Wei to change his slashing attack at all, which caught him off guard and he couldn't avoid it again, so he could only hastily block it with his arms, forming a shield-shaped rice cake in front of his arms. Who? Although the shield rice cake was covered with armament hockey, under the terrifying edge of the blood mosquito, it broke in response and was directly cut in half. At the same time, the sword of the fallen angel remained undiminished, and it quickly landed on the arm behind the shield, tearing off its entire arm. Katakori let out a muffled snort, finally had enough time to get away under the dual resistance of the shield and his arms, stepped on his feet quickly, and moved dozens of meters away. The arm that fell to the ground turned into a rice cake and spread out, but it was also mixed with blood. Tens of meters away, Katakori stared at Luo Wei with shortness of breath. The rice cake at the severed arm surged, and a new arm stretched out, but one could see that there was still a deep bone deep sword mark on the original fracture. Although the waxy fruit has an elementalization ability close to that of Lodia, even if it is a true Lodia elementalization, once the armament hockey attached to it receives an attack that exceeds the limit of its own immunity, it will suffer substantial damage. Katakori's current situation is like this, caught off guard, even though he has changed the shape of his arm in time, he is still not really immune, and was injured by Luo Wei's slash. Advertisement. But compared to the arm injury, what really surprised Katakori was the change in Luo Wei's attack. In the future that he foresaw, Luo Wei did not have such a change, that is to say, Luo Wei made a change different from the future in the attack just now. On the other side, the slash successfully injured Katakori, and Luo Wei also had a clearer understanding of observation hockey's predictive ability. If I really predicted all my movements, then my slash will definitely be avoided again. Now that I successfully hurt the opponent, it shows that the future predicted by the opponent is not constant. Luo Wei turned around and stared at the other party, his eyes flickering slightly. He changed the trajectory of the slashing attack just now because he understood the opponent's dodge with his powerful perception, so he decisively changed the attack. There is such a reaction, one is from a strong perception, and the other is its own quick reaction. From this success, Luo Wei has already seen the shortcomings of predicting the future, that is, as long as his own perception is strong enough and his reaction speed is quick enough, he can change the future. Shaved. 0820933240320. The thoughts in his mind only happened for a moment, outside, after Luo Wei's eyes fell on Katakori, he launched an attack again in an instant. The figure flashed out like lightning, and he came to the opponent in the blink of an eye, and then slashed at the opponent's head with a sharp sword. Katakori's eyes flickered, and he predicted the future with observation hockey again, and then dodged to the side. Advertisement. It's just similar to the situation just now, when Luo Wei's slash was about to miss, he suddenly followed the slash, turned around and swept his legs, and kicked Katakori hard in the abdomen. Luo Wei's offensive changed, once again exceeding Katakori's expectations. Even though he immediately condensed armament hockey for defense at the moment of being attacked, he was kicked hundreds of meters away by amazing force like a cannonball. Boom. The body fell to the ground, and the violent impact directly cracked the ground, and stirred up billows of dust. In Katakori's abdomen, the armor made of rice cakes showed dense cracks, as if it would collapse at any time. Although under the defense of mochi armor and armament hockey, Katakori did not suffer too serious injuries, but being hit again made him feel the crisis. Backquote Zhao Hao, how did he do it? Obviously, I have foreseen his future, why there is a change in the middle, can it be said that he can see the future that I have foreseen? After coughing a few times, Katakori stood up quickly, and at the same time looked at Luo Wei in surprise. It's a pity that no one will answer his doubts, kicking the opponent away, Luo Wei quickly shot out, and launched a fierce attack towards Katakori's place. After suffering two losses, Katakori's heart was shaken. Even though he predicted Luo Wei's attack with observation hockey, he didn't dare to dodge, but waved his trident to attack. Boom boom boom. The blade and the trident collided crazily immediately, and every collision would cause a huge shock wave to spread, cracking and shattering the surrounding earth. Advertisement. 